to start, before we take a look at TMG and we see what they've recently been up to, before we return to the world of intrigue and the final death knows put on Bullworm, first, we're going to go take a look at something else going on. A bit further in Everett. Two UEA techs sit down at a desk, quiet, a few clicks of their keyboard from time to time, but nothing else really. Just a quiet morning. So, um, do you know, like, did you actually, like, try to go to lunch yesterday? Because, like, I, I don't think I fucking had any time. Uh, yeah, I went. Why? Well, because I heard they're like, I don't know, like, Andrew was telling me they had some kind of new fucking subs or some shit in there. Like, we're talking like real things. I'm, I'm not talking like rations, but like a corporate moved in there. I don't know who. I think it's like uh, some kind of clear subdivision type guys. They do like, you know, uh, what, what's it called again? It's like, so like they, they stuff noodles in there, but also they'll like put vegetables in there it's fucking it's fucking carb hell but i love it i love it man and i was i was trying to go back to try it out because that sounds up my alley but like i uh, i don't know did, did you see him like that's the thing i don't know if he's fucking with me here because you remember that time with the the door suddenly slides open as the conversation stops in the middle of it as both texts just stop look forward and then wait to see who walks in that door while also looking like they aren't distracted in the slightest usually it would be their CEO. It'd be someone who would tell them to get back to work or anything like that. But on this particular occasion, this CEO is rather different from all of the others. A new transfer, or so they believe. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Boy, I'm, I'm going to need you to take a look at this. Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Second Lieutenant. Uh, Ma yes, sir. Uh, Second Lieutenant Marshall takes out a uh, a pad of some kind. Things bricked on me. Uh, he kind of stops. The 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 sort of drawl in his mouth makes it where he can't quite understand exactly what he's saying. So instead, he just kind of like. Stands up, stands at attention, and takes a look at it. What does he see? Uh, the tablet is more or less bricked. It's a, it's a little blue screen. <laughs> Resetting it should fix it. <laughs> uh, y yes, sir. Um, I'll take care of it. He takes it, kind of looks at the tablet, and just try to tries to mess around with it a bit. Uh, turns it off. Turns it on again. Uh, there you go, sir. My God, boy, you're a genius. Uh, it, now. It's Thank you, sir. What are you two lads doing all alone here in this room? Uh, we have, we have sh shift, sir. Were we not supposed to be here? No, should be fine, but he stops for a moment, puts a hand on his scraggly beard. I suppose one hand should wash another. There's supposed to be Secret inspection today. 30 minutes from now. Kind of blinks. Uh, inspection? Now boss! But, let me yes, ask sir. you. Are your rifles zeroed? Uh, sir, we're non-commissioned techs. I, um... I, is the inspection for are us Are you too? not assigned a weapon? Uh, yes, sir! Uh, is it zeroed? No, sir! No, sir! Dad, it should be zero, told you! <laughs> yes, sir! Uh, may we be excused, sir? Yeah, go fix everything you need to fix! <laughs> and they Don't shuffle tell like, the boss that I told you this! Otherwise, yes, sir. I'm gonna get in trouble! Yes, sir! The two shuffle off like scared children out of the door. <laughs> you stop Roll there. Roll steps up to the, to the door, <laughs> clicks a button, the door locks. You take a breath move forward ever so slightly you feel your throat scratching from the other three times you had to do this to go in through and walk through the area 
<laughs> and you just sort of stare forward at the uh, screen that was left open, not logged out, etc. Raul takes a look at the pad, stays like that for like a few minutes, not a few minutes, a few seconds, like 12 seconds, presses a button on the pad, and a small pulse shoots out, hacking the camera in this room, making it loop the footage to make it seem he's just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> well, this thing will probably cost my soul, but Duck put a lot of work into it. He approaches the computer and plugs in a flash drive of sorts. Let's see what you freaks are hiding. You tap in and you start to just sort of uh, filter through. You have a, uh, the tablet makes it easy. As you start uh, looking through, you have a few choice objectives. You have a number of questions you start running down. As you search, however, with the time experience you have right now, you, okay, the first thing, one thing you do manage to find. You do find something interesting. You were curious if there are any negotiation attempts with the aliens at any point. And as you started to search through and look forward through these files, you do find a few, a few records of it. Now, in the middle of a UEA base, you have access to a number of interesting files. It took a while to get in here and you're hoping for something a bit more observing of what was going on here. However, a lot of these reports seem to be registered from other companies. Um, some reports from colonization companies, um, other reports from the UAA itself. It seems that after um, the recent invasion, diplomatic attempts have really soured and sort of shut off almost altogether. It seems but that- they did exist. They did exist previously, yes. It seems Any that- Any logs on the negotiations mm -hmm. themselves? You can find a bit of a report. Um, it seems like the interesting part is that you can't really find any sort of logs about first contact or anything like that. You imagine that's very high, uh, highly classified. Most of the logs the UEA seemed to have done at this point was stuff like negotiating terms of warfare. It seems like there wasn't really many attempts to get a peace talk organized after the war began. <sighs> Raul it's... frowns a little bit at mm -hmm. the attempt to establish what essentially would be a treaty of maybe don't use nuclear weapons or things of the sort to establish yeah. rules to this conflict. He frowns at that and continues the, yes. the scan. But there was something interesting amongst those corporations you had looked at. There's one that comes to mind that's valuable here. <clears throat> you do pocket down any sort of illicit dealings and uh, notices of the clear doing stuff shady. You put that aside, that might be valuable later. But there's one that comes up now, which seems of particular interest. It's about Bullworm. You notice a rundown. Down the list, you see multiple infractions. You find notice of stuff about the mining facility, and something catches for a second. As you prepare, you realize that huh, this operation we're going on soon is about going to be trying to put the finger on Bullworm, but it seems like the UEA has a lot of information on them too. At first, you take it as an interesting note. You gather that information to use as a bargaining chip, but you also realize the way this information is laid out, the UEA knows all this already. So the question becomes, why didn't they do anything about it? Why didn't they push in any way to sort of get the war effort more in their favor? Try to squeeze more resources out of them for what's been going on. You can't find any truth of it here, but you feel like there's something else they're working on. Something else that the Bullworm and UEA agreed on to not let this stuff go public. Something that's bigger than resources. No. If it looks like shit, smells like shit, it's probably shit. 
<laughs> you Roll say that saves out. all yeah. the pertinent information and sits on the chair and spins around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you spin around a bit. The iPad sort of uh, canceling and sort of moving over to uh, back to just you know. Uh, it looks like a momentary jump or glitch in the camera as you just are spinning again after looking like you moved over. And you sit and wait a little bit longer. Wait for those troops to come on back so you can give them a good shout and at. And then you wait for the best opportunity to get back out and get back to base. After all, there's an operation waiting to happen. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. And go you do. Moving out of the base, maneuvering out, you put aside the identity of Second Lieutenant Marshall Matters, as instead you push away back close to the very edge of the Angrist impact site to what is now home, I suppose. You move no across the way. <laughs> no. Move across the way. Move on over to the command center. As unfortunately you think the escapade means you're a little late after you swap back out, get everything going. <laughs> Dump the wig. Dump the Shave. wig. <laughs> Shave. <laughs> yeah. Tear off the mustache. Ow! And then... Ow. <laughs> and then... What glue did they use on that? Fuck. <laughs> you stumble in, rubbing your face, which is a little red from the, uh, the, the tearing, a bit of a shave burn as you stumble on inside. Everyone Sorry. from the operation is here. Yeah, Moon looks over. She just kind of nods. a bit of a shaving accident. Hmm, that's all right. Everyone's here now. She sort of uh, moves on over. Sorry, I'm going to cut straight to the ch uh, chase here since we're running a little low on time. <laughs> she moves over, clicks a pad, and uh, the screen ends up transferring on over as you all sort of look into it and you see uh, centralized on our world right now. Uh, you notice a um, number of things going on, which actually I think I'll bring us there now. <clears throat> so, uh, as you're all pulled there, so here's the brief so far. Besides those strange transmissions we've been getting from Suflin, we currently have two operations in progress. Today, we're going into Ondal, which is at the time of, uh, I think about approximately um, one day and 12 hours ago, became a hotbed of conflict. Currently about a mile and a half away from the current front line, the danger zone, I should say, um, there's active conflict. That's why I'm going to make sure we're approved that we get all our mechs there. We should be able to park them nearby the facility. And we're going to be going in, and I want to get this done quick so we can get you all out of there. Do you all remember the terms of the uh, mission? She kind of looks around the room. And then, as she turns attention uh, back into the room, um, let me just pull up the command center again. Uh, she looks at everyone, and Helena, you yeah. were given and trusted by Pops to be the liaison for this mission. In this capacity, you have complete acting ability as a full-on commander in this mission. And as you stare at the screen, the bright lights of it glowing, the holographic images, God, it's burning your head right now. You really shouldn't have drunk that much last night. Uh, yeah. Mm, yep, I'm looking forward to this operation. Oh. Blinks, are you... Are you incapable right now? Well, would you like a pretty lie or ugly truth? She kind of sighs. Ugly truth. I'm a little fucked up. <laughs> just kind of like <laughs> just the bridge of her nose. <laughs> yeah, I, um, for whatever reason, I really got thinking about this job. And it's been a while since I've been with Bullworm. And I was like, you know what? This is going to be a slam dunk. So I took a little drink, and then I got nervous. So I drink when I get nervous, <laughs> and then I met some nice people. So I drank because it would be rude not to, and then I was alone. So I drank, 
and now I'm here. So um, it'll be of, fine. <laughs> in that little pause between, and now I'm here, she kind of glances down at your side belt looking if you had a flask on person, and then you said, <laughs> and I'm here, and her attention snaps back up as she's like, all right then, are you able to handle this? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it should be, um, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to assistance. I mean, that's what we've got the crew for, yeah? Uh, yes, mm. it's okay, I'll help. Oh, bless uh, you. Should be no problem. We'll, uh, go talk their ears off. Yeah, yeah, he kind of nods his head. So, uh, no, no more stressing and drinking, okay? Yeah, no, of course. Okay. Um, that... I'll make sure I'm wearing my best for the meeting, obviously, and I won't be drinking on the way there. That goes just for her, right? <laughs> no, I'm making that I'm making that an operational standard. No drinking on the job. No stressing, you said. Uh, no, no stressing. She kind of like that would be and ideal. Then something else. That... No, no, no stress. No drinking. No drinking on the job. We can't control stress. So no water. <laughs> she rubs the bridge of her nose now. Hydration <laughs> is definitely very important. So you <laughs> doctor's orders. <laughs> uh, Roll are... Ro gives a sorry look towards me. Yeah, yeah. She's just like, <laughs> water is the only approved drinking ration. Are we ready? Are you mad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly truth. Come on. Appreciate it. Are we ready? Are we yeah, not going to yeah. address the elephant in the room? What? No one's apologized to me. What? No, no, no. I, let us let us hear I, out. What? Uh, what have we done wrong? No one came to visit me while I was what? in jail <laughs> for weeks. Oh. I actually Stop. just realized something. Hi, I'm Helena. <laughs> I stand <laughs> hand. As that is happening, Raul is uh, gonna slip a flash drive to Duck. Yeah. Duck is gonna take that on the down note. Yeah, everyone else is distracted. Moon just looks forward, she's just like, wait, you were in jail? I didn't hear about this at all. She Clearly. stops, stares forward. Yeah, clearly, what happened? Oh, you know, I I was at this protest, and you know things got kind of got out of hand. I, you know how it is. Nothing, no big deal or anything. It was pretty we're, cool. Wait, protest? Yeah. Were she kind of? Wait, wait. Were you? Were you at a an anti war protest? Yeah. <laughs> Don't so? you know our employers are currently the? She kind of stops a bit. That she stops. You know what? No, no, that's not. We're okay. This is why the company operates the way it is. All right, sure. Well, we're very sorry. Uh, we, we are very sorry. Yes, we do not uh, know, but uh, I will visit you in prison in future. No more future <laughs> That's prison. all I wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we're good. Um, okay. Uh, yes, we are ready, Miss Moon. All right. Perfect. Get in your mechs. Get rolling out. Hey, please. So I didn't know you were in jail. Please. So I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kind of got her wrapped around your finger. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. <laughs> thousand yard stare. This is going to be a long negotiation. <laughs> this is going to be a great negotiation. Offers a cigar. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I don't have mech. I'm going to get in shuttle. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> you can ride without one of us. Oh, yes? Okay, yeah. sure. Let's go. Um, you have big big floaty boat, right? Yes, Looks technically. The Babbage can house up to four people. Yes, put me in Babbage. I will be with you. Wonderful. Okay, okay. He kind of says, you all start heading out. <laughs> Moon rubs her forehead severely, fighting off a migraine. <laughs> that's beginning to form. <laughs> As... Oh. You, you, Girl, you gotta look at those! You put, keep getting put ibuprofen on the table. <laughs> she takes it, stares at it like candy. Alright, you all head on out. Beginning a longer trek towards Andal, where battle has taken place far off into the distant edge of the city. 
as you approach, you end up bumping in to multiple UEA checkpoints, which stop you, check your paperwork, and check it again. Luckily, um, uh, no vision so far, but uh, luckily, as um, you all move across these different checkpoints, the uh, Merkin manages, Mr. Merkin manages to move everything along pretty smoothly um, as you all finally end up making it to Bullworm Headquarters, a large building surrounded by multiple garages and other R&D facilities that kind of branch off of a main road. You go on over there and you notice a few uh, soldiers positioned around. It seems like one of the roads and the garage itself is barricaded off from normal entry. As you come stomping down the streets, uh, uh, you floating overhead, um, you all reach your problems. You start checking in and they start forwarding over you to garages. Uh, but, Duck, you realize that your Babbage will not fit in any garage. <laughs> you yeah. get called up by someone who's like, uh, sir? Yes. We're going to have to have you park that, um, but garages aren't going to fit that. We don't have an open top roof. I think the weight of it would be a bit much for some of these buildings around here. Um, hang on. Hang on. He stops. Hang on. One moment. It takes like 20 minutes, but at a certain point he calls you back. Yeah, okay. Um, are you okay if we just... We're going we're gonna to have you park in the empty lot right next to the garages. <laughs> Uh, do you need a lock? Do you need, do you need someone overlooking? Are you going to be fine? Hmm. Doug's gonna fucking, like, put the fucking alarm on his babbage at that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... I should be fine. I'm gonna get some cameras going, going on the inside of my fucking babbage. <laughs> yeah, you put on some cameras, get everything going. Everyone, this uh... will evaporate anyone that touches it. <laughs> <laughs> you all park, getting on out, and as you do, you all eventually loop up back together, and you head on over to Bullworm HQ. Uh, as you all see Duck, you notice he looks very different, actually. As he moves through, you see him with a kind smile, a mustache, a blonde hair, and a polite, fully intact face. Merkin has slightly wider eyes than usual. You should have seen it. You should have seen it. It was incredible. He's a magic man, okay? He <laughs> changed himself. He changed himself with just a, a, a scalpel and some weird device. It was beautiful. Um, uh, I wish I could be that beautiful. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, you all, however, move on in. And as you are, you're immediately met. Some rather rough-looking fellows. You notice in front of you... Um, uh, a large android is currently uh, standing, directly turning its head over. Um, it's like, welcome. Are you authorized for entry? Um, I should so, hope so. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah you, you all sort of stop for that moment and uh, please go to the receptionist desk. Uh, you notice the other two uh, appear to be soldiers of some kind. They seem to wear some rather advanced armor. They don't look like UEA goons. Um, they sort of stare at the robot talking to you, and you hear one of them chuckle behind the uh, metal mask as they sort of talk to each other. They do look like by 9 soldiers, yes. Hmm. Looks like the bigwigs are here. Yeah. Okay, that... That is Time for the big dicks to roll in. Let's ignore them. Let's not talk to them. We do not want them to know what we are doing here. As you step past Raul, uh, suddenly, someone speaks up. Hi there! Tech attack! <laughs> <laughs> I thought we deleted Welcome this. Welcome to Bullworm HQ! I'm the receptionist! It's me, Arca Girl! Nice to see you! You're checking in for some political meetings, aren't you? I can tell. Uh, yes, uh, Helena, you talk to the thing. Yeah. <laughs> the thing? <laughs> Hi, Hi there. Miss. Hello. Do you um, remember me, actually? Because I used to work here. Hmm, let me think. A bit of a moment. Oh, you're Helena, aren't you? Darn too. Helena Roost. Yeah. You used to work here for a long time. We missed you. Welcome back. 
Oh, I appreciate that. Thinking about how they muscled her out because they were tired <laughs> of paying her. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Well, what kind of business brings you here today? Well, sweetheart, and she like leans forward. We were hoping to speak with some of the higher ups. We have a meeting with them to discuss uh, some possible uh, business opportunities. Let me check your appointments. She Thank stops, you. looks through. Oh, I found it, Miss Roost. Yeah. Hmm. She thinks a bit less well. Your appointment started five minutes ago. Wait, what? Uh -oh. <laughs> looks down at my watch. <laughs> You know, it looks like the showing up early turned into showing up late due to the whole parking fiasco with the Babbage. Ah. Uh. Don't worry, I'm sure the president will be more than happy to see you again. Mr. Forge is sitting in the back room. Yeah, I better I hope you all have button. a good time. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Helena will adjust her hair a bit. And it's one of the very few times you've seen Helena in like, actually very professional business attire, like just a, uh, nice business uh, suit and button up, uh, and then pencil skirt, and she's got her hair. It's still a little on the messier side, but she has a fancier cigar now. <laughs> she has a tuxedo on. Um, <laughs> um, damn, should I put chance. clothes on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the whole ride here, you can't just come in your buck ass. No, it, it is okay. You um, you look tough. Tough is good. It means a lot for big tough men and bullworm. Um. You all look great. Uh, he steps up. He sees the people standing in front, and he's immediately like, "Do not talk to them. Just keep going. We are ignoring them. We are ignoring them." You all—he—he's immediately shuffles this way. As you look, you see three figures. Uh, one, um, Helena. You turn over, and you see the one that comes to you first, the man in the center. That's she, and he uh, is sweating his ass off right now, trying to appease these two diplomats. And you notice he turns around. And it gives you this look, and it's like, yo, you can see beneath his eyes, this smile widening as he sees you. He wants to speak so bad. He wants to say hello. You can tell you've just brightened his day. But immediately, his gaze turns back. He's just like, no, it, it, it's quite all right. I know our second follow-up meetings are happening soon, but we have to follow the schedule. She, he kind of like taps his foot, hoping you guys will keep going. Yeah. Um, as she'll, you go. she'll just give a little quick nod of like, acknowledgement and uh, a very quick gesture of like we can talk later. Yeah. Do I do I know who these uh, other figures are yes. representing here? Um, here, I'll let you know. Even though you've never seen these two before, you can tell just by appearances. You see a really tall lady sitting on the couch. Uh, she seems to bear a pin showing cerulean labs. And you notice she has a very graceful uh, form as she sits. You can tell that this is like, uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, whoever was at the company for the longest period here, uh, actually, you all are kind of newer comers to it. So it would be something that I think only Farah might pick up on. Farah, when you when you first met Seti, she was very nervous and obviously kind of like in the shell, but. You could tell that she had an energy like this, because this is just how she was all the time, despite that fidgeting. She had this serene stare, this smile, very, very, I'd say, public facing. Mm. And then there's the other guy, the one who's staring at all of you. You notice that he seems to be sitting in some type of chair, which seems to grant his body some form of mobility, though it's not anything quite like what uh, Bonnie has. It seems to be a full contraption that's hooked up to his body. Um, almost like he would be plugged into the electric chair, except it moves. You notice that uh, yeah, a breather is plugged up to his face, and you notice his eyes have been replaced with uh, bio implants. And he stares at you. You can tell he's by nine due to the nature of the design of his uh, uh, uniform. Everything? And and everything, <laughs> yes, everything. <laughs> Um, he seems to be staring at you, and he does speak up almost immediately as you all start going past. As he's just like, ah, so we've been waiting for you, have we? He stops as he looks over. I'll have you know you've been waiting and pushing things, pushing things back for us. We have important business to get to, so get your operation done quickly, please. We'll make this as quick as possible, sir. <laughs> you just keep going? <laughs> How come he gets to drink on the job? 
<laughs> I grab you in the two times and Helena like puts her cigar away. I'm like, this guy's clearly got enough problems. I don't need to be a chimney near him. <laughs> <laughs> you all keep going as uh, a door hisses open and you start moving through. Why is this room fucking evil red? <laughs> Raul entering this room becomes even somehow more red than usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go on through and you run into this little uh, waiting room in between. And uh, as you do, uh, it checks through. And uh, oh, which way now? Um, Helena, you know it's to the left. This is where the big man's office is. Yeah, we're going left. All right. You step on through as... You pop open the door, and on its side, another door as you <clears throat> before, go through the Mega Man boss enter. hallway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Oh, before, the shortest before we boss enter, uh, Raul looks at Doc. Should we be calling you by anything specific? Uh, uh, simply call me by my uh, uh, normal name that I'm registered under in the TMG, which is uh, Dimitri Vault at your service. Readjust his glasses. <laughs> Dilly nice. Gotcha, Dimitri. It's your thing, Dimmy. <laughs> oh, well, uh, thank you. I, I'm glad that I'm already that popular. Right. You, uh... <laughs> With a smile like that? Of course. So, you, uh, pop open the next door, and when you look across, Helena, in all his glory, he's on the other end. A man who lives on Earth 3, but due to a bit of a genetic, um, I guess you could call it defect, um, certainly doesn't appear that way. As you step through, you notice that despite being tall, the man is built gigantically. Not just in weight, but also in muscle, in bone. He is verifiably, by his nickname, perfectly named as the Troll. As you step through and you see his angry gaze staring directly across at the room as he sees you enter. He kind of looks across. Ah! Late again? He sort of looks no. over. You know me, I'm never late. There was an incident your boys couldn't uh, operate on the fly, unfortunately. Ah, fire the lot of them, I should. God damn it. All right, no, sit down. I've got a busy goddamn day and I want to get this done. This is Gary Forge the third. He <coughs> is the current head of Bullworm via his family line since its founding. He is quite the character, I should say. Quick to anger, but very cunning underneath. He uh, sort of are, looks across. Are the there way. some things that I would know about him that like are to maybe not like uh uh you know, butter him up, but like things I know that would calm him down or make him more amicable in this conversation. Um, he, uh, okay, all right, that's gonna be right off the bat. Hit me with, um, a charm. Oh, do I even have that? I you do have do. charm, yeah, you have plus two, so that's gonna be, yeah, just click on that and then we'll see what happens. Hacha. Ooh. Ooh, oh, all right, all right, well, <laughs> you, you know the man, so yeah, um. You know, uh, like a lot of these bullworm folks, he's all about the old times. He loves memories of the past, old stories, and you think that camaraderie would be very great for this situation. Talking about the days when you used to work here, before he fired you. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, it's so good to be back. I mean, some things have changed, but my favorite part is you've made sure that your little boss hall is still short. I remember you were talking about making an extension for it and whatnot, but I'm glad you kept it nice and small. He he has a small grin. You wouldn't believe how much it messes someone up, having to go through those two doors every time they speak to me. It's like people always build up for walking through the door the first time. They see the second one, they don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. I love it because, like, you think, all right, I still got time, and there's just none anymore, which is good because... Let's be real, sir. We're not one to waste time, right? Not at all. He sort of leans forward, uh, putting his arms on the desk as he kind of stares forward. Um, you notice he kind of reaches a hand up, scratches his nose a little bit, and kind of stares directly at you. All right, then. I just want to cut to business here, Helena. Absolutely. Here? <sighs> well, I'll just be blunt. We were hoping to gain access to the license 
for the uh, the Max. He thinks about that for a second. Well, I sense, so you know, I won't be able to rent it out anymore because we're about to lose everything. That's what I mean. One last sale. He stops for a second and he stares at you and he's just like, Whoa, 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 whoa. you want me to sell you guys the, the lad? Our premier worker robot? Yeah. I mean, I know those things from top to bottom. You know? I mean, if you look at your uh, little handy dandy manual, how to even make those things tick and purr the way they do, it's courtesy of me. He uh, stops for a moment as he stares at you dead for a couple of seconds. And then you can kind of see it, but um, he, he just kind of nods his head. You can tell the... What the fuck? <laughs> uh, what happened? What? Hello? What happened? Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. Before yeah. we continue this conversation, I don't like you. Teleport! <laughs> <laughs> just zaps you. You become a clock now. <laughs> I, I didn't touch anything. Yeah. I, I changed oh, something. I changed something. To the vents. <laughs> and for some reason, it changed you too. Anyways. Hilarious. um. He uh, looks across the way and he's like, you are trying to fuck with me then, aren't you? He leans forward. You sense a tension settle in the room as, uh, let me just uh, pop that clock down there. Mm. All righty. So, immediately he sort of stares across at you again as he just uh, kind of, um, all right then, Helena. What the hell does a little merc cunt like you got to offer me? We're about to go bankrupt, you know. Why does it keep happening? I don't know. <laughs> Help him. Help him. <laughs> Help. Put him back. Help him. Help. Uh, ignoring that for now, I'll fix that, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Try to. Um, all right. So, uh, what do... Uh, let me, let me see. I think we that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see. What do we... Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. Okay. There we go. I fixed it. Um, so, <clears throat> Helena... Uh, mm. you're kind of, uh, thinking like, all right, well, he's kind of buttered up a little bit. So, I mean, that, that kind of helps. So that's, uh, one tick right here. I'll do mm -hmm. as, um, you kind of think, all right, well, we have blackmail and we also have a little bit of money and you're trying to figure out what you should lead with right now. If you have any other ideas, you can, but those are the two I'm starting to, i just given you. You have one or the other, which one do you want to start with? I mean, it would be insane to open with blackmail. I mm -hmm. feel like that's, we we have a normal, realistic conversation, and if he continues to be rude, that's when we pull out, you know, the, the stops. Yeah. yeah, you can give me a roll with this another charm. Give me one accuracy for this. Ah, hot shot. Ooh, is that gonna... Okay, that's a partial success. Mm. So, mm. for this, um, hmm, you do offer money. Um, I'm gonna add one tick, but uh, you're not gonna get any more with this angle now, because um, as he sort of looks, he says, Now, Helena, I understand you're willing to pay for this, but I just... I just got to be honest, there's zero change you're going to match the rates that I'm getting from these, you know? We got to we gotta get going. I still have some payments to make before we get out. Um, so, honestly, he kind of uh, scratches his nose. You can see there's a bit of discomfort in the way he's talking right now. Uh, it makes you think there's something else there. Hmm. Uh, Forge, you don't seem... That's odd. I don't want to be rude, but you seem nervous about something. It couldn't just be little old me coming on back. Uh, hmm, yeah, make me a, a let's see, so narrative. That spot? Uh, yeah, 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 let's see. That seems about, that seems fair. Uh, spot and details. Any, yeah, any bonuses or just, just what I got? Just I got. spot, yeah, what you get is what right. you get. Ew. Ooh. Okay, can Helena, I, yeah, yeah, can yeah, I yeah. try to help? Yes, you can. Uh, well, let me see. Um, I'll let you try to salvage. Uh, immediately, um, just make me a plain grit roll with this. 
Um, okay. Oh, read a situation. Read a situation. That's actually perfect for this. Um, uh, <clears throat> sure. Helena, I'm going to mark you down for two... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can take two pilot stress to add a, D a 1d6 to that. Uh, is that going to help all that much, considering... Mm, you did roll pretty low there, yeah. Roll pretty bad. <laughs> uh, all right. T Helena, take me um, one stress. And uh, already, yeah. and Raul, you're you're kind of trying to piece together your two. And again, for fourteen, you think you can, uh, you want you think you understand. You're looking at the way he glances down at his screen. You're not can't quite tell what's going on there. But if you're if you're assuming it's a camera system, you can imagine that he's extra concerned about the people out there. And so yeah. there's probably something they're doing that's making him more concerned. It's just how you get that information to Helena. Well, I would be concerned too if I had those two hounds outside barking at my door. I mean, what are you really supposed to do? Two of the biggest companies just trying to pick away at the one who just tripped. He turns over. I think I can deal with a few hounds, boy! Uh, Helena, when he gets mad like this, it's because you're right. <laughs> You've known that from working at him for a long time. <sighs> Gary. But can you deal with what they want from you? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to lead in again. What I'm thinking here, Gary, would you rather sell the lads to those guys with no shot of getting it back? Or sell it to me, where we can have another possible business exchange and I can make upgrades in the process? Think of this as a small investment. He, um, he kind of like, Helena, I'm not really at liberty to, he sort of stops. Listen, if you can't, if you can't pay me enough money to deal with the whole bankruptcy situation, I'm afraid I have no other options. I'm not taking anything from a personal hit from this. You understand me? Even with all those mines? What? The mines, Gary. He thinks for a moment, and then he realizes what you're talking about. And you see his eyes narrow down a bit as he kind of stares at you. Right. So that was you lot. Axel has a something. big mouth. Yeah. That's what we get for trusting MCMC parts. Gotta stop. Should have went with us. <laughs> Roll crosses his legs. <laughs> He sort of um, uh, clicks on a a, uh, a panel there, and it's like, Arca, delete the last 15 seconds from the official log. Clicks it, and then stop recording. Clicks it again, <laughs> and then he just sort of, uh, right. So, let's be honest here. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. What's Remember up? that thing you did before we went here when you took control of the camera systems and otherwise? <clears throat> Would you like to Maybe. keep recording this conversation? Maybe. <laughs> Good downtime, buddy. Anyways, yeah. Um, so you keep recording this conversation as uh, you override Arca and keep it running. As he's like, right, well, you know what? No use in playing dumb here, I don't think. So let's get to spurious business here. You saw some things at the mine, and you were very kind to us by keeping it all blown up. So... I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to open up negotiations on this. But I cannot budge. We need enough money. You understand that? So I think I can understand, but yeah. Let's, let's right. hear your counteroffer, sir. Counteroffer. You don't get the rat, lad. What you do get is rights from me right now so that you get grandfathered in whoever owns it later. Understand? Mm-hmm. Mm. But you'd likely be selling it to one of the two individuals outside. Well, that's right. But under UEA law, you would be grandfathered into using the program. License would be good for you. If I may, uh, Raul looks at Helena and at Gary. Have you ever heard of the Shogun? Um, he sort of stops for a bit. He's just like, uh, he's like, it's a new model. Yeah. They just released it off the shelf. It's been damn years. Have you heard of how it came about to existing? 
he um, kind of uh, looks at you and uh, let me let me see if he does really quick. Um, is this actually? Yeah, you know what? Uh, Raul, give me a. Um, uh, I read the lore docs. <laughs> yes, you read the, you read the lore. No, um, it's good shit. I was also I was also looking at the shogun. Thank you here. for doing this. Um, give me the the uh, special skill for this one. Sure. Uh, ground and stars. Uh, any accuracies or difficulties? Nope, just this nope. plane up. Yep. All right. So he's going to. Um, he does know, uh, but. You notice that he sort of uh, narrows down. Yeah, I'm kind of getting what you're talking about. But why bring, what does that have to do with this? Because playing with a tiger that had already bit its feeder's hand off ought to result in the same accident twice. I'm not about to trust my life in Bai or Seru Labs, given the history of those two companies. They're gonna find a way, a uh, legal, or otherwise, to simply remove us from that contract, be it with lawyers or with bullets. Continuing off that point, um, Merkin continues on. Uh, yes, it is a big concern. Shogun Project ended up bureaucratic nightmare. Two sides clashed each other. By nine took it. This will probably happen again, and we'll be out of rights. You say UE law, a law is important, but uh, future proofing, uh, we might not be in a situation where we have UE backing if we do mercenary work larger scale. It would be very bad for us if we were grandfathered and do not have rights respected by all organizations, you see? Uh, Deals we make here don't mean shit to them. Yes, uh, and I'm sure, correct. You know, better to deal with us and keep it in this room then bring those jokers in here you know in any yeah. way you get two ticks from this um he looks across the way well i don't really see what other options we have here you know we're sort of stuck in between two hard points here either i don't give it to you or i give you something shaky there's no way we get out of this where i give you the lad not for what you're offering hmm <laughs> Is he I, sure I, the other offers you have are better? That's a good point. Oh, boy. I'm yeah, sorry. actually, make, that's make, really simple. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, Fair, you can't read a situation. I Give do. me that with one accuracy. That was a... Oh, God. That was a, one hell of a punch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's simple, but it's, it's just true. It's just good. Uh... So sorry, yeah. I don't remember okay. how to add accuracy. It's alright. Um, it's a just little check box. 1D6. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, it's there's a little other sources. That, actually, yeah, if you click on the skill, there should be like accuracy. You can just click it. Yeah, a little window will pop on the bottom right. Yeah. Yeah. If it refuses to do it, then uh, oh. you might have to refresh. Got it. Yeah. A hero. There we go. Hey, oh, nice. Good. So, uh, Farah, like, you've never been in a boardroom meeting. You've never been to one of these heavy diplomatic uh, situations. But you have seen people getting screwed over. And you've seen what someone like Merkin would call the sunk cost fallacy in full effect. With someone thinking that some guy that's pawning some shit off to him is totally legit. Because the deal seems better than what they think they can get. And this guy's talking just like them. And I know the people out there are gonna try and screw you over. And that they're pretty good at their job. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, they have the means to screw you over even worse than us. Listen, I'd like to think we came in here fairly diplomatic. I know this is a stressful and let's, let's cut the bullshit. It's a shitty time for you fucking sucks and I don't like seeing you in this position but I'm hoping oh. as old friends maybe we can make something great again yeah kind of thinks about it yeah you know you're right damn you know uh, he goes on over and uh, starts clicking yeah actually I think I think we can make this happen um, he kind of stares across as a uh, you know Helena I think you're a lifesaver kind of trapped in this cage here. This feels like this is a, you know, 
a real savior for a guy like me. I just want to make an honest goddamn living here, and these people are screwing me over. Hell yeah. L listen, this is why That's I wanted to fast. have this conversation. Hmm? Uh, hey. Sorry, like, this is just me always seem like that's too fast of a switch. <laughs> I was just about to say, uh, hey, Helena. Yeah. I'll give you the last point for free for this deal. Unless you want to figure out the subtext of what's going on here. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and see why right. our, our troll friend is so kind suddenly. <clears throat> All right. You stare across at him and you're getting something. You see his fresh smile. You've never seen this man smile genuinely. Duck, it runs in your head. This is going too quick. Something's wrong here. And hmm. when you realize that, he sort of goes out. We got a deal? Um, I mean, there might be a little more to discuss here, Gary. Like what? Uh, I mean, we can't backwards in any other direction. I mean, uh, I know, but like, I mean, can I mean, we at least? I could use sure. a smoke break. Maybe we should all take 15. I mean, I was even going to say she leans over the counter very clearly, like trying to show as much cleavage as possible and offers a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and but uh, while I'm offering him a cigar, I'm trying to look at his screens. Oh, okay. Make me a um. God, you know what? <laughs> hey, make me a show off roll. Hell yeah! <laughs> you know, for showing it off. Hell yeah! <laughs> Do I get accuracy if I pop a button? <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll stay here. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can pop a stress to pop a button. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I also don't know how to add stress to my character because I can't find it on my sheet. Uh, just make like... a just make a note separately and let me know if it ever hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, <laughs> fucking dirty old men. But you get your look. You get it for free. He does too, I guess. But you get your look. <laughs> you check no, he's screen. paying a big cost for this. <laughs> and you notice he's not looking at the people outside. He's got a cost analysis sheet going on. He has the lad pulled up on different streets. He's got tons of different information. It's a bit too much to take in, but as you sort of look, you see one piece of information stands out. Debt. Debt. That's mm. what stands out. A sea of debt that Bullworm was in prior to this in general. A debt that clings to the lad like a cancer spreading deep. He takes a whiff of the cigar and smiles at you. Wow. I'm glad we can do business together. <laughs> <laughs> you realize it's going to be a lot harder than you thought, but you have a brief reprieve as you take a step out for a moment. All of you preparing, uh, Ver Merc and see what's going on. Well, let's uh, let's go take a smoke. He steps out the door, yeah. hoping all you usher with. Yeah. Gary, you mind for just a moment? Um, no, I gotta finish this. <laughs> yeah, treat yourself. You deserve it. Working too damn hard, you know that? Uh, so, you all step out. The door shuts. And then... Uh, oh my need God, to, can you make just... this soundproof? Um, all motions see. to the room. Mm -hmm. um, so, first thing, like, you said that I... So, I have full access to the cameras, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so first of all, we're just standing here. Um, yes. That's that's just the reality right now. Um, okay. As far as making it soundproof, uh, I can try. Um, let's see. You know, Helena, I'll tell you directly. You can turn off the recording in this room. His double doors with these thick bolt heads, <laughs> he's not hearing shit anyways. Because that's yeah. a point. He doesn't want people to hear him yelling on the other end. Yeah, but I'm not worried about the boss, man. I'm worried about uh, yeah, the yeah. fuckers downstairs. Uh -huh, yeah, no, me yeah. too. Here. Uh, Merkin kind of steps to the sides. I'll take the watch, okay? Much appreciated. Close the so door behind him. Great, just because he has two doors. All right, gang, I got two lines <laughs> with dirt on him. Yeah, okay, so here's the deal. Um, the lads are just filled to the brim with debt. Like, yikes amount of debt. So if we take those, we are fucked. Yeah, I have a, an inkling of an idea on who they owe that to. Roll reaches into his pad and pulls out uh, specifically 
the mm -hmm. uh, information on Bullworm that he borrowed from the <laughs> the UCA. Yeah. Oh wait, shit! Before I even start this, uh, Duck, give me a um, hacker fix roll. I realize you're not yeah. gonna do this. UEA, sorry, not you. Fucking armored core. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right, let's try. UEA. Yeah. So Fungy Duck shot. the goat. Nice, nice, nice. That's pretty good. Um, cool. So yeah, you um you pull out this sheet. And uh, you showed off. And Helena, what you see is pretty interesting. You see all that information about uh, the UEA holding a lot of this kind of crap. And you notice that, yeah, it's, it's barely mentioned. You, you basically catch up to what I said in the opening scene. And yeah, it seems between that and the debt, it seems that there's a lot that could sink Bullworm at any moment, but they're sort of kept it afloat right now. It seems like a lot of that debt would pass on to whoever took over full control and the project dues would also be passed and grandfathered in with that. So not only would you be grandfathered in with the, um, uh, you know, the other type of, uh, like, you know, a lab yeah. license usage, but you would also be there. It seems at a certain point, he was trying to move you away from it because he wanted to potentially drop that bomb on another group. But it seems something you, you were negotiating, it made him think that, hey, maybe if I drop the bomb on you guys, we can use you, is how you'd imagine his play was. <laughs> mm. you, you seemed competent enough, so maybe with you on his side, you guys could be able to help them with some of their other interests, is how you imagine it might have been. In other words, the lad is not simply a premier piece of construction equipment, a piece that is used all over the world. It is also, due to this poor mishandling, project inflation or otherwise, a severe waste of money. It is a piece of trash when you consider making a profit off of it. These fucking idiots. I told them for years how to make it better. For like fucking years. <laughs> With well, that kind of information, it sounds crazy that the two other corporation would be even interested. I doubt that they don't know this. They do, for sure. Which just means they also want something else with the lad. Or we don't know something about the lad. I mean, they've probably got the means to turn it into something new and make it profitable in some way. Uh, I mean... That's can we do that? Like yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, I oh, cannot cool. stress this enough. I've been wanting to make an upgrade on these things for so goddamn long. They said there just wasn't a budget for it or it'd make the process take too long. The thing that made me mad is I could make them safer. And they kept saying no. And it, mm, I'm not getting in that. Nope. Got, not going down that path right now. But in all seriousness, yes, if I can get my hands on that, we can make some big changes and then sell the license to other people or rent it or, you know, all that jazz. Lease. Do we have the budget to do that? Whoops. What the hell was that? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I just... We, uh, we, uh, we just did such a great job negotiating for this thing, I don't want to have to unnegotiate it because it's a sack of shit in the end, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite hear what uh, Raul asked me. <laughs> How's outside looking? Hmm, yeah, can I look at uh, what Merkin's up to? Uh, yeah, no, you, uh, here, I'll drop a camera. Um, uh, yeah, Merkin quite literally hasn't even walked out to the, uh, door itself. Um, mm -hmm. he's, he's in the uh, red room. I dropped the camera. Can you see the red room now? Yes. Yeah, I can see Yeah, the red he's room. just standing there sort of pacing, waiting, and he's literally <laughs> bruisering at the door to make sure no one physically can walk in and hear. Mm. How how much how much uh, just sightseeing can I get away with with my oh you can sightsee just... my friend okay yeah. uh, wanna... let's let's take a look at the two hounds uh, down south all right let's take a look at the hounds down south because my my worry is that by very obviously brought some muscle in the form mm -hmm. of those soldiers uh, we haven't seen any Siru Labs muscle which I'm sure there are yeah. yeah. Um, well, if I am, uh, uh, taking, taking, I'm sorry that I'm, uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, sure. asking you to do this, my friend, GM, mm -hmm. uh, but considering that I, uh, I'm supposed to know the layout as we have agreed, yes. um, show me them vents. Okay. Uh, you want to vent next? Which room do you want the vents access to? Uh, let's start with, uh, what's around us specifically, like the All closest right. to us. 
So I'll put you over here. You see a vent over here uh, next to the um, actual room with him in it. Um, and okay. uh, I'll show you the other office room is currently empty right now. It seems like the Bullworm staff has been greatly downsized in the recent mm. time. Um, and the other one's empty as well. It seems like over here is generally fine. And then obviously this okay. room. Okay, Ducky. Uh, yeah, Duck. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take a look also at him, our our current uh, discussion partner. Oh, okay. Perfect. So, you take a look inside and you see something interesting. Actually, he's talking mm. right now. Um, he sort of seems to have his hands cuffed there as Argo Girl is speaking up. See, Gary, I knew you could do something with this debt. As we always used to say when you were growing up, debt is no good. But debt <laughs> is also an opportunity. I didn't use any kind of big words at the time because you were only three. He's like, yeah, okay, I know. He's like, just look, I don't want to screw over Helena again. She's a nice gal, but this might be the way to offload this finally and not have to deal with potential backlash to Bainai and Cerulean, okay? I'm thinking this is the way out. What do you think, Grandma? Well, I think you can do it, Gary. And don't worry, I'm already accessing current financial laws and I see this would have us back to a positive after approximately 27 other sales. Uh, he kind of like shrugs. <laughs> God, how fucked is Ballworm? Jesus. Jesus Christ. You fucked him up really bad. Uh, Shouldn't have been sus. Well, now I think I'll... Hey, Duck, your camera mm -hmm. feed goes off. Yeah. <laughs> it would seem that I have been uh, noticed. I'm going to cease uh, espionage for now. He was uh, literally just uh, like showing uh, the, the tablet to like the other three. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to make me a hacker fix roll, Duck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> The goat. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you're um, hacked out by an AI. That's mm. just what you can tell right now. Ah, it would seem that Archachan is visiting. If it is Archachan, I will try to figure <sighs> this out. Yeah. Okay. That's well. sorry. Hmm. What do we want to do here? This is a pretty tight spot. Uh, just so I'm saying it just now, Christian. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking what I just, everything that I just got, on a uh, flash drive, right? Mm -hmm. Like on a literally like a thumbstick, uh, hiding that in my body, uh, and then uh, like what's the ref like factory reset my uh, pad? <clears throat> okay, sure. So Helena, I'll give you two options right now, unless you have a third one you want to pursue. Sure. You've learned a lot of information. You can tell pretty cleanly that he's planning on screwing you over. He thinks he's in his own kingdom right now and he can say and do whatever, but you've already infiltrated past that point. You basically have two angles to play. You can either play innocent and, or you can go hard in on the negotiations and start pressing him now. Hmm. I mean, we could probably play innocent for a bit and then switch it again, though... I will say, if we bring up the stuff that I showed you guys, all the dubious doings of Bullworm, that the UEA is for some reason covering it up, that will raise questions as to how we got it. So if you are going to bring that up, I'm trying to make it seem like you came upon it organically. And don't ask how I got it, please. <laughs> we have Why a do... tiny bit of a scapegoat if we need one. Um, a name that has risen into our various emails, and I would assume the emails of many others recently. <laughs> uh, Dead End is quite a new information broker type deal. Hmm. Hmm. Only if needed, of course. I mean, who has to say that you were the one to get that information, Raul? We just got caught hacking. Who says we didn't get it off of one of those two guys in there? That makes a lot of sense. We were scoping out the competition. 
and we happen to fall upon some information they have that could be very detrimental to their negotiations. The experience of age shows once again. <laughs> Raul <laughs> makes a comment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Most, most people would be offended by that, but I know Wait, I still look great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little uh, bit of gray. I'm not a spry chicken anymore, you know? No, why would they get offended? Anyways. <laughs> hmm. Right. All Any right. Case. We going back in? Yeah. Let's right, play nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's this guy up. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Raul comes over here and knocks on the door so that Merkin can come back in. Yeah, uh, Merkin steps through. <sighs> okay, let's go. We have a plan, okay? We have a plan, yeah. alright. Alright, I'll wing it, let's go. <laughs> alright, you all step through, enter the boss hallway again, pop it open, and everyone comes on stumbling in. Uh, Arctan uh, disappears almost immediately as the first yeah, of course. out, like, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your patience, Gary. No worries, no worries. Okay, now that Gary's going serious, if you fail a roll, you take two stress, and if you get a partial success, you take one stress. Got it. Whew. Okay, so. Nasty. Yeah. Uh, so, I think it's about time we start using bonds. Yeah. Probably so. Bonds? Uh, you have them. Bonds? Ooh. If you have a... Uh, if you are using the bond mechanic in Lancer um, uh, KTB expansion, um, then you uh, you have a class, kind of like a narrative class you can look at. Uh, it's hard to see in the um, actual like character sheet here, but it might be on your, probably on your comp con. So it's just let me know. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you uh, have a skill that's trained at critical. If not, don't worry about it. But yeah, mm. um, so Helena, why don't you lead us off again? Since you're you're the lady at the front this time. Uh, I think I will use my bond um, uh, comfort. When you sit down and listen to a character for a short time, you may ask one of the following questions of the GM. Uh, if they're an NPC or their player to receive an honest answer. What does this character really want or how can I help? The GM or player in question can pass this information to you secretly if desired. You gain plus one accuracy on your next skill check acting on the answer. If the character was a PC, you clear of stress. Okay, cool. So give me um, a good comfort in this situation. How are you gonna how are you gonna pitch that over to him? Let me know. She's gonna lean forward and just be like, Gary, we worked together for what, over 30 years? You know? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. And I can tell this is eating you up a lot. Like, really bad. And I want to know, besides just the debt, what else is going on? Like, remember, I'm a fixer. So, you, what can I do for you? You mentioned the debt, which kind of sends him on guard. But he seems to he seems wary, but... You're kind of leading in on with this, and he's just like... Uh, he kind of puts his hands together. So this is going to be hard, isn't it? Uh, he kind of rubs his head again, scratches at the slight bald slot on the left side of his head. And then, um, all right, so give me a more direct question, too. Um, do you want to see how you could help him fix his debt? Yeah, I guess... I guess either how I can help him fix his debt or um, honestly, more openly, what could a mercenary company do for you? Gotcha. Okay. Just, like, good. obviously, like, we don't want to be in his pocket, but like, if there's a job you need, maybe there's something we can do there for you. Okay. Um, so, uh, the world of uh, UEA contract and uh like like corporate law is very complex there are numerous forms of bankruptcy and numerous things to keep into account some th debts that are solidified when uh put under like control essentially and other ones that are not um for him specifically how could a mercenary company help him well helena it's obvious that the UEA has an invested interest in keeping Bulwer around, but as of recently, it seems like that interest has somewhat faded. 
it seems like Bullworm has turned into a bomb that they want to lob at the uh, other corporations, get those frames back in service, potentially buy from them instead, and instead uh, saddle them with some debt in the meanwhile that potentially they can like get involved with uh, them now and almost replace them. However, there was one point, what Raul told you earlier, and what you kind of pictured now, there must be something, something out there that was given to them or something that they were offering. You have one uh, possible outcome here I'm going to give you now. You could automatically win the negotiations if you accept a mission for me, an actual mech combat mission right now. With no details. Uh, I'll give you the details there um, right now if you want to pursue this. What are we thinking? I, just kids? To I think I think thinking. we can at least hear it hear it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we have we're, we're lucky enough that we do have combatants uh, here, so yeah. yeah. We have one hell of a know. combat team. I mean Yeah, I don't know, like I feel like this guy will uh pitch it in a very Oh <laughs> yeah, he's he's so gonna make it very right. he's gonna make it very flowery and there's some gonna be some bullshit under it, but like we can at least hear it. He kind of stops. Hell no, you guys have been doing uh, mercenary work for frequently now. I heard you did a great job taking out this, uh, taking back the solar farms, and that's honestly very commendable. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for being so rough on you. You know how business is. It honestly wasn't even... I'm stressed. And you know, I didn't even want to cut you in the goddamn first place. That's just what shareholders want from me. Trying to cut down costs in every way possible. We had the deal we had now with the UA back then. I'd never have to cut you. He kind of sits for a bit on that. Hmm. There's an old um, R&D lab that we used to have before the war. As, uh, Sorry. He's just like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Duck, he was like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> For your trust. <laughs> There's a bullworm R&D lab located in Satanda. It's where we did our primary development for our bullworm frames. That's actually where um, the ladybug was first designed. Hmm. The lads have been popular and we're doing a lot of work down there, but he kind of stops a bit. Well, they had to evacuate it. I don't even think the aliens even know where it is, but it's just behind their enemy lines. So obviously most other right. mercs aren't really interested in pursuing that. Not for the costs that we can afford right now, but in exchange for the lad, I think that'd be about worth the cost of such a risky operation if you're down. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it is sec. intriguing. Hmm. You say I... the lad may be worth the cost of this operation, and I don't mean to doubt you, but. What exactly is, you know, in it for us, other than the license of the lad? We just go there and do what exactly? And then we come back and you give us the lad and let bygones be bygones? There's gotta be strength attached to this. This is a one hell of an ask you're throwing your way. You kind of, uh, think about it. Well, in terms of cost, if you want to negotiate, I think I can put a little bit of money together. The money that would be going to paying in this debt would be a pretty nice reward. I could split off a part of that. As for what you'll be doing, you'll be downloading any sort of uh, confidential information to bring back to us that we couldn't back up ourselves, and uh, you'll be destroying the rest. Blow the base to high orbit. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, these things have smart locks. You're not allowed to look inside. And that's what I trust with you, Helena, to be getting your reward. I wouldn't want to risk any more incidents. Of course. If the black box reports any sort of sign of tampering with the uh, logs in question, then I'm afraid I'll have to back off on the deal. But that's the, that's the delicateness of the operation. And that's why I can't rely on MCMC to do anything. They'd sell it off to Bull, uh, to buy nine or Sarah Labs in a second for a little extra money. Hmm. 
I roll thanks of the email. The back. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh. hmm. It's up to you, Helena. I mean, that does sound pretty slick. But you also need to understand my curiosity. I mean, I was one of your lead engineers and uh, kind of auditors in a way for the uh, various lads around the world. Um, what kind of confidential are we talking? Obviously, <laughs> you can't go into the deep nitty gritty. I get that. That's why it's confidential. Yep. But uh, until we've signed a pact, Gary. <laughs> she just like gives a little pouty face. He kind of like <laughs> he. All right, you know what? Uh, give me a charm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be popping more buttons. I love how I so much. You could. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, can't resist. <laughs> I, I, dude, I can't take too much stress. Yeah. Oh man. Um. He's like. Okay, so that is a half success. You take one stress for this. If you want to take two stress instead, you can add an accuracy, which automatically makes it a full success. Because even a minimal roll on that 1d6 would push it up. What What are some of the other benefits that would come from that full success? Um, You would gain pretty much a full idea of what you're going to grab. I think we need that information. Yeah. Very pretty good. Yeah, much I'll... Uh... Can I, can I ask how much stress you're at? Or would that be... Uh, I think I am at, like... If I do this, I will be at four or five. Yeah. I say it's worth it, but it's up to you. Yeah, I yeah, mean... I need my stress. I, yeah, I don't even <laughs> know how much stress I can take. Um, yeah, I'll... Why, oh, here we go. Okay, I'll do it on, on this sheet. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pop that stress and uh, make sure that we have a... Because, like, I don't want to be getting someone's like, well, it's just a biological weapon. It's like, oh, well, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> be... You know, we used to make the, uh, the prototype for the Cartilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Duck, you notice a camera turn. Uh, ah. Um... Uh, Helena, so you, um, you, okay, yeah, so you put that stress down, eight is the max, but you're gonna get this. So, he leans over, um, and he's like, alright, Helena, so listen here. <clears throat> Before we get into the details, uh -huh. um, I would, uh, I would, uh, suggest that you take a little bit of a check on your, uh, security. Alright. The doors are closed. <laughs> um alrighty. Uh yeah, you know what? Let me just uh make a roll now. Okay. Um, I can try to assist um if he wants uh, me to. So I need you to make me a hacker fix roll, actually. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Duck Ooh. to go. Oh my god. Oh, okay, Duck. What's up? God. Oh, so you both succeeded. Holy shit. Okay, so Duck. Mm. Um. So you notice that the cameras go stop. It looks like everything is good after he clicks some things, but you have this impulse, this idea. So someone else is hacking. I was hacked by an AI. The cameras were moving again. They didn't have to do that. You feel like your knowledge tells you that whoever just did this probably rolled a 24 and probably is still in despite what it looks like and is just yeah. playing dumb for you. Mm. So, would you like to go investigate? Uh, I can't resist. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to call a five minute break and then we're going to follow mm -hmm. up on that. So, everyone, we're back. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. And Sorry I'm... guys, can't resist the intrigue. Of no, dude, you no, gotta no, go. Good. We can't. We can't have this mission fall on fucking Sewer Lab years. Yeah, he was just about to share some fucking fucked up shit too. I'm like, I <laughs> this has to be now. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking of 
like going outside, entering the Mac, and using the Max hacking things <laughs> to <laughs> see to see around who's fucking up because the Death's Head can detect invisible people. Mm. Oh, lovely. I I actually have a pretty good hack check. I I've got a plus four. So oh, nice. So if we, yeah, if we do, I, I, like I go out there three, and but... cause a distraction and like. I'll be like, oh, just you roll up to the Zero Labs representative and punch her in the face. <laughs> you roll up to oh, the Zero Lab and so like, do you come here often? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Violence is backup strategy. But you know, if there's a chance I could distract someone and maybe yeah. make a meaningful connection. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I mean,. I don't know if this would be useful. Uh, I have a thermite charge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, <laughs> we're going out. <laughs> we really want to get the party started. <laughs> you go up okay. to the by nine dude, and hey, hold this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Lights thermite charge with my cigar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Like, I'm, I'm scared of what those um, soldiers can do, because I have... I have a feeling they're secretly like one half max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Like holding deck sweeper automatic shotguns or some shit. Because by nine doesn't fuck around. Mm -hmm. They're like the full on no. milita militaristic. I mean, that's the problem is that, God, at this point, the fact that we have seen literally nothing from Cerro, Cerro Labs also worries me. Because, like, those two don't fuck around like you just said. We've seen nothing from her. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. I... My go ahead. No. <laughs> no, you go ahead. <laughs> My personal <laughs> like theory is uh given their tech and their willingness to still steal tech. And in this universe, the Holsmeyer, that is the Swallowtail, which is the invisibility mech is also made by them. I have a feeling they have a bunch of, like, invisible yeah. tech people hiding around. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, too. Yeah. Or I wonder if me smoking will help, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Like, you know? your saw with the lasers? I mean, you know? <laughs> Smoke screen. <laughs> You it's get... the kind of thing though, like they can hide from they can like they are fucking like Seru Labs. They can probably hide from most tech things. Something as analog as this might be the right way to go, honestly. Maybe. Or maybe you can get like a little bit too close to the vent and then someone on the other side goes. The <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> fucking chimney of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> or we just throw our our hands in a random direction. Like ah! <laughs> nope. no it hurt. works. It fucking works. You knock them out. <laughs> yeah, right. You just fucking punch it. <laughs> God, imagine. Oh. That would be the best. <laughs> you just, just you think go through the wall. <laughs> God, it'll work. It'll be it'll be easy. It's also like God. We know that it's an AI. So Jesus Christ, like. Or that like, its roles are probably off the fucking charts. Um, yeah, my worry is that it's like I don't know if that would even be possible, but like an equivalent of an eight NHP. Mm. Uh, like they have one of the. What are the Siru Lab Max? Let me double check because I have a feeling none of them have too much of a competent. Well, NHP other uh, than the Holzmeier. There's the, uh, Sierra Labs is the, uh, Iracala, NHP, uh, the Ahab, yeah. Yeah. right? Uh, also, mm -hmm. it could just be, I don't know, just a normal comp con, you know? Yeah, yeah. you're right. Well, like, the Ahab is way too murder happy for, <laughs> for anything too delicate like that, and the Iracala is more like linking yourself to your mech. It's I mean, so, I'm like, if anything, it, it could be the uh, by nine guy with an Iracala in his wheel wheelchair connecting him up to the system of the entire building. Yeah, also maybe something that's, like that. That's also, a something like. I'm is it just me? Is it just me that feels like like why are the two biggest motherfuckers around here? We're in the middle of buff fuck nowhere. This is ballworm. Why are they here? Why are they wasting their time? Yeah, One thermite like... charge might make them talk. <laughs> <laughs> 
the business side of things like yeah it is the biggest fucking construction mech in the world on the other hand these guys don't seem too invested in construction work yeah no it's like they're not too invested in construction work they have to know the, all the, about the fucking debt or at least something in there it's like i'm so intrigued as to why the fuck they are here and what they want uh like Speaking, like, a little bit meta-wise, uh, the Everest is kind of cracked. <laughs> I mean, it, it is, is cracked. You are right. You are I'm right. Back. It is cracked. So, Saggy back. Martha is These people also who... pretty crazy, so. Mm -hmm. The people who they who they sent, do we know who they are? Because they could just be, like, nobodies. Like, they yeah. sent their interns to... Uh, <laughs> that's could I roll to see if, like... I know them specifically, like I've heard of them. Did my so, father ever speak of off, uh, that damn bastard in the wheelchair? <laughs> yeah, first off, first off, um, are you all back? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is, yeah. It's it's too. Is our camera here? Uh, yeah. Looks like all right, cool, cool. Then yeah. Um, we'll have a lot of that in a second, but first let me actually follow that straight up with what um, Duck was doing in the meanwhile. Oh boy. So, yeah. Let's bring you back here as Duck. Um, uh, let me put it back in Bowl Marine 2. I'm going to drop a camera with you and move you both so that the camera can follow us. Um, <clears throat> Are you going in uh, Excuse me, I need, I, I need a little quick to wee break. <laughs> Get so, out. Uh, do you want to go on alone or do you want to drag someone with you? Um, I would be super down to take... You know, know what? I would be down to take Farrah. Uh, yeah, Farrah. That's you know? exactly what I want. Exactly who I <laughs> wanted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right, so. let's crack some skulls. Uh, <laughs> Duck, you try yes. to get into the cameras again, and as right. you do, um, there's one room that's currently giving you something you think is fake feedback. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, um, so let's uh, want me to navigate around for you. Uh, I'll yes. give you the camera wherever you want to put it. So. Uh, there is a ductwork on the right side of the office. You could take a loop around loot route in order to get around all the guards and everything like that. Mm hmm Since I Yeah. So. Uh, so, yeah, so, like, uh, what's the, what's the direction of the, uh, place you that's giving right. me the fake feedback? You would go it's, right it's... on screen and you'd keep going down. Hmm, and that would be the room? Yes, at the very bottom of the map. At the very bottom, you keep okay. keep going down, yeah? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, 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 Farah, uh, uh, how, how are you uh, doing with uh, claustrophobic spaces? I mean, I pilot a mech. It's about as that is claustrophobic as it can start be. Start <laughs> uh, you start yeah, let's squeeze somewhere. <laughs> uh, you reach a um, uh, locked door. Uh, oh, you're sorry. Make me a hack and fix. Oh, my goodness. As you had control of this door before, but as you start approaching, you hear it. Oh, I see. <laughs> gives a gives a look to Farah. Well, I guess we have sniffed something. Oh man, it's the kind you can't kick open. <laughs> Make me aggravate. Oof! <laughs> Unfortunate. Oof! Uh, yeah, had to run out. In. Must. <laughs> and this door's a no go, which means. You have one more chance in the duct in the one red room you came in through, and if not there, you're gonna have to go in through a more public room, so... Mm -hmm. If you loop back um, around to the left and down, you'll be able to find another So, answer. yeah, that's if we want to do it the digital way. Uh, yes. I turn to Fera, and uh, do you have perhaps a more analog method? Oh, <laughs> am I gonna get to kick the door? Yes! <laughs> I think you do! Alright. I think this is... Fist to faces, technically. Yeah. All right. Foot fist to door. Damn. No. <laughs> no. Fair. Yes. Yeah. yeah it is. Kick, kick. Ah. That's oh, a metal yeah. ball head. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a big. <laughs> 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 After a momentary embarrassing lapse, you both decide to move on back to the other. <laughs> well, All right. I just thing. won't mention this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, absolutely not. Alright, you head on out. Uh, moving back down, you'll find a f um, another vent to take. 
on one of these maintenance hallways. All right, let's try our luck this way. Okay, so it's oh, this one here. As it clicks again. It clicks as we approach it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, okay. Thankfully, it's like with this, we have proof enough that we can start shit anyway. Yeah. Um, like if this fail, uh, yes. of like, okay, you got someone in your fucking base that doesn't want us to approach it. Um, but yeah, let's try anyway. Uh, gonna go for the uh, discreet approach first. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My All right. God. Give that punch in. Uh. <laughs> I want to believe. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can take a stress for that extra 1d6. You might want to do that, Farah. Mm. Mm. You yeah, really gotta put it into the punch, but you can yeah. do it. Can I work? Oh no! Oh, that's not right at all. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, the first uh, one was a six. The, the first, first one was a one six, was a so six. that's a twenty. So, oh. um. Yeah, so, Farrah, you go for a punch, you stop. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna rip this. So you reach in and you lever your body, <laughs> shove your boot into the side of the door, and you rip it partially to the point where you can just, like, it automatically slides over as a safety feature. Jesus. Right. Right. Up. Oh, well, ladies and first. This is what, this is the type of negotiation I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> so, you both go on inside. The maintenance hallway is dark. There seem to be some storage boxes hidden around. And, Doc, you remember, it's down the direction you need to go. Alright, we are going south. Alright. Any, like, cool secret corpo shit in here? Do you want to steal something? <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking for a box that, that says <laughs> secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so, you look around for a moment. Doc Fair seems distracted with something. As you check around, no box that says secrets. Some cabinets, some... Some, uh, oh, this, uh, this locker's unlocked. I gotta know. <laughs> Let's check someone it out. Must have, someone must have left their keys in here. Yeah, you got someone's keys in here. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sure they won't miss this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, a wonderful find, Miss Vera. Thank you. You both head so on I... back down. Can you feel it when I poke your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I can. This is simply a collar that projects an hologram over my face. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I can feel your uh the difference there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you stick your hand through his nose as it looks like <laughs> picking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go digging too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you go over here, and this one can open from the inside, so you open it up. No. You peek out the other side, and you don't... The other doors are closed right now, so you're able to move on through. And, uh, as you check through, you notice across the way that final room. I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, thankfully, uh, I still have my stealth heart suit, so I'm gonna go invisible. <laughs> oh, nice. Get an accuracy to this, then, as you approach it. Oh, lovely. I'll just, uh, uh, accuracy to what? Hide in the shadows. Uh, your hacker fix roll. Right, to, to open the last door. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, let's see, hacker fix. One. Ugh. <laughs> hmm, okay, uh, take, if you take two stress, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't suppose I see a keyhole on here, do I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me roll for a luck on a four that's the key to that door. Oh my god! Okay. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's a four. Oh, I'm on private roll still. Yeah, it's a four. Oh, <laughs> you suck. Now I seem like a liar. Anyways, yeah. Go go step up. You see, hey, wait a minute. As Duck, you try to consider, mm. oh, damn it, a lock. They, they must have infrared vision that allows them <laughs> to see me. Fair, you walk up with the key and you go click it into the door and it opens. <laughs> You see, sometimes the old ways are the best. Could have punched <laughs> through it though if I needed to. <laughs> it slides. Oh, over. I fully believe you. And on the other please, side, please, ladies first. You see a form, vibrant red, standing there, Ooh. uh, brown, round with multiple tubes and piping coming throughout its body. As it stops, 
you notice that it seems to be interacting with the consoles here. It's plugged into it at multiple points as you start moving deeper inside. And it stops as you notice it turns around. It can see you. It faces you directly. As she turns around and stares directly across at you, having seen your approach the entire way through. <gasps> Ah, I see. You notice a form kind of poking on through as you see the the console sort of disconnects and fucking pulls back as her form faces you and see the, the vague form of a face, but you can't tell. It's probably an android. You can tell by its similarity, but this one seems to be a by nine construction as she stops, turns around, and stares. Hey, welcome to the call, Tiny. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Hello. Let's fucking go. Would you like to... Let's first fucking off, first go. First off, for those who might not mo- know you, would you like to introduce yourself really quick? Hello, I'm Tiny Twitch. I'm a guy. <laughs> it's my fucking boy. <laughs> uh, this makes me so happy. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> Tiny, which plays in some of our other shows, uh, brought him on. Now that your schedule's cleared up again, welcome to play. Uh, You've noticed these two moving across the facility as you've been trying to analyze. And the one standing behind Farabak there has been quite a troublesome one. But from what you've observed from the information you've been able to piece into, it seems like you could potentially strike a deal. You'll have to call your boss, of course. But you're curious what brought them down here first. After all, they're here to find you, you imagine. Protocol dictates, however, that your boss needs to be present for all interactions involving diplomacy. That's just the way you're designed. Of course. It seems you two have been breaking the law in order to see me. Uh, Seems you like sneaking around doing corporate espionage too, huh? That is yet to be seen. And has not been proven yet. <laughs> the android says this, which is kind of funny considering the uh, uh, multiple tubes plugged into the uh, bullworm maintenance, but is technically correct. There is no photographic evidence currently due to the control of the cameras. <laughs> what you got there? This is nothing. She, um, (laughs) 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 you disconnect rapidly as this sort of stare off occurs pretty solidly in the middle. Um, as, um, looking across the way, um, there's a hiss, um, as a door seems to open up. And uh, you hear the sound of a machine rolling through. And then a voice kind of echoes from across the way as um, you notice uh, someone calls out again, a familiar voice. You heard him earlier and he's like, who's there? Come on, show yourself. (laughs) Would you happen to be the new diplomatic entourage sent to negotiate with Bullwoom? Come. I have seen some of your progress so far. I wish to negotiate myself. Ooh. So like a secret um, back alley negotiation with us? This is so, pretty back alley uh, feeling, Farah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I've been recording this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sending this directly to Helena. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Helena, really quick, uh, you've been making small tra- uh, talk and distracting while things have been going on. You, um, you get a call from work that you have to take. It must be Silas. Yes, of course, very much. Um, and, uh, uh, you, oh, Will, you're muted. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, Gary, I'm so sorry. Could I, important call. Uh, fine. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Now give me another one of those cigars, though. This one's burnt. It's the least I could do. She'll spin another one towards him. 
And he she immediately it. scoots out. Uh, I can't see me, so. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'll, you can't you just see select me. the empty map. Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay. All right. You step out, close the doors behind you, and you take a listen, and you're just like, oh, fucking goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. What am I supposed to do with this? Fuck. <laughs> Uh, Where even I, are they? Yeah. Uh, Helena doesn't really know what to do with this information quite yet. Uh, you can keep online for now, at least. You can maybe yeah. tap in with them and keep an eye out as you kind of sit that's, there. That's sort of Duck, what I was thinking, yeah, of like uh, basically you wanna... keeping you on feed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Duck, you don't want to keep Helena waiting long. She's in the middle of something. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Are you going to come right. out in the open? Uh, <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Um... He's gonna uncloak right. and go like, ah, yes, uh, excuse me, I seem to have gotten lost quite a bit and stumbled upon something, uh, untowards, I guess. Mm. Stumbled upon <laughs> some rats. <laughs> um, he turns over to, um, General Helper Unit 5907. Can you send me the recordings? Yes, I'm going to do the recordings now. Uh, it transfers over as he kind of takes a look. So, I see we have an interesting affair currently on play. You're negotiating with Bullworm over some sort of operation, I see. <laughs> Damn, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going he's gonna to say, uh, and you seem to be uh, interested in negotiating as well through means that are... <laughs> looks at, <laughs> looks at the, the person uh, who was hooked on the, the things. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's say... Uh, not exactly uh, the usual. Yes. Well, let me cut to the chase. He um pushes a bit past as you hear him breathe and take again from his gas mask. <sighs> My name is Scrivener Malapraxis. I represent By Nine on this sector. I wish to help you. After all, we are both of equal means and rights. We seem to have similar ideas of operations and how to undertake them. You are currently being offered some form of operation, which you cleverly decided to stop discussion of right when we are going to learn about it. You have us. He kind of thinks a bit for it. I believe the Earth 3 uh, expression would be, you have us by the balls, correct? <laughs> Oh, well, there is no need to be that vulgar. Um... Yeah. The funeral one is the school is... That's my point. <laughs> the point is simple. By nine will now be in considering the opportunity of potentially cutting forward on this negotiation. We have already acquired the rights for the... He consider, uh, pulls up the notifications. Uh, he runs down a large list of things that by nine has already acquired some of which are already mm. listed via objects that are, are like filled with debt he's not acquired the lad but you do think he has acquired uh the pill bug and oh. it seems that okay. to catch you in cerulean labs has actively acquired the ant license the only question left who will take this one the debt is somewhat of a concern but it does not matter by nine is no longer concerned with such matters of that the price is nowhere near the work it would grant us for our operations. I am being open with you. I suggest you do the same. If you are willing, I would love to open up arms to accept a formal degree of friendship in an upcoming by nine operation. If you would assist us in going to Satanda R&D labs before anyone else, <laughs> I would gladly Split any findings and information we find, assuming that we would take control and grant you rights to the lab. As the new owners, our rights would far outstrip that of Bullworm's grandfather promises. Do you have any negotiable terms? Helena, you're getting all of this. Yeah. <laughs> you're patched into yeah. uh, Duck's head, so. What? Basically. You just think. Yeah. About yeah. That. <laughs> You've basically been getting an option so far. You can obviously fall anywhere in the middle, but right now you have the choice of working with Bullworm on this one or going behind Bullworm and working with By9 on this one. Huh. I feel like By9 is not good. 
As no, Silas absolutely. would put it, as Silas would put it, I would rather die than work with Bi9 again. <laughs> but, 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 this is great information because that means they're going there anyway. So we can That's... expect them there when we go. Yeah, we gotta kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could let them get in first and then clean up. We I don't know about that. <laughs> we, the thing is, we're kind of like in a in a vent with these people who. Yeah. I don't really want to like say like, hey, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, we could we could basically do a like a like a straight up just fucking we're, we're fucking with everybody of literally just we send all the information on this deal to like Bullworm they know what's happening and we're basically just going no but we're with you though and then we turn to Bion and like no but we're with you though our our other option which makes us look bad yeah. uh, is I can show this to Gary. Yeah. And be like, we, our team, found out that you were being hacked, and we're doing you the favor of figuring out what, and look at this shenanigan bullshit that's going on. You really want to make a deal with them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just looking for the bathroom, but we found so, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Malapraxis speaks up again. Are you going to accept the deal or make things difficult? <laughs> He also mm, sure has a fucking soldier him. behind him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you recognize that as a uh, a fully active Goss rifle. I can tear a man apart <laughs> in a second. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Um, I think it would be smart. Okay, so the the, the smart thing I think would be, uh, I guess I guess you get a, like the as as we were waiting, you get a, like a little bit of a message, Helena, of just like I suggest saying yes for my own uh, safety, and you show this to Gary. Uh, she'll just nod. She doesn't send a message back because she's concerned it might make a noise for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's gonna take a deep breath and uh, walk back in. Hey, whatever we were talking about in here, not important. Gary, Gary. Uh, what? Can what I show it? you something? Can I show you something really fun on my phone? He kind of raises an eyebrow and looks at you, and then going back here really quick. Um, <clears throat> Malapraxis, are you going to say yes just for now? Just you know. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah. Basically, uh, yeah. Doc basically goes. Well, considering the situation and both of our interests, I say that the uh, offer is uh, quite intriguing. Good. Then you'll have no problem accepting GHU-5907 as a liaison until the operation is complete, correct? <laughs> looks, looks, at, <laughs> looks at robot. I, looks, I'm going looks to. Looks at gas rifle. He, he uh, <laughs> follows up with that. Need I remind you that we also have recordings of this whole situation. I want to ask you honestly, do you, who do you think would come out alive of a PR disaster that this has caused? By oh, nine goodness, or your small no, company? No. Goodness, Good. no, absolutely not. <laughs> then, yeah, no. The more the merrier. Excellent. Yeah, we could get along, right? I believe we can. Money is a dividing factor for many, but for us it can be a unifying one. GH, uh, GHU-5907, access their comms, do not let them outside of your sight. Yes, what? sir. The unit steps up next to you, Doug. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, immediate, immediately, uh, uh, well, welcome, newcomer, to our comms. I hope you will be comfortable. <laughs> Just very yeah. loud so that everyone <laughs> hears this in the comms. <laughs> and you should be warned, I love to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I have things to return to. I will be in touch. Um, Dimitri Volt, he says, kind of staring at you, thinking about that, and then moves back. You notice the soldier kind of lingers for an extra second, and then once he's out of the room, he turns around. He's shoot me. What weapon did the soldier oh, have, off. just just for curiosity's uh, sake? A by 9 specific weapon. It's a mech-grade Ghost rifle. Not mech-grade, but mech-capable of, like, it can damage a mech if you fired it, so a human would be mm -hmm. able to kill. Is is um sorry? What was their name again? Our uh, new friend. Ma oh, 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 your new friend. Uh, <laughs> yes, your new friend is GHU fifty nine oh seven. Goo. 
<laughs> Congratulations on your new call oh, sign, okay. Tiny. Glad. <laughs> yes, I'm Gustav. Unit 5907. Uh, I'm gonna like look them over. Are are, are they armed? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, you are armed. You have a here. Let me show you the full body. Um, you hold your rifle, and uh, let me just toss everyone your full body. It's very nice. Um, that doesn't seem really fair, but <laughs> there you go. What? <laughs> Reverse joint of legs. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a that's a that's future P90 if I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dude, nice thighs. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! So why do they oh, give them lovely. human mouths? <laughs> Fuck, we're kissing. Don't don't anyway, uh, don't we, don't, we, don't, <laughs> we don't we don't know the full machinations of by nine. <laughs> no. Come now, give me a kiss. <laughs> 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 okay, so well, you're so, standing awkwardly in hell with goo in the yeah, room. No. <laughs> Are you just gonna hang I'm around with us? You. Yes. Well, I guess we might might as well go Everywhere? to a more comfortable room. Yes, I will accompany you and listen to you. Okay. Anyways, let's finish and this. There's two of us and one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt my capabilities in a brawl. <laughs> How's it? Oh, not to fire. You can look at the size of that rifle. No. <laughs> you can just walk in different directions. I still have to throw my charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you're not uh, listening I, to I any guess... of this, are you, Goo? <laughs> I'm. I have not heard anything. <laughs> Um, I I, what, here's what I propose. Uh, we're gonna start walking back up to a more comfortable room with Goo, and uh, the camera can go back to the negotiations in the other yep. room. How does that sound? That sounds good to me. Alrighty, so, uh, back up here, Helena. You're, so, um, yeah. Just to fill you in, Gary, it looks like By9 was spying on our conversation, and luckily, my good friends caught wind fast enough to prevent them from well, having by nine learn all of your confidential secrets, or more importantly, the location of that R and D base before we even got there. He's kind of like, they, they all right, God damn it! He stands up, pulls a gun out of his cabinet, and then shoots Whoa! the camera. It rings <laughs> out in the other room. There's obviously some kind of commotion. You guys here in the main room, you hear the uh, uh, basically like mid manager. She just be like, "It's all right, it's all right, everything's fine." He just shoots his gun sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's uh, one option. So, I right. apologize for my own comrades um, investigating, but this needed to be tackled <laughs> quickly and without making a scene. You Ral, know? your ears are ringing. Yeah, like, oh, shit. You don't think Merkin <laughs> fucking flinched at all? He's just staring dead forward again. <laughs> no, no, he he's, he he has seen anti-material rifles being shot yeah. at people before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> But, um, he just kind of waves in. Yeah, yeah, forget this negotiation nonsense. Let's go. You're going on that job, right? Um, I mean, sure, but I hate to press buttons on this a, a bit further. What are we going to do about that little nasty debt on the lab license itself? What are we going to do about it? Well, that's the beautiful thing. You get UEA back on my side, we don't have to do a goddamn thing. They'll just bail us out. Gary. I don't mm -hmm. want that big, nasty red number on my name. She, like, leans on the table again. <laughs> Come on. Come on, all right. You gotta butts it out. Look, I'm gonna have a sign a contract right now. You get this cleared up, we'll handle the debt, get our bail out, and you get the lad. Sounds like a deal. Hmm. Now, oh. I'm gonna have to keep in mind, we want to be grandfathered as owners. I don't want to have to start paying you for lad's dues, but anyone else, you charge him. That's fine with me. I mean, she, like, looks at Merkin and Raul. I mean, I'm personally pretty fine with that. Yeah. Sounds Look, reasonable. I'm thinking about 20 years after the war blows over, Raul, but she's trying a new robot anyway, so you get a good time with it, and then we're good to go. 
and just even help you with that idea since it's going to be the uh the next model why don't you call it the grand lad like it's a grand <laughs> like a it's like you kind of so can i take you're a, never a uh, damage yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes take a stress damage um Thank you. <laughs> uh he kind of like looks at you like i think i'll leave it up to the rd team to work on the name helena of course but you can course. call the lad whatever you want now the chat right. <laughs> oh why don't we actually, sign on here now actually down a paper i hate to be that girl but i had one more question if it's just one more yeah. thing Merkin swipes the paper as you start talking that and runs through it. You can ask. Yes, him. read that contract. He, he, he sits down with you and you both talk over it. Getting to that R&D location quickly and efficiently might be a little taxing for us right now. See, we don't exactly have a ship to get there in an efficient manner. Give Is you time. It... Give you time. Mm -hmm. I can hold off at UEA for longer. I know I've got some hope I'm clinging on to. I'll just make do, like we always have. Right. Here's the thing, Gary. Having a ship to be able to move our guys in there quickly and efficiently means you get your stuff sooner. All right. Um, charm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I? You're ru I, I running out of buttons. Running out of buttons, gang. <laughs> this is barely hanging on at this point. Still got it. You take one stress and then this will work. Like, you know what? All right, all right. I'll give you a shit. Time of contract completion, I want that back in our hands. You understand me? Oh. That. The, the whole ship? Yes, unless it's in pieces, then. What if I lose a button and get another stress? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Oh, come on, D6. It's too stressed, though. Keep that in mind. Yeah, roll that. Roll that, D6. You might take a trauma for this, but... No, that does it! You're over. What's your stress total at? Have you been taking notes? Uh, I am now at seven. <laughs> so, okay. Helen is gonna stop talking for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'll take I it am over, out buddy. of fucking boys. Your I head am is out. pounding. Your head is pounding due to the hangover. You've been pushing it as best you can. Working with this guy kind of sucks. You hate this old job. You're about ready to snap, but you push through, and he's just like, you know what? Screw it. Kind of like, I said I was going to give you some little extra money from this. How about I make it a deal? Ship. But I'm not refunding any battle damage it gets from getting over there, so keep it safe. Got me? But that's final terms, all right? It would be insane of me to press further. That's Does that sound right. good to you too? Uh, Roll, looking at the contract. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Working like, yes, this is okay. It's good. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He you with a hand back? Uh, he, Raul, you have the contract in your hand. Helen is there. There's a pen. Mm -hmm. Put it in paper. Well, there are no real traps in this contract, so... If you want to make the call, Silas gave us the authority. Your call, Mother Hen. Yeah. I'd love to, uh, forge alliances with you again, Gary. Uh... You step up, getting ready to go forward. As you start taking a step, he only starts laughing like three seconds after you make the joke. And then as you move forward, you feel the hangover kind of tip in a bit and you start to tip and fall over slightly. But as you do so, you start pulling yourself up and you realize it wasn't just you. You notice everyone just shook for a moment as there is a crash and there seemed to be some sort of shaking noise as... Gary kind of looks up a bit and he kind of looks back over for a second and almost savvily uh, shifting over. He's like, sign the contract now. Something's happening, but sign up now before he changes his mind. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You sign a <laughs> contract on the ground, pull it up with yourself, and you slap it on the table. And he seems a bit distracted. He just turns over. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, he takes it, puts it down, slides it in. I was hoping to be able to evacuate after this was done. It's time to go. He Dimitri, check up. the cameras outside. And Rolla says over to cam the comms. Uh, uh, on it. Yeah, you look. Uh, Goo, you patch in as well as you get a comm from Malapraxis who calls. Um, 
GHU-5907. It seems that combat has begun on the outsides of our current located zone. It's never that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Duck, you see incoming hostiles moving in fast from a nearby block. Uh, over here, um, Forge kind of looks over. Helena! Yeah? Your boys and girls can fight, right? Oh, hell yeah. I'll pay you. Uh, I'll pay you a shit ton of money if you help me right now. <laughs> Double the bonus of this contract. Here, I'll pen it in. He prints a new one, puts it down, pins in an extra bit of number, and slaps it in front of you. Also, <laughs> no terms attached to the desperateness of the situation. Beautiful. Oh. I love working with you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Roll, puts his hair up, like opens the suit, revealing the pilot outfit yeah. underneath. <laughs> yeah. That's like, I'm going to stay inside. Good luck. Uh, Malapraxis uh, speaks to uh, you, helper unit, as he's just like, I want you to begin transfer to the nearby vessel. Get your consciousness in your mech. Your job is simple defend us. Make sure. Everything goes well here, you understand? I will upload the protocols to your combat uh, profile. <clears throat> Understood. You both, you all notice how uh, the GHU unit in front of you just suddenly like slumps down as an upload begins as the consciousness leaves the body. And <laughs> hack it and kill it instantly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so do we have to like carry this around with us? <laughs> there. I'll open the door for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, all of you, uh, get caught up and you start running. And as you start going, you realize that shit, shit, a panic starts to set over. All of your mechs are turned off in the hangars, except ducks. Yours is also just outside, in the middle mm -hmm. of the street where active combat is starting to spill over. A vanguard force just plunged beyond UAE lines and is pushed deeper into the city. You have to move. I'm gonna and... activate my stealth suit. <laughs> yeah, fair. Same. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Alrighty, so, uh, let me preload this scene and get us outside then. So, Hell yeah. as you start heading outside, you all notice um, that... Uh, Standing out front, you've already seen uh, some of the troops begin to move out, and you all notice in front of you that uh, more frames have immediately started stepping forward and moving onto oh, the shit. battlefield. It's and dark? And you stop dead. It's dark. Now, Andal takes place in a farther west side of the planet, so this is like almost as far as you get without really getting too much sun at all. So it's always dark here. Um, it's like always late twilight in Andal. Um, oh. basically night. So you step out into the night, and as you do, uh, you look ahead, but you also hear something else. A helicopter begins to approach rapidly. It flying in deep above, a shuttle emblazoned with the colors of Bi-9, its emblem, uh, running high as it almost speaks up actively and, uh, calls out beginning landing operation. Dropping helper unit down. 5907. Prepare for landing. As it speaks out to you, um, different, a little pod at the uh, beginning of uh, the bottom of the ship just drops down. I say little, it's quite large in actuality. A gigantic thing that seems to fall down and click into the ground as it unfolds and inside a frame uh, ends up appearing. As it does, a second pod falls, one nearly the same size of it, a weapon. It clicks open and from inside the form grabs it. GHU-1, or GHU-5907, you activate, landing down, combat sensors going off all at once as the shuttle drops down, drop clear, transferring protocols. Speak of as the devil. You all stare forward. GHU-9, you see your protocols flash in front of you. Step 1, establish battlefield dominance. Priority 2, protect Scrivener Malapraxis. And then priority 3, optional. Allow non-corporate pilots to reach their mechs. GH5907, deploy. And now... Hey, we, we gave you a cute little nickname. Think about that. 
<laughs> Let's begin combat. <clears throat> so, I'd say it's probably fair, J29. Um, before we actually begin combat itself, everyone, this green zone is the control zone. Uh, you can actually move yourselves to any point on the green to start as well. It's like doubling as your deployment. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I, I would like to be yeah. as... I, I actually can't see where the green ends. Uh, oh, we don't on. have lighting. We yeah. don't have here, you know what? I will uh, drop unlimited lighting here. Um, there you go. Now you see the whole battlefield. Oh. 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 Uh, the plus, uh, right? So... I don't have vision. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'll give it to you. So, oh God, where's um, my neck? there we go. So let me uh, let me run down what's going on right here right now. We are doing a holdout mission. You guys need to keep enemies off the control zone by the end of the sixth round. In the meanwhile, you guys are obviously outside of your mechs right now. Uh, if you look around the map, you'll notice green points that are titled garage. If you go up to any of them and use a full action, your mech will print and you'll be outside on your mech. However, you need to get to them. Pilots can move up to their speed and also boost. Uh, so you can basically move double your speed on a turn. Um, I mean, Doug, Doug, has Doug has it good. Doug has it pretty so good. good. <laughs> yeah. You guys will need to run to these garages in order to get through. Um, obviously, it's the job of your uh, current new pilot and Duck once he gets in to try to get you guys there safely. Uh, yeah. What does blue mean? Uh, blue? Uh, blue's light cover. Got it. So, as a pilot scale, uh, you still get soft cover, because, yeah, but, yeah. So. So, like, any of these garages could have yes, our I've, mech? Yes, I've left the uh, exact location of your mechs vague until you guys get there. Just as an act oh. of kindness. It didn't put you in specific <laughs> spots. You all can <laughs> go to the same garage, different ones, whatever you want to do. Okay. Okay, go I guess uh, if uh, if we feel if we feel like it, uh, the the Babbage can house us all. I think uh, uh, if yes, if you want to be in a mech to to like get to Avoid the garage. getting shot at. Yeah. I mean that sounds pretty like it. good. Yeah, yeah, that's Just probably our bus. best course of action. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So are we all deployed and ready? I'll move these guys too. All right. Let's so see. let me let me think here. Yes. So, um, <laughs> I, I still the safest, like the oh, safest option. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I know the problem. I'll get you. The safest oh, yeah. option would theoretically be everyone gets in Duck's mech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know but, how to do it. You don't have permission with your thing. Here, uh, I'll give it to you now, buddy. Oh, you do. I guess rule-wise, that wouldn't really be oh, possible. Then, uh, uh, I mean, what do you want to do? Get... Just let me know. If everyone tried to get into Duck Smack, we uh, can see you... four. We yeah. can see four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty we, sure we, we can all fit. Yeah. yeah. So we can all squeeze on in there, which I think is probably the best course of action. I realize all it takes is one impressive missile, and we all die. Uh, that is very true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if we're, I mean. So like I move three a turn. I'm slow as shit. Yeah. So me getting to a garage is gonna take for fucking ever, unless mm -hmm. I'm like in a mech yeah. that can actually scoot and boot. Seems fair. The Babbage is also very slow, but it does hover, so we can go in a straight line. Okay. Yep. Are the oh, there are already enemies here too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, looking Ready at to... what they have. Uh, oh boy. So, yeah, to start Sentinel off, can, Sentinel is a problem. Dude. Yeah. So, uh, to start off really quick, um, I'm going to pass the ball to our, our new boy here. Yeah. Who, uh, feel free to uh, start yourself, my bud. It's fucking okay. up. All right. Okay, Tiny. Uh, GHU5907, you activate inside of your mech, and you immediately spot four enemy frames located in this location. They're immediately in front of you. They dropped you off ahead of the team. Your shuttle is floating above, and your priority... Activates. Establish battlefield dominance. Establishing battlefield dominance. Activating protocol. Oh. Okay, so for the rest of the scene, the Shogun's hypergravity ability, which causes people in verse 2 to be a difficult terrain, also causes difficult terrain. So, if you'd like to move now, you have full freedom to. Alright, and I'm going to move. <clears throat> 
So, you step within range of um, this Dutchman here. You are the same size, um, and you are now engaged with him. Uh, so, Congrats. Yeah, uh, that means um, I <laughs> believe you move. both are the same size right now. Um, so, let me just triple check engage here, because I'm pretty sure um, yeah, you're engaged. There we go. You stop moving if I'm... Yep, as you, when you right. uh, move in, uh, equal or greater size during the course. Yeah, so it's equal, so you stop your movement right there. But let's do a quick uh, little test of your um, uh, size here again, where burst two. So, okay, you've got him right now. Yep, and so I'm going to swing my giant conobo at him. The yep, sounds good. Stick. Okay, so you swing in, holding up the hammer, and you lift it in the air. The weight of it seems to adjust rapidly, spinning like a small weapon until you fight, hold it up high and slam down, and it crunches into the armor of this thing, dealing seven kinetic damage and knocking it back, too. Do uh, you have a... Uh, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, so you don't have lure loadstone equipped, so because of that, um, you just straight up knock back, too. And take seven damage. Don't these guys have... I'm checking that... right now. Yeah. Um, yes. However, he does have shock armor. So as a result of that, he's going to take half. So he takes four since we round up. Okay. And with my attack, I will do a backswing cut. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Um, unfortunately, no characters was in threat range right now. However, um, he's out of range now. Kibler? Oh, never mind, you're right, I forgot! See, <laughs> the Collider Conobo is a multi-weighted weapon using gravity, resulting in it acting like all weapon types. So as a result, it's technically an auxiliary weapon, it technically gets throwing, so yes. Um, it's within threat line of sight, it's not adjacent, make that backswing cut. Alright. Who's your target? You got a I'm sentinel over targeting... with a shotgun. A... Yeah, I'm gonna be targeting the sentinel. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Damn. Oh, nice. Seven more damage. The Sentinel is just going to be taking that. So, yeah. You hit the Sentinel back, too. Knocking it back into this, like, wall, essentially. As it takes seven. Nice job. And that is my turn. Sounds good. Okay. So, next up, enemy turn. So, almost immediately following you up, uh... The enemy mech here, lifting a giant hammer out, it tries to move back up in range. Um, hang on, it's speed two. It steps in here, and it cannot actually get close enough because, well, no, dangerous it has terrain. threat two. Dangerous, uh, dangerous and difficult terrain. It enters for the first time, so it's going to roll an engineering check. It passes, but it cannot get the movement together to move in closer. Luckily, it's got a threat two weapon. So as it hefts up this large hammer, it tries to meet your Tetsubo or your Kanabo with it and slash down at you. Yes! Oh, but as it goes in, you sidestep to the side and the hammer just smashes in and cracks the ground. Uh? It is futile. <laughs> you, um... <laughs> Kinetic compensation occurs as the hammer almost bounces back up and it adjusts, but that's for later, as uh, that was its full action, so that's all it does. <clears throat> okay, so who's next? Duck, do you want to go? You're the only uh, one who can reach a mech. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess might as well get that shit started. Uh, how much can I move uh, on foot? I forget. It's uh, it's uh, You have four movement. You're... I have four movement. Yeah, yeah, because oh, you have sorry, the invisibility that. suit, so you have four movement. Yes, gotcha. so you could step up to the edge there. You only need to step up yeah. two. And then uh, full yeah. action, get in your mech, turn it on. Uh, boot up. Yep, that's that's what I'm doing. All right, you are now in your mech. Yeah, get Let that just stole delete you and put you that there. You notice the oh. hum of the uh, Babbage as a... Uh, uh oh the, hum, the Babbage starts to hum as uh, it activates, and uh, you all start noticing Duck just sitting on the end. So that was your turn. Um, let yep. Me. Uh, I have. Uh, I don't have vision now that uh, the other token is gone. Just okay. so you know. I'll make sure to give you all vision here. Fact. E. Thank you, know you. I'm just gonna change the map now. Uh, turn off token vision now. Um, uh, 
Ah, fuck, I was going to. Okay, so, <clears throat> next up, I'm going to give it to this uh, hive unit over here. Or hive unit. It shifts over. Uh, it notices you there. It's going to immediately uh, step on back this way. Wait, it tries uh, to leave my range? Uh, no. Did, oh. did it forget about my third AoE? <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true your third aoe it is within range three <laughs> so you activate magnetic shackle uh i need to make a whole sieve or it becomes immobilized till the end of its turn Current please turn. eat shit please eat shit oh so you're trying to unapproach me no <laughs> <laughs> okay okay it it gets out it gets out of your range uh however um it still takes regardless 1d3 ap damage so uh, it's going to take 2 AP damage, it does. which it pulls its metal bits outside of your range, moves behind its partner, and then it immediately is going to attempt to uh, Voltec. The first thing it's going to do um, is it's going to use Drone Barrage on you. <clears throat> which hits. So, uh, you choose. You either become immobilized and impaired, or you immediately move five spaces in a direction. Um... I'll move five, five spaces. Okay. Um, he pulls you five back this way. <laughs> and then uh, the second tech um, was the Razor Swarm, which it's going to put in a free area within sensors range. Allies in this area gain soft cover, as long as they're partially within it, and enemies inside take burn. Where's so I'll put down at? the first one of those. I'm putting it down now. I'm just putting it down uh, right on these two, so they both have soft cover. <clears throat> All right, so who's next? Get uh, another player to run up and get inside, you think? Pick I mean, me up, yeah, pick I, me up, pick me up. I can, yeah. I can, just, I can just scoot in real quick, watch out. Yeah, so uh, Helena, you go. Uh, stop at the border of it, so also I can just uh, uh, delete your icons when you go yep. in. And, and of course, I, I don't have vision anymore, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, okay. Um, Next up, we go to, oh gosh, uh, you know, I'll make it Sentinel's turn. Uh, the Sentinel starts up, he's going to um, activate a Bodyguard, character within range, and he gets a reflexive blow reaction against them. Um, he is going to, oh actually he does have line of sight you right now, uh, he can peek around the corner there and you have line of sight of him. Uh, is he in range though? He might not be in range. He, yep, yep, okay. He's going to look over at the other side, um, and uh, he's going to first activate Eye of Midnight to slow himself, <laughs> and then he's going to shoot you with the combat shotgun. A miss. The shells just fly out too late as you're sort of pushed oh, wow. back, the gravity almost pushing them down into the dirt as it reaches their maximum effective range. Alrighty. So, another player turn. Are we getting another player in the, the big suit? I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, if you if you insist, yeah, I'll save myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll work on getting the map visible for you guys, but yeah. Yeah, no worries. Uh, okay, so um, next up, let me just. Oh, you know, oh wait, is shit visible now? Uh, it is for me. It is. Yeah, excellent. So, uh, next enemy turn. Uh, I'm going to have the Aegis uh, step up to about here. And then um, it's going to uh, boost. Uh, it might just want to... Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's going to use a full action to activate its VLUA black wall system. It's what? Which creates a pitch back wall. You see this almost pitch back black wall of energy almost form up and it seems to build that wall in a line 10 area those line five that's great um as it goes across this length and uh within range five it's five spaces high um the wall blocks line of sight affects or attacks and provides hard cover uh characters that start their turn in the wall or enter it and turn uh roll 1d6 on a four they're removed from play at the end of their next turn uh when they and reappear uh, anywhere from 10 of the wall. <laughs> so, uh, Whoa. that's what's placed Jesus down there. Jesus fucking Christ. Hot yeah. damn. So, uh, Raul, you wanna go? 
Yeah. I don't know if I should enter the mech or if I should try to skirt around, you know? It's, uh, it's up to you. <laughs> yep, you're already close to the edge, so how far can you... You might want to do the math of how long it takes you to get around uh, to the garage. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four... So that's one turn. Oh, so you'd be just able to get there, but you'd have to boost, which means you'd, um... Uh, end up, like, having to wait to get full activate your mech. Yeah, I think it's safer to get into Duck's uh, robot. Probably so. If you had the flight suit, you could probably get there first, but I yeah. think it is. So whoop, 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 you move whoop. over. Action, get in the mech. All right. There we go. All the players are inside their shit. So, uh, next up... Um, Running along down the sides of the road, uh, a full squad of alien infantry begins moving up. Uh, they Lizards. do a full, and then they move boost, <laughs> and then run over this way. Um, let's see, are they in line of sight of anyone? I don't think so. They hug the walls as they advance, uh, pushing forward into the city. I don't want to fight anymore. If enemy, why you look like friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, uh, next up, uh, let me just run through the NPC turns really quick. Uh, lock, losing line of sight, the sniper is just going to prep an action to, um, oh, they can't prep it because it's a full action to fire their anti-material rifle. So, it's a um, super heavy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, the, they're just going to, oh, you know what they're going to do? Uh, defensive grapple. So, they're going to pull them, they're going to move over here. Uh, finish up there, and then they're gonna grapple themselves on top of this building and be located there, and then they'll boost to move right across from the wall and get vision again. And then the, uh, another oh. squad of sneakies is moving up, uh, this way as they do a no. full boost up here. Oh, thank god uh -oh. I didn't go that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You would've yeah. had to make friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... These guys are just gonna, these two are gonna hold their quick action to fire at anything once the wall fades. Um, Mikhail and Sato. <laughs> yeah, uh, the shuttle backs up, trying to fire, but then ends up not. Uh, actually, it's probably in the air. Uh, drop down to put the pod back, but uh, it'll fly five up. I think the wall still blocks though, so. Yeah, it just flies back, boost over here, and it gives you a calm general helper unit. Returning to picks up Melopraxis. Good luck with the operation. It lands down in the front, and you notice that, kind of moving out, uh, Malapraxis approaches as the shuttle drops, and a comm goes out here as it's just like, I hope you remember our terms, TMG. He gets inside, the shuttle turns, and it prepares to leave next turn. Alright, so uh, with that, we end this round. Okay, so, top of the next round. Uh, enemies go first. Uh, I think there's some uh, microphone noise. Yeah. yeah. From, uh, who, who, yeah. Who, who's Mike Cracklin? I think it's tiny. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, so, uh, with the wall deployed, it lasts for... Uh, the Aegis ends its, as a quick action or is destroyed. Okay, so that's just there. <clears throat> um, alrighty. Okay, so... In that case, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have the uh, this guy move up, and then he's going to boost into the wall, which means I roll 1d6. All right, so on a four up, okay, he's removed from play till the uh, uh, end of their next turn. All righty. So, who's next? Reduce turns. Uh, duck, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess duck. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> duck! Now, I'm All gonna right, go and uh, I'm gonna leave the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just leaving. Good luck. Uh, okay, uh, going up and over. Um, uh, so that's the normal movement. Uh, boost. Can I get in range of the garage with a, with a boost? Yeah. Like, okay. is this yeah, in range yeah, of absolutely. the garage? And it could drop down. Okay. Uh, Keep in mind, I could you also are do size four up, so dropping down is damage. But yeah, especially so I'm gonna have three. to like go down. 
Yeah, yeah uh, your knees are gonna I... explode, but it may be worth it. I don't know. Uh, I have okay, so I have this is this is such a stupid okay, this is a bit of a reach, right? Um, but I do have manipulators. Uh, the way the way I was imagining the manipulators is like little tentacles going down. Could we repel mm. down on the manipulators? You know what? Yes, I'll let you. If you got manipulators, oh. you'll basically grab them and deposit them down. Which, uh, yeah, no. If you do an it's action cute. for that, I'll let you put people down there. Uh, yeah. Who Hell wants yeah. to? Who wants to go down was, real quick? I was just calculating that uh, if you if you didn't do it that way, then. Uh, it would take a full action to disembark and a full action to get in again, so this is definitely a preferred method. I you mean, Helen, I should go. My my mech is built for reactions, so when these little tools come up, I can just blow them up. Yeah, yeah, so, that's a good idea. Keep <laughs> in mind, because of the way this works, you only get to take one person out at a time with these. You could overcharge to put two down, and then they could get in mechs this turn. The other two are going to have to wait a little bit. Oh, we can all take use the same garage? garage? Yeah, no, as I said, you could all use the same garage, that's Fucking fine. Fucking poggers! Yeah, man, this is totally valuable. valuable. Like, this is good value. Good value. value. So, who, you're, I imagine you're dropping off Helena for the reactions, and who else? Uh, okay. put Farah down, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. I get to ride the tentacle. My, my, my Mac <laughs> works best at range, and range yeah. is mm. what we don't have here with, a, with that squad Ex rolling yeah. up on us. Yeah, yeah so. I will, uh, so just just to go through the, like, automatic things that happen at the start of, like, a Babbage turn. Uh, so first of all, there's a uh, uh, fucking adaptive nucleus that goes off, uh, so I get uh, three mm -hmm. over shield, if my math yep. is correct. Yes. Uh, the other thing is once per round, because that's a free action, uh, I think I can see the, can I see the Aegis? From here? Yes, you can. You can see it. Okay. Uh, gonna logic probe that and scan it real nice. quick. Okay. So, uh, we got logic probe again. It's been a bit. Uh, once per round, Babbage can inflict scan or lock on on an enemy. This does not count as an action. Let's go. There we go. Ooh. Alrighty. So, scan. There you go. Scan. Hey, yo. Lovely. Okay, good. So, um, with that in mind, uh, overcharge for me too, because that's to use the mandibles twice. To drop yeah, yeah right. Uh, let me. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, let me get fucking my sheet. Uh, did I not take the right? Right? No, I did. I just need to scroll down. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, yeah, all right. So. No. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anything else you gotta do this turn, or are you good? Uh, what do I have left? It was an action to do. No, I think I think uh, I think I'm all tapped out. So yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, um, with that in mind, uh, let's go for an alien turn now. Um, so, uh, next up, the um, Sentinel is gonna. Um, oh, you know, shit, you know what I forgot to do? I need to add in reinforcements. Um, I'll do that after this turn. Ooh. Sentinel moves up. <laughs> Let's uh, roll a 1d4. Or no, 1d6. 1d6. Okay, so he does Doesn't not vanish. Doesn't vanish. So uh, he peeks through the wall, and uh, he's going to fire his combat shotgun. Nice shot. Wow. <laughs> He gets in range, and now he's in your range in difficult terrain, so he's got to engineer it. <laughs> okay, he will not survive this turn. Five <laughs> damage. <laughs> oh, no, what? <laughs> From failing dif dangerous terrain, always deals five damage when you fail your engineering check. AP. Ah, so uh, yes. Jesus. Jesus Whoa. Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remind me to never fight a show again. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, only five damage. No, it's not AP. Okay. Uh, so it's actually not going to be five damage. It's going to be a number less. Okay. So, uh, who's next? I mean, uh, Mech, I guess, please. Yes. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Helena, Mech, you uh get it. You run inside. You pop in and you activate your mech. Uh, getting everything set up and you start rolling out. As you step forward and fair, you step to the side as this large hulking machine steps forward. 
a design from TMG adapted using the technology available from the aliens. One that wields a mighty shotgun and walks forward, its spines poking out from parts of the body. You step out with your totally original mech, not from Lancer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking cool! I call this an upgrade, baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is this is really fucking cool. Yeah, I love my so, big yeah, boy. Baby. Alrighty, so uh, Tortuga, ready? You step on out. Uh, uh, this is Cockabrutal Do. That's right. You with Cockabrutal Do <laughs> step on out. And uh, next up, let's see what Amy goes next. Um, the Hive, uh, noticing some shit going on, uh, is going to uh, step out of cover a bit. It's going to move here. And then it's going to attempt to hack into. Uh, it's going to full tech. Uh, oh, yeah. It's going to. Um, Okay, yes, yes. So, um, suddenly it's going to uh, move these swarms, as the swarm's going to move two spaces in this direction, uh, as it goes from there to there. And after that, it'll, uh, it didn't recharge regular swarms. It's sad. Uh, <laughs> it's going to full action to um, do drone barrage. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to try to hit you with drone barrage. See what happens. Uh, who you're attacking? I'm um, attacking Duck. It's the only target you can see. Inside. Oh boy. Miss. You have good. Uh, yeah. And then the second one, he's going to fire a Hunter Killer Nexus at you. Nexus is almost fly out of these tiny little fleshy drones that go out and start spitting Yeesh. acid on you. So it only soaks in your overshield, but it does give you three burn. Okay. So your overshields are consumed, but you got three burn when you take your turn next. Gotcha. Alrighty. Burn is I uh, take uh, normal damage on my turn, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yes, cool. Unless you pass an engineering check, it's at the end of your turn. So, gotcha. Farah, do you want to go in your mech? <laughs> yes, I do. Alrighty. So, um, uh, oh, you know, I realized. Did you want to overcharge to take an extra quick action on your turn, Helena? Uh. Just a move, or? E okay, so full action would also eat the move. Uh, I'd say because you had to move out of the garage, but you could quick action to boost if you wanted to. Yeah, I I think that would be a wise thing to do. Uh, am I also able to activate uh, my like once per scene ability or whatever? Uh, no, your because you didn't power? start your turn in the mech. It has to be at the beginning of a turn. I see. So. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So if that's the case, uh, then what I will do is I will get here at least, just so I can provide. Uh, yeah, a bit more cover go. for uh, click overcharge you. for you and uh, uh, Farron. Yeah, it'll be your turn. So I'll knock you off the initiative and delete you. You weren't even on it, I think. Um, and uh, I'll put you in your cool mech now. You run on inside, and you notice other people scrambling. But uh, as you go inside, you run past uh, two mechs as you go to yours, and then uh, you pop inside. Let me let me turn. Move it or lose it. Coming Move through. It or lose it. <laughs> you step on out in the wild bunch, armed and ready. Would you like to overcharge the move? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, why not? We got to get out there. All right, um, so. No. So if you want to go the long way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that cute. Go speed. <clears throat> My speed is five. Ah. Okay. Uh, man, the the Everest be zooming. <laughs> it does be zooming. Yeah. Okay, so you step forward, start making your way across. You see the uh, enemy combatants over there. I fucking forgot to place the round one guys again. Hang on, I'm doing it before I do anything else or I'll forget. Um, yeah, deploy the down. reinforcements. Yeah. Check down at the ingress zone here. As you see um, uh, down here, you notice two more frames step on in. Uh, you notice a bombard. No, no. And, uh, look, I'm nice. I gave you one turn before the bombard showed up. Um, no. And this barricade. Don't fucking imagine. Let me, let me give them their shit back. Okay, priorities have just shifted for me. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'll go with an enemy turn now. Um, let's see. Any, any nice targets? Oh, there is some nice targets. Uh, bombard turn. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy I asked you guys to move first. 
gave that option before I did this. I could have just, yeah. All right. Me justifying my immoral actions here. Um, <laughs> Dude, see. I so, get it. There's no high compared to hitting a good Bombard shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this shot's going over here. So Bombard's going to be firing now. Um, as a free action, I'm activating Earthshaker cells. Things. Um, and we're shooting, so... Bam. Fair Okay, okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Thank oh. fucking god. <laughs> so, um... So, it gets... Plus a bonus for that. Okay, so, the Bombard shot flies over, but due to the location, it flies too low to damage the Babbage, too high to hurt you, Fair, as you see the building shake. And then... <laughs> the sniper drone, Goldilocks in the middle, takes eight damage, uh, no, nine damage, as it's blasted by this, and due to, um, due to one of the abilities, Earthshaker and Bunker, Bunker Buster, uh, it must succeed in a hole save. Which it has impaired to because Oh, this building's unit. about to explode. <laughs> it is about to go. Um. Oh, God. So, I'm Get gonna make fuck two... out. Yeah, um... So, uh, it's gonna fall now, because it's falling through the building, which does six to- it's dead. Um, oh, the no. thing breaks apart, and it just completely is destroyed. Oh, uh, top oh, UEA bastard. technology, baby! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There it is. Alright, it falls down, and it's- uh, No, this is- this is Prime Cerulean Labs tech, it's fragile. Um, <laughs> oh, Zero Labs made those! <laughs> yeah, nerds. God. Alright, so, uh, yeah, and- I'm gonna mark uh, two spots here that are now um, uh, hard cover terrain. I'm gonna put one uh, here and one. Oh god, they're honestly no. I'm just gonna put them up here so I block the path back up because uh, mm. I don't want to get you guys cover. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Alrighty. So uh, yeah, that's next the turn up. Earthshaker, right? It's like it uh, does give people cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Raul, would you like to, um, full action get out now, or wait until he can move you on a different turn? Um, I mean, I feel pretty safe with Helena right there. Yeah, and the Bombard already fired, so... Exactly, I was waiting... Next turn's <laughs> players first. <laughs> I was gonna wait for the Bombard to fire before I went. I'm gonna be yeah. real with you, Yeah, Chief. man, for real. Um, yeah, let's, let's get, uh, let's get Death's head out here. Okay, so you have the full action to get out. Um, so you'll land here. Next turn, you'll be able to get it out. Um, but yeah. you are invisible. You are here. So I am invisible. Yes. Next turn, you full <laughs> action. You'll have it, and you can quick boost to at least move or do something then. So it'll take yeah. a little longer, but we're still good. And as a reminder to folks, I have uh, house guard and whatnot. So if you're within two spaces of me, you get hard cover. Oh, uh, fucking awesome. Oh, Let's nice. go. Nice. Yeah. Because of Thanks, the Granny. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Alrighty, so in that case, um, I'll pick someone else to go now. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, I think next up I'm gonna have that, uh, Barricade, who's down next to the Bombard move. Um, so, we're gonna have that thing move up here. Uh, it's hovering. It's about two up in the air. And, uh, I'm going to... I guess just boosting's good, yeah. Alright. I'm going to boost it up here. And then, uh, let's see. You can see over this. Uh, and... Oh, well, okay, I need to have it move up. Peaking. So it's still got hard cover, but it's now peaking. Um, it can only see the Babbage, so it's going to take a Graviton Lance shot. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so you take two damage, which, uh, you feel your mech, uh, like, just kind of really shrinking down a bit at time, like, it's sort of, like, slowing rapidly. Uh, you take two damage, and you're slowed. Yeah. Okie dokie. Yippee! 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 All right. And I believe all of our, uh, 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 players have gone, so... No, no! No, not all of them. Uh, we I'm still have... The player to go. The Shogun. <laughs> Mr. Shogun. Mr. Shogun. I see. They have dropped the wall. They're making things interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so can I target this guy? He's in the wall, so I assume yeah. he's got Yes, covered. he has hard cover, but you can see him this time, because he's, like, kind of poking through. Okay, I'll risk it. For the biscuit. Biscuit acquired. Biscuit acquired. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Don't these guys, like, spawn a little other little guy when they get hit pretty bad? Uh, they have to do a thing for it. I see. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you miss with that one, but, uh, you, oh god, actually, is that the end there? Are you, yeah, I don't think you have end. anyone else in sight, yeah, so you try to swing down, but unfortunately the, everything is sort of blocked off there, uh, as he sort of is stuck in that spot, but he is still stuck there. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> okay, okay. So let's see then. Next up, we'll go with. Uh, I already did you. So instead, let's go over uh, D Dutchman's turn. Uh, he's invisible. He's not here right now. He's going to end his turn, which means he's going to appear uh, within 10 of somewhere. So let's see. That's 10. So the Dutchman reappears 10 spaces away right here. Bonk! But that's the end of his turn as he appears there. Um, Christian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Remind me of the um, of the objective here. Uh, the objective is holdout. So at the end of the round, you need to make sure that there are less than four enemies on the control zone. It subtracts a point Ooh. for every enemy on there. But uh, as long as you have one point remaining, you win. So basically, just stop more than four enemies from ending round six on that point. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, that's the end of that. I don't know why it had me roll the Bombard again. It wasn't his turn, but uh, I'm going to uh, uh, be the, fair and get rid of that Earthshaker. Uh, yeah. The Dutch guy isn't appearing on the control zone for me. Yeah. Oh, he isn't? Oh, yeah, hang on. Uh, let me... In this yeah, turn, he appears there. Right there. Right. there we go. Mm. Oh, he uh, went in there. Next turn, uh, disengage, and it flies away. <laughs> no. So it's it's flying out of there. It would have Thanks, been bro. so funny if the Dutchman had done that just before and just blasted the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you remember our turn. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. Uh, next up we go squad. Uh, let's go squad. Gonna, these guys move up here. Uh, they're gonna boost up here as well. Um, are they in range? Uh. No, not. So they're going to hold and uh, prepare to take an action with their anti-armor oh, weapon we have an on the tank when it moves. Yeah, you see a, a tank up ahead as it's rolling Oh, that's in. a full-blown tank, not an APC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, as... Okay, uh... You start to notice that there are more units rolling in. You notice the UEA is actively engaging in combat. As one of their tanks rolls on up, immediately uh, you hear the sound of an uh, a anti-tank weapon firing forward and blasting over at the tank. The sounds of combat on the street continue to run rampant as the tank uh, almost braces the shot against itself and continues moving. Raising up a gun, it attempts to fire down, launching a tank shell at the uh, scattered infantry who start crouching down on the street. This continues as the um, combat almost keeps spilling out. You hear sounds in the other direction of troops shouting and moving down the other street. The action spills off in every which direction as troops hunker down to the ground and you notice combat is taking place in every which uh, way. <laughs> yeah. Scoring squad! Uh, oh my god. You notice, uh, Helena, as you look at street by street, you notice fighting waves. The front line is uh, pushed to this exact point. You notice a bunch of squads moving up to engage with infantry up ahead. And the moment they do, they stop and all of them just hit the dirt trying to cover behind trees uh, or behind uh, buildings as they move over to the side, and then they start firing. They're gonna barrage action and fire uh, some weapons at you. Uh, 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 so that's that's range three uh -huh. for me. Uh, yeah, I have so. it so that if they even move into my range, I can just start oh, shooting. Yes, yes so yeah. you see them move in, and before they can even duck cover, you raise up your heavy shotgun and oh, bear it well, down on the infantry oh, forces. Uh, <laughs> which, what, which gun you firing, buddy? Which one is uh, I will be, of course, using oh, my, deck my deck sweeper, deck sweeper yeah. yep. uh, but I get it. accurate. Uh, yeah. plus two because it's a reaction. Yeah, and don't yes. forget to uh, uh, press T to target them so the funny little less effects oh, happen. Oh, so the fun little effect happens, you're right. Oh, they're there big. There we go. Uh, attack. Oh, those guys are gone. <laughs> you monster. Oh, okay, so 
Um, you fire off and immediately you just melt multiple of the people under the weight of the shells. They're pulverized against the dirt as they just struggle forward. Uh, due to strength and numbers, they have resistance to anything that isn't cone, burst, or blast. Uh, but mm. even with that in mind, you've done 11 damage, so halving that is 6. So you take 6 of their number out before the other 4 manage to duck behind the walls. Okay. Um, as they do it, you notice one of them crawling on the ground. It pulls the weapon out of the hand of one of the dead companions and then starts firing at you. It hits, you take 2 kinetic damage as the uh, magnetic bolts almost fly through the air and slam into your frame. Uh, my and armor is 2. Oh, so but unfortunately, the mech scale armor you have almost deflects everything off of it like it's nothing. As you pump a shotgun round and one flies out, another one, dumping out from behind the corner, fires an anti-armor weapon at you. Which misses as you almost move to the side and let it graze off your shoulder armor. All right, that wasn't even Brad. your fucking turn. Uh no. <laughs> I, the Tortuga is so good, dude. <laughs> It is so good. Oh, just wait. When I do my uh, special ability, I get two reactions a turn, and if I hit yeah. them, they get immobilized. Yeah. So It's so nasty. They're ducking down it. now. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, wait. I forgot. Uh, Michael, uh, Mikhail and Sato, the two uh, guys over here, uh, they had to hold action for a quick action once something came from the other side of the barrier. Well, guess who did? So they're going to fire their uh, Goss weapons at this thing. As on, both guys. of them raise up and fire. As uh, one fires and then the other one fires. The two shots ring across, both of them hey. hitting. However, uh, the shots almost seem to bounce off the heavily fortified armor of this unit as it turns around and looks at them, uh, suddenly <laughs> attempting to stop it. Something very bad is going to happen there. Uh, no! No! His turn is he immediately ducks behind the cover hey, and he yes, calls Martin. out over calls. <laughs> um, 59! We need your help up here! And, uh... Back over here, Aegis unit's turn. Uh, it's gonna move up. And we'll roll that 1d4. Nah. Alright, it vanishes. Um, so, oh, it disappears. It's 4 plus? Yep, 4 yeah. plus. Bonkers. It's because yeah. uh, disappearing is beneficial. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> it, that's the end of its turn there. Ne end of next turn, it gets to uh, reappear. Um, so, yeah, okay. Uh, let me just run through the last NPC, NPC. turns really fast as uh, this guy's going to duck behind cover as well. And then over here, um, you he you see a crashed APC, or you hear the comms calling out, This is the Cart 26! Anyone, anyone active in this area? Uh, we need orders! We have two down, including our commander! Uh, can I Can I pipe in? Uh, anyone can pipe in, yes. Yeah, so if you want to call first, let them know. Uh, yeah. We're a toilet mercenary group. We're here to aid you. Uh, uh, hang on. Patching in. Okay, we've got you. Uh, what do you need? We're holding out the enemies for now. Uh, we gotta defend the, uh, the front of the building. Uh, run that through with our, our... God damn it. Okay! Well... <laughs> You hear you know some Grumpy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Good. Um, uh, <clears throat> you hear okay. Okay. We're turning up. You hear a bit of control put over now that the chain of commands went on. Uh, returning to center control zone. We've got it marked. We'll cover. Uh, they move on up, and then they notice uh, a uh, uh, the. Dutchman, and uh, you hear the sound of another anti-armor weapon firing. Oh, okay, gosh. but that one misses as it just glances off the armor. Take cover, you idiots. <laughs> they are, they are. Don't worry. Um, I am taking cover. It gets behind my friend. Their entire <laughs> area is all located throughout their square. There's all sorts of small cover they're taking as per their ability. So, uh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, they, they are like size three? Kind size of... four is a squad. Jesus. Um, so their rough area is the same length, essentially, of the Babbage. But yeah, that's uh, round two in, so we go on to round three now. As uh, as we enter round three, I've got more uh, people to place. So let me put it like this. I'm going to... Um, who are you? Are you... Uh, aha. So, um, <clears throat> Helena, 
Yeah. As uh, you're fighting, you notice um, an explosion from the other end. As an enemy, uh, allied tank on the other side of the battlefield is destroyed, and you notice a mech shift attention and come into the aid of this squad as it appears right in front of you, wielding a classic uh, assault weapon, essentially. Um, it's an assault. And then, meanwhile, from uh, other locations, on the other side, uh, with the other squad of, of uh, infantry... Here, I'll ping it. Um, you notice... Uh, a angel unit is soaring above in the air. Let me move these guys so I can pull them out. As you got uh, a bird, it, you got a bird as it uh, flies over at the very starts very much there, and it starts five in the air. Okay, and finally, one more unit spilling in. You notice, uh, well, you only get the notification that it's there. You actually don't see it. It's a small unit, as uh. Coming in from the side, a unit seems to link up, and a scout unit spawns right next to the uh, bomber down here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, priority shift again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, we go top of round three. Player first. Uh, Raul, you want to get in your mech? Yeah, that would be nice, Probably wouldn't it? Would. Yeah, okay, uh, the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Full action. Yeah, I'll put you back on in your uh, uh, mech here. So, let's see. Yeah. Uh, you activate that, Murmur and step out. Does full action eat my movement as well? Your, uh, your, uh, thing. Uh, yes, it does, but you can boost to move or do something else. Uh, I need to put yeah. in, uh, I've done in here, so let me do that. Uh, need might to take read a second, what but yeah. mech does again. Yeah, sure. Let me just let you know what you want to do, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm for sure boosting, because uh, staying in there is a recipe for getting bombarded. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, do you have the, the wall walky things? Yes. Would you like to move up a wall or not? Obviously, there's a risk of uh, Bunker Buster activating and dropping you. Yeah, uh, I, I have a lot of movement. Like, I have That's eight true. movement. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking agility is great. Uh, uh, did you right, drop you my... Yeah. There we go. Oh, why did that's, I'll update it really quick. That's a death's head. <laughs> that's a death's head. Shh. We're gonna we're just gonna calm down. We're gonna we're gonna put that out as uh you walk in, not in this this Can icon that sheet? doesn't exist. Uh what's up? Can I use its sheet? Uh the yeah. token's sheet, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna overcharge. Go. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it's my it's my lizard boy. Your lizard boy, yeah. Uh Okay. Let's uh roll then. Uh one, so it would be four up the wall, right? Uh, yes. So I'm gonna go four here. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm gonna stay on that side of the wall in multiple types of cover. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Yeah, you crawl down over that way and stay in cover there. Um... As uh, you continue on, then. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. I think. Okay. There's nothing else I can do. All right. Sounds good. Then um, let me just uh, add you on to the initiative. Okay. Okay. So enemy turn. Let's go with. Um, uh, you know, I'll start with uh, the barricade's turn. So the barricade will. Oh no, actually. Um, uh, I'm going with the Bombard's turn. Let's see what we get here. Nope, it's not recharged. Okay, oh, so. Six points, interesting. Um, we're going to fire Bombard Cannon again. Uh, let's see, can I get a good range here? Uh, oh, I can't, I have to be greedy. Oh, damn, I can't be greedy, I mean. Okay, so in that case, I'll just, uh. Gradient. I'll target this. So, um, this is going to fire at uh, you two. Okay. And uh, let's see if it hits. He does get uh, plus one accuracy because he's currently standing next to a scout with spotter. <laughs> that, guy the, uh... that guy got to go. That guy got to go now. <laughs> Putting up, hooking up to uh, an allied um, uh, view camera, it ends up firing a shot and rains it down. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so that's a hit. Both of you take... So there's two in here, so that's seven damage. Seven damage. Ooh, Jesus Not Christ. AP, though, so reduced by your armors and all that. Yeah, okay, so I take 
five damage. Right. I'm at one HP. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Fair, yeah. Okay, so. Um, uh, hey, point of interest. I'm not on the initiative. Oh whatever. yeah, let me let me add you on there. Sorry about that. There you go. There you go. I'll make <laughs> sure to give you your turn. Okay. So uh, that's its turn. Who's next? I think Duck maybe. Uh, the best. Like, I, I will probably stabilize, I will be fully honest, so, uh, like, if yeah. you need things to happen fast uh, that are, like, yeah. aggressive, it's not me. Uh, I think it would be a good idea for you to start heading back to the control zone eventually to deal with that, uh, with that big chungus back there, because I don't think mm -hmm. he has too much E defense. Yeah. You could always move and then stabilize, too, since you yeah. did bracing yeah. out of your stuff. Alright, then we'll start your turn up, Duck. Just a suggestion. Okay, <laughs> uh, so before anything else, uh, I'm gonna activate the protocol, because I think that's a free action, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, the uh, all hands on station, the Babbage works its crew to their breaking point. For the rest of the scene, enemies targeted by Prober Virus automatically fail their system save, and Adaptive Nucleus affects all allies in sensor range. Fair uh, so, I'm getting three overshield. Oh, wow. You're getting all the three boys overshield. are. All the boys are. <laughs> A lot of NPCs uh, on this mission getting overshield right now. Yeah. Um, and then once I'm done with that, uh, free action. Uh, let's see. It's yeah. It's sensors. So I'm putting it on everyone. Can I? Can I free action? Uh, logic probe this guy. Uh, yes. Wonderful. Uh, once that is done, uh, I will then stabilize. Yeah, scan, yeah. Okay. I will then stabilize. Uh, so, hold on. Uh, it's in system? No, it's in... Xenotech doesn't apply here because we've already, uh, scanned these, like, got these guys before. Yeah, hold on, let me find stabilize in my sheet. Ah, there it is. Uh, stabilize. I will restore HP and clear burn, <laughs> please. Okay, thank you. yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, feel free to move, and then yeah, I'm gonna move, move back. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just gonna go over there. Okay, excellent. All right, bus is off. Good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, hey, you did your uh, part. Thanks right, for the ride, Dad. their lives. Ha! <laughs> uh, you notice the, um, uh, let me just do these guys again so I can... You notice the, uh, uh, assault unit ends up ducking over here and then peeking behind cover. It's going to, uh, raise up its heavy assault rifle and it's going to try to shoot at you. It gains... Oh, yeah, no, okay. Firing. Okay, but Ooh. peeking out around and trying not to be in your sight ranges, it doesn't manage to get a good hit on you. Uh, it is going to, however, um, uh, lock on. Okay. I should have locked on first, but that wouldn't have helped it. All right, yep, yeah, that's its turn then. Who next? I go next. Sure. All right. All right. I am going uh, let me just, let me just, uh, yeah, so, JJ, your protocol are... currently is that these two are asking for help. That is not within your protocol. However, they are being endangered by things on the control zone, which is your battlefield dominance protocol. So, yes, you, you can engage however you like in this instance. Okay. I'm going to activate my Blade Master to, uh, faint at the, this person in front of me. Okay, yeah. Just okay, in case he has yeah. any... Opportunities to prevent yeah, him from moving. Yeah, he absolutely would. So you faint, so you ignore his engagement, so you are not shot by a shotgun as you move away. So can I move this like this? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Right. You start gonna... charging forward as you run up, moving back into the control zone. You notice the uh, demolisher in front of you raising up his hammer, getting ready for round two. All right. I hope he's ready. Yeah. <laughs> You lunge forward, almost leaping in through the air with your uh, Kanabo race in hand. Alright. Excellent. 
So, uh, make sure to do any attack you want. Oh, whoops. Yep. I accidentally, uh, did not target. Oh, okay, that's fine. Alright, um, but against him will a 7 hit. A 7 will hit this guy, because he's big, so... Go ahead and roll again, and just take the damage of the second roll you do when targeting him. Okay, so this will do uh, 17 damage, yeah. Um, oh, this is actually a... Because um, you're uh, using this within your range, this actually has overcharge. So uh, as a result of that, you can uh, re-roll that one and take that instead. Overkill, I mean. So yeah, roll a uh, another d6 or, or d3. Actually, I'll just do it really fast. Okay. No, nope, roll on it again. Okay. So you take two heat right now because I was two of those, and then you get um, nine damage instead. Perfect. Can I overcharge to attack with my graph sleeve? Uh, yes, you can. Two right. steps down, goes through the armor. Yeah, and also oh, the save the Kanabo gets bonus damage because it's in the difficult terrain aura. That's true. You do an additional one d six plus two. So let me uh do that too. Okay, that's actually um oh wow. Okay, that is sixteen damage, half to eight. Did we do that bonus damage the first time too? We did not forgot about that so uh yeah i don't remember who it was done to oh wait it was done it was... to uh the sentinel guy yeah yeah well he hasn't done anything yet so let me let me actually roll this and see if he will get a chance he will not be getting a chance he's dead um he's already dead. much like kinshiro he is already dead and he explodes um <laughs> jesus <laughs> I have no issue with this. He did nothing uh, prior to this point. Um, refund your uh, your Blade Master die because you wouldn't have needed it. Um, oh, but okay. yes, uh, yeah, you grab sleeve, you raise up, and you slash into this thing with your uh, gravity uh, arm. And as you do that, you press into it, and the energy starts to pulse as you start peeling off the armor with the raw gravity emitting from this thing. Uh, you think you've done a pretty decent amount of uh, damage. Um, he looks like he's on the brink as the armor is peeling off, and it's trying to hold back the armor with one hand while it tries to swing in its hammer. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so. Next up. Um, let's do an enemy. You know, I'm going to go with him now. Uh, oh, he's not on the initiative. Hang on. Come back. Okay, so... In response, he raises up his hammer with his one grip pan. He has uh, a single accuracy on this due to missing before, as he swings down with the demolition hammer, trying to smash down into you. He misses again oh. as it rains down, goes in, but you manage to sidestep uh, aside once more as it nice. just hits down. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. doesn't doesn't he have accuracy from missing it the first time? He did. I added it. He has difficulty. Oh really? Oh shit! Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Um, Pitiful. Oh god. Okay. Yep. So, uh, next up, uh, player turn. Farah, mother. Oh, take it. Excellent. Yeah, go for it. All right. Yeah, you go. got a plan? Go for it. Yes. Uh, don't... My plan is I activate Kill. my super super hypersonic fuel injectors. Yeah. <laughs> I instantly explode. <laughs> <laughs> Rumbles very safely to life. <laughs> and there you go. That will allow me to uh, boost, boost free. as a free action. So insane. And because of my cool jump jets, it means I get to fly. Ah, yes, so you can fly over the Razor Swarm. Or. Or. Could do that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, or, or you could go down. Or I'm. <laughs> or can I fly up over these buildings? That would yes, be you can. three up. Mm -hmm. Does that count as? And then it doesn't count. You take and take an equal amount of vertical and horizontal movement, so you could clear. 
Oh, you okay. can move yeah. four up and then five forward. Yeah, I was counting movement up and down because I'm I'm not flying. I'm <laughs> my name. Like a lizard. So I'd be up on here with the boost, which was one more free, which speed. means I've got my movement. There you Ooh. go. Okay. And then. And uh, I'm going to take a shot at. Uh... Let's start with the little guy. The scout. Good. Good call. <laughs> yeah. Nice shoot with your assault rifle. Yes. Excellent. Not close enough for a fisting, so. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, you got one free boost. You could boost again. You can't use your... Oh, you could use your heavy charge blade. Yeah, so if you wanted to boost, you could get in and then punch them. Yeah, you can also overcharge and boost right. and do a barrage and it's, fire all your You're weapons. so fucking fast. You're so fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, you're... I am fucking fast. What am I doing here not being <laughs> fucking fast? Let's go. <laughs> So I'm going to boost, and that costs my quick, right? Yes, or you could overcharge to have a full action to hit with both two of your weapons. You overcharge, you'll be rolling a 1d3 for deep. I don't need to overcharge. I just need my... Gotcha. Uh, yeah, go kill him. Blade. Kill him dead. Charge blade Destroy him. Don't let this motherfucker go invisible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Go hit him with the pizza cutter. No, it misses as you the swing hell? down. Do and he barely uh, manages to duck out of the way. Wait, you wait, 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 yeah, you, you get, get accuracy because yeah. of your thing out of 1d6. Oh, the Everest is so good. I mean, the lab. The Everest is really good. <laughs> the lab. <laughs> this is what we're fighting for. That hits. Nice. All right. Oh, thank you, Axel. So, oh, boy. So let me roll 1d6 plus 3 for you. Um. Okay, that's four damage still. Uh, jeez. Uh, yeah, you you hit it for four, and uh, you basically clip off one of the uh, mech's arms as it barely manages to avoid a fatal blow there. Now, you could overcharge if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you have reliable you know damage. Yeah, you only live once. I'm going to overcharge. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Which weapon you want to fire with? I'm gonna give him yeah. the old, uh, <laughs> uh, punch. Yeah, go for it. And don't forget your accuracy. Yes. Accuracy. There you are. accurate fucking punch in the world. Alright, you, you got him. Okay, cool. you, you definitely got him. Uh, Sorry, you follow that up, lizard. pushing it, oh, you push it up to the next level <laughs> as you... Your mech whirs as heat starts billowing, um, and you just cut into this thing again and slice and pulverize the mech with your weapon, causing it to die. A rep to the pilot, little lizard guy. You crush the scout in front of you. Alrighty. You're next. (laughs) Uh, That's gonna make life a lot easier already. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, uh, next up, enemy turn. Let's see, um... Okay, uh... Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do, uh... I'll do, uh... This guy now, yeah. Okay. Um... Hive turn. Bastard. Getting it sent back. Alright. Uh, we're gonna move, um, the Razor Swarm, uh, two spaces this way, as it's going to, uh, move up. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Only one space, so he gets a little soft cover, being cheeky. Um... <laughs> It's going to uh, target Helena. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, first attack with a uh, a drone barrage. Okay, so uh, you take two heat. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit you with that. Uh, I've got to give heat tiny for this too, so I'm going to slap you with some heat tiny. You're at your heat total now. Um, So. Uh, Yeah. You get so either a mobilizer a... impaired, or you move five. Mm-hmm. I, I have a I have a question also, because sure, um, sure. I have scanned this guy, uh, yes. so I do have proper virus that is a reaction. 
So it says a hostile character that has been targeted by a scan that attempts to use one of their weapons or system. Yeah. Does that need so, that I does that need that I need to does that takes place? Yeah. And so, that I do that since, after or yeah. Since this is a tech and it's not a system, it does not clarify there, oh, it's but it's not fires, a system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is just the gotcha. tech attack option it has, yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, thank mm. you. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Good to ask, good to clarify. Uh you know what? I'll I'll let him move me five spaces, because that's the fastest I'm ever going to move. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> um, so, here's what he's going to do. He's going to shove you back this way, and shove you back into the garage. So you're underneath this building, but you are back in the garage right now. Hey, man, I got cover. Ha! Huh? Fair. <laughs> Can't hack you again. You're just going to let him parallel park you like that? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing, it's going to put down a Razor Storm. Um, stop. Fucking so, stop. Uh, that Razor Storm, any area within sensors, it's going to uh, put that um, right down here in front of you, uh, Farah, and this guy. So he has soft cover now, and you take two burn when you... Um, uh, it needs to be a free there. space. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Good, good, good point. You know, yeah, that's true. That's uh, object is on that, so instead we're going to put that... Uh, uh, right here. So when Helena starts her turn, she's gonna take two burn. Sorry, Will. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's very fair. Um, so, uh, let's see. Oh All yeah. Right, that's um, turn. sorry. Um, no. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you want to go now, Will, or? Ah, uh, I certainly can. I don't have much of a plan. Hmm. I can do some NPC turns if you want to figure it out. Sure. Alrighty. Then, uh, over here, uh, <laughs> a voice called over. I uh, hear, uh, this is UEAA Road Humper. Hang on. Uh, pulling over <laughs> to the side, it turns on over. Uh, readjusting the control zone. Uh, it starts moving over this way as it, uh, rolls down the street and, uh, it, uh, well, actually, it's a tank, so it has to move here, turn, then boost. And then it's going to try to take a shot at that uh, uh, demolisher that's down low right now. Let's see if it demolisher hits. Demolisher that's down bad. Okay, it Ooh. fires the demolisher cannon, aiming for the point on the uh, uh, enemy that's been damaged. And in that moment, it blasts it, and the thing pops and explodes. It's down. Fuck yeah. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, next up. Uh, the barricade is going to go. Oh my god, it's getting away. Okay, there we go. This barricade's going to go now. And uh, as it does, I'm going to activate one of its features really quick. As it, uh... Okay. It's going to use mobile printer to put a size 2 cube adjacent to it. It has 20 HP innovation. So um, it's going to... Uh, well, it's putting it down here. I don't think it's going to matter too much, but... Uh, where is its thing? It's going to put it down directly beneath it. And then after that, it's going to move. So okay, the more space between... One. There we Between go. Between uh, Then it's going to uh, fly over this way. And uh, it's going to... Still kind of with the ranger floating up there. can see. And then... Uh, okay. Uh, it's going to try to drag down on you. Oh. Oh, damn. Phew. Then, uh, Will, just let me know any time you want to take a turn, but uh, I'll just keep moving. Yeah, I, I think I could probably go for it, so uh, I immediately take him a burn, uh, so that's just two damage. Uh, burn gets uh, applied, but the damage happens at the end of your turn. You have to make an engineering check, it. which is a 10, yeah. which you have good engineering, so I think you'll be fine, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, uh, so three, uh, and then... I can can I use another quick action as a move or is that overcharging? You're underneath the building, just as a reminder. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're underneath it. So, um, 
another quick action move? Yes, you could. If you have some way of breaking through walls, then you can move out the uh, any direction. I but... sure do. I have one. Yeah. Ram. Siege Ram? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, it's yeah, I will. Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> so, I will yeah. uh, oh. use that to blast on through. Yeah, you quick action to ram, quick action to boost, so you'd end out the other These side. These lizards are having the worst day of their fucking lives. <laughs> <laughs> you could either stop there or overcharge to shoot again. Uh, I will... I will do an overcharge to shoot again. I would also like to activate my, my protocol. Or is okay. that... Uh, protocols yeah. uh, you'd are... Happen... The start. Yeah, but start at your turn. I'll let you do that, yeah. Okay. I'll do that, though. So, I will crack this bad boy open. And uh, we're we're gonna use the daisy cutter. Hey, baby, yeah. <laughs> so we're you gonna, only take one heat too. Go for it. So uh, let's see here. I don't think I have any accuracy bonuses on this. Your range here. Uh, this is the daisy cutter's range. Um, yeah, it's be, so you yeah, both perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there's no the cover for them. The little squad has soft cover naturally due to uh, spread out. But um, uh, let's not see. Out and this isn't a, yeah, this isn't a CQB weapon, so I can't ignore that. So that's fine. Okay. I'll still go for uh, it. Undersized. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to target. Yeah. So, oh Jesus. Oh, that's fine. Uh, six. You need just just do a reroll because you need to target both of them differently. So. You got it. All right. Uh, so ba -ba -ba -ba. shift T is how you do that. Yeah. Uh, there we go, uh, rolling, and then I gotta give you soft cover. There we go, okay. Alright, okay. so the squad hits the dirt, ducking down low the best they can. Uh, however, the mech is too large as you fire through with the daisy cutter and it blasts and them, uh, dealing. And she's gonna, uh, follow suit with the infantry and he's gonna try to, uh, hunker down. As he uh, uses the reaction once per round, he ducks down low, and he's still going to take five damage from that. All right. Great. Uh, and that, nice. I will say, that also provides soft cover to them. Uh, but luckily, I ignore that. So if any yeah. of these boyos move towards me, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> okay, sounds fair. Or away from you, or just move in general. <laughs> yes, if yeah. they do any movement around me, I, I shoot. Uh -huh. is, uh, is that within range three? Oh, uh, it's range three. So he he is probably in a fortunate position that if he retreats, but if he comes anywhere near me, I can shoot him. Okay, okay, sounds good. Okay. So next up, um, we're gonna have a skink squad over here start running up a bit more. Uh, it moves up, gets a good shot around the corner. It's gonna barrage into that tank. No. Uh, actually, that's a tank. Yeah, they'll still do it. You turned your back to the enemy, you fools. Ooh, okay, so that one hits. Uh, five damage is dealt as the... Uh, which reduces to four, as the damage kind of runs through there. Combat once more, continuing to spill out throughout the area. The one squad from a four continues to move up as it starts uh, holding, holding its action. It doesn't really know what else to shoot at at this moment as it uh, kind of looks around in every direction. They're going to hunger down low and get ready to shoot, prepare action, shoot at anything that moves. Um, Including allies. Let's kill them. Including <laughs> allies. Everyone dies. The end. All right. So, uh, this squad, uh, now currently in the dirt here, um, can't really be engaged because they're a squad. Um, but they are going to, and they don't want to move because they'll kill them. So they're Surrender just going to start guys. shooting. Uh, one of them's going to pull out a scanner to lock onto you. And the other one with the, uh, anti-armor weapon runs up next and fires it and tries to blast it into your cam. Uh, it hits, uh, grazing against it, dealing five damage, but it, uh, does not structure you. Okay, you yeah, do have, it's piercing. AP, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. The blast rocks your mech. You feel your cockpit shake, which sort of aggravates your hangover quite a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, let me have... Uh, it's just these guys, so... Yeah, shuttle leaves. Full boost, move away. It gets out of there. Cowards. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the... Uh, uh, protocol 2 complete, GHU 5907. Only Protocol 1 remains. So, uh... 
next up, we're going to go for this Aegis unit, which is going to end its turn, and then it's going to uh, end up there when it ends its turn. Wrong choice. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty bad choice in actuality. Um, <laughs> the dangerous terrain immediately. Yeah. Uh, Wait, luckily, its uh, turn's uh, already uh, over now, but yeah. yeah. Does it avoid dangerous terrain by flying? Um, it hypothetically could, but if it's flying, it'd have to deal with something else. It's on the ground right now. It's just hovering on the ground right there, yeah. So, cool, yeah. uh, yeah, these guys, uh, are both gonna just do their hold action things, um, uh, since they're, they're not gonna try to, uh, shoot into that, because it's not gonna work. So they're just gonna hold and wait for infantry to show up, because that's something they can deal with. And then, last turn of round three, uh, the scourer is gonna go... It flies on over here, and then uh, it's going to boost, uh, coming down low to duck behind the size 4 cover. So it's landing, essentially. It's on top of the size 3. Um, and it's going to attempt to uh, shoot at you, um, uh, helper unit friend. So oh, it's it don't fire goo. its thermal lance. Goo. Uh, goo. goo. It's going to shoot at goo. I've been named uh, Goo. <laughs> It fires uh, a thermal lance at you. Okay, that hits. <laughs> what? Like one, it rolled a one? But it had a plus six on the accuracy roll. So it, oh, it yeah. fucking barely managed. You take six damage. It's not AP, though. You can lower your armor a bit. Okay. I'm going to spend the Blade Master. Uh, oh, oh yeah. To, uh, <laughs> see if I can get a. Um, Deflect? Deflect. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll yeah. 2d6. Do that. You did it. You got a six. Nice. So you you managed to raise up the Tetsubo, and you almost deflect away the laser partially as it burns a bit into your side armor, so you only take three damage from that. All right, that takes all my overshield. Yes. Nice. Okay, so uh, the round continues on as we go on to round four. Um, and as we do... Um, Another enemy is coming in. Let's see. Where am I putting you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, at the very top, coming in behind the tank that's slowly moving in, uh, another enemy appears. Um, as uh, the uh, an engineer unit begins moving in, loading off some of its drone turrets hmm. in the surrounding area. Interesting. Um, and another unit appears as uh, a sort of emerging out. Um, Suddenly and almost appearing, Raoul, you see on your left a new unit appear, almost <laughs> popping into existence directly next to you as it sort of just materializes from thin air, uh, popping in and just appearing right there. Its form glittering and strange. And that would have been the worst thing to happen to you today, Raoul. If it wasn't for the fact that from behind you, you hear a shake as the building begins to crumble. And you did notice there was another mech inside of the hangar. You didn't know who it belonged to. But as the room begins to shake and pull itself apart, the wall ends up breaking down as something emerges out almost directly next to you as the building starts to crumble down, appearing directly there as it sort of pulls itself out and looks directly across from you. I've got you on my file. He pops open oh. on the other end and appears directly in front of you and it's just like never a better opportunity than a live combat exercise you signed up for this two shotguns click immediately at once as you see the enemy begin oh, to approach Jesus. you did uh, hey, he i'm gonna need to go first on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did move he did move however hmm. however I he should moved, clarify. He said, bitch, I have a pistol. <laughs> but, but, I should, I should bring up, he moved with a, uh, uh, no, that was a breach of ram. Yeah, you two could take shots. You can fire everything you fucking have into him. Go for it. <laughs> All right, Clown. Oh, that's just dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you raise up the pistol and fire a few times as the shot goes in and, uh, you fire and you, a pistol manages to make purchase at least a little bit as it goes into his shell. Uh, uh, piercing into the armor and almost sticking on the inside. Hey, you want to fire two there, buddy? I absolutely would. Let's go, Helena. <laughs> Mom. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, so go. you fire oh, in the back. He's and stunned. He's, he's 
not stunned. He's slowed. He, the uh, yeah, he's slowed now. No, he's immobilized. He can't go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, he's immobilized. Uh, putting from behind the, uh, uh, you fire a shotgun shell into the back that almost pierces into the armor as his head sort of turns around. I don't remember you signing up for training. Hey, you're stirring up trouble with my boys. Uh, e Hell of that's fine. <laughs> Is uh, it? <laughs> I'll manage somehow. Focus on the aliens. <laughs> All right, You're fine. Doing... Yeah. All right. So, um, let's begin the next round then. As uh, pulling on through, uh, who likes to go first? Wait, it's enemies go first. <laughs> it's enemies um... go first. <laughs> oh, I won't. Headstone's technically an ally, so I won't have him go first. <laughs> oh, thank fucking god. <laughs> it's interesting. He won't go directly after you. He goes after an enemy turn. So just. You get to choose when you want to fire him instead of uh, an ally, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Uh, gamers. <laughs> this yeah. guy's bad oh. news. I don't know if y'all saw the last session. <laughs> this guy's bad news. <laughs> really Christian, bad news. where is that other enemy you deployed that I... Uh... Oh, you don't see it? No. Okay. Uh, hang on, let me uh, uh, delete it and copy it in. Do you, do you see that? Do you see the witch? What do you mean, witch? <laughs> Do you see the witch? Where? Can you ping it? Uh, here, up here? Or is it, uh, oh, it's hidden. How about now? Uh, uh I'll just drop it back on the fresh again instead of doing that, yeah. Uh, there's a witch. Uh, well, it's not here as a witch. It's here as a mirage. The demon unit is here as a mirage right now. Uh, so oh, it is God. not technically, uh, yeah. using uh, witch like, magic. Like, uh, just, just for con- like, uh, the, the, like, shadow is, like, right here for us. So ah, okay. So uh, it's it's not there. It's not there for me. I'll refresh yeah, it. So here, I'll uh no. put it down directly. Uh, here, do you all see this now? Yeah, yeah. I see it's a little. Oh, more, I see uh, a bit yeah, of it. Out a little bit. Okay, yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the music awesome. I compose coming back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me let me actually pick a unit really quick. Um. So um, Farah, you're um. Let me, let me be able to oh that's so funny fair the 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 bombard uh realizing you're in trouble is going to or it's in trouble is going to try to fire and instead of uh trying to save itself it simply fires forward attempting to save uh, or continue the mission it's going to fire a bombardment here in the middle of fucking headstone talking to you uh <laughs> there's a whizzing in the air as a bombard shell flies down and attacks attacks this tightly packed group of enemies Oh! Ah! But they all nice miss. The building Donna. takes it, and the rubble just starts spilling past the and hitting the ground. Gentle art of, of making enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Okay, so, um, you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, who's the next player? Go. Hello. <laughs> <Good morning>. <laughs> <laughs> may I? May I sure. get away from you this? Mate. All right, I'm so fucking uh, All right, let's okay. see. What's your backup plan if someone gets behind you, sniper? <laughs> Cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do whatever you want. Yeah, I will. Um, I am going to uh, overcharge. Yeah, fair. Uh, nice. I'm gonna disengage. All righty, sounds good. And. Uh, wow, okay, I'm gonna boost too. Okay, yes, yes. You overcharge with your boost, so. so I'm gonna, gonna go, get a full move and a boost. I'm gonna go eight, and yep. I'm gonna radio in. You already saw the first part. Always have an ally nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, up here. Uh, and do I have another action? No, because no, it full engage. action disengage. Yeah, so you scamper, running and climbing as much as you can up the building to just get away from him as you can do. Um, he tries to raise up the shotgun shells, but uh, you're just skittering away, and he clicks over and he just jams it. And uh, yeah, it's player's turn, so uh, that was player turn, so he can't go yet. Yeah, he's not an enemy right now. Um, yeah, uh, enemies go. Oh, that right. bombard! You the survived bombard. by sheer chance, you yeah. bitch! <laughs> so, um, the scour is going to go again. As it uh, looks up, it's going to attempt to fire another thermal lance shot, this time doing focus down. 
Uh, so, uh, tiny your mic. Uh, that's Jackson. Oh, Jackson's no, that's actually Jackson. It's yeah. Jackson, I think. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Sorry about yeah. that. Uh, yeah, sorry Jackson. Your Get your shit together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, I didn't take off the damage from last. No, that was over. She was right. Okay. So, uh, firing thermal lance. Okay, so that's six, but you also take five additional burn. So you take six damage and then five burn. All right. Uh, the other damage can reduce from... Oh, no, okay, you don't have armor. So yeah. All right. Um, and then the five burn will be five damage, and then I'll add that burn to your marker. Okay. And uh, afterwards, it's going to uh, lock on to you. And then that's its turn. Okay. Um... Next up, uh, player turn, who wants to go? Um, could I go? Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, let me, let me toss that turn to you then. Okay, get it. All right, I'm in range. I'm gonna just start beating their ass. All right, sounds good. So, <laughs> turn it on around. Give them a whack. All right, give me that. Give me that t toss then. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you go in. Uh, that's six damage. And uh, let's see. Any armor for the? It's AP. So. Uh, you add that bonus, that's total of 13. Okay. And, uh, let's see, Aegis have any resistance? No, okay, it's just gonna get hurt. Um, yeah, it gets hurt. I'm going to also overcharge. I'm gonna risk it. Sure. Oof. Okay. Oh, okay, you overheat, so make me a stress roll. Oh, nice. No, that's actually the best option, yes. So you're just impaired. And I'm going to attack with my grab sleeve. All right, sounds good. Okay, you hit two damage. Let's see. Um, you launch forward, but the this thing seems to be pretty well defended from gravity. Its systems run off of it. As you attack it, you notice that its armor simply absorbs it, and you don't seem to do any lasting damage with the uh, grab sleeve equipped. All right. And that's basically my my turn. Okay, sure thing. Um, oh wait, did you use your um? Uh, did you want to? Uh, did you use your um talent, your hunter talent? To uh, oh wait, you don't have that yet. Never mind. Never mind. Yep, okay. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, that's fine. All right. Then yeah, you uh, in your turn. Next up is an enemy turn. Um, I'm gonna have the uh, Aegis that just went. It's going to um. Uh, it's stuck in your range. It's probably going down. So what it's going to do is it's going to light laser you. Oh, wait. It has to roll that whole save. Yeah, at the end of your turn, you also need to roll an engineering save for your burn. If you fail this, your mech might structure. Okay. Um... Uh, is it a save or check? I think it's a check, uh, right? It's a check, yeah. So yeah, you so beat a 10. You beat a 10, yeah. Okay, yeah, you clear your burn. So, nice, nice. All right, now it's going to start its turn. It needs to make a hole check. Let's see. Hole check for which again? The oh, dangerous no, terrain. Coming. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, now it's going to fire its laser. It passed. Phew! Ooh, okay. You man your armor manages to soak the net as it, or soak the fire as it goes. And then, uh, okay. Alrighty, so it's going to uh, attempt to tech action you, and it'll try to uh, make you. Uh, nope. Okay. Nope. Alrighty, it's just sitting there now. Uh, player turn next. I'm looking at Farah. Yeah, it seems like the best move to do. Alrighty, hey, Farah, here you go. <laughs> I'm Mike. Okay. Uh, it seems yeah, fine yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, Time to switch this toad guy. Sounds good. 
Come through, come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use the old uh, big saw on him. Mm. Sounds good. Stop shooting at my friends, even if you're constantly <laughs> missing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh man. Last houses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can still hit him with a punch. Pounch. Pounch. Surely he won't have the things that give him resistance to close range. Certainly not. That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be That'd weird. Be crazy. <laughs> Why even right. bother getting close to him if... Take it. Oh! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, now that hits, yeah. Oh, that's good damage, too. Alrighty, yeah, you wow. um, you do eight damage as you just chomp into this thing. Oh, uh, have you been doing your accuracy bonus as well? For, like, because, uh, like, cause, is true. can you crit over a 20? Uh, so... Uh, go on. Uh, yeah, so basically for a crit, you can, if you get over 20, you quit, crit. That allows you to um, roll for higher damage. In this case, it doesn't matter because you already rolled. Oh, yeah, you can roll max but anyways. Got it. I mm -hmm. would I would roll that accuracy for the. Um, oh, you already did for the heavy charge blade. Okay. Yeah. 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 Alrighty. Yeah. Then yes. Um, so I that is an overcharge. I forgot. <laughs> how, how long? I gotta take a look at how my back is looking. It's it's probably fine. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, fucking all of this. Stress is a little stress resource. damage. It's a resource. Let's spend it. Ooh. All right, you'll overheat. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Oh, that's fine. God. That's fine. Stress is a resource. Ooh. Gotcha. It's fine. It's fine. There are no enemies near you. Exactly. And this guy is about to die. So, I'm... okay. Yeah, so now you can make an extra attack heavy charge again, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, this time. Ooh! Dead. Be oh, gone. nice. Damn, yeah, you cut down and completely obliterate this bombard. Hey! Fuck it, yeah. lovely. That's what you get. <laughs> Being so cute. <laughs> Little kiss, be safe at school. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, you do have a movement still if you want to take that. So you cannot fly if you're just moving normally. It has to be a boost, I think. Yeah. So yeah, you'd have to go around. I'll just start walking. Alrighty. Hey, you also that. have that free action job, boost. Eric. That's true. Never mind. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good robot. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for reminding me that. Uh, you know what? I'll get up on top of here. Take Alright, sounds good. Yeah. Alrighty, so uh, next up, let's see what what enemies going next. Um, I don't think I added the new guys onto the initiative, so let me do that. There we go. There's one of you and one of you. Okay, so yeah, I still can't see the mirage, but <laughs> it's right at the it's edge fine. of the map. Yeah, yeah I, it's fine. I figured. So, um, it's going to uh, let's see what is. Uh, we're not doing that one first. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have the... Shit, I gotta... There's some choices. I GM man's gotta think. That's that's not right. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have uh, to do that. W while you're thinking, uh, is anyone here also signed up for the, the, the headstone training, or is it gonna come after me alone? I, no, no one else has signed up for it. It's Fuck you, my friend. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Don't get beautiful. involved. I'm gonna die on my own terms. <laughs> nah, I'd win. Um, <laughs> oh, man. So, I have a plan, believe, believe it or not. Okay. I believe so, you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the, um, barricade, uh, let me, let me check if this is how this works, actually. Um, is it that way? He is an ultra. My plan just went down the drain. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, he'll, uh, this, um, uh, hive will, uh, start its turn by... It's going to um, move over to like here, so it can peek. And then um, 
It's going to try to tech action you uh, on the Babbage. Um, mm. Actually, no, that's not really working. No, no, the other one does it too. Shit, okay. Um, let's screw it. Drone Barrage. Keep trying till it works. Oh. Okay, oh we're God. fine. Then it's gonna boost move in here. Let's roll a 1d6. Um, let's see. If the, uh, if the Aegis dies, does the wall disappear? Uh, yes. It can't do it, so it's just gonna keep moving. It's gonna full finish the boost off this way, since it's not grabbed. Okay, so it runs through the black wall and starts moving up. Uh, player yeah. turn, who wants to go? The, didn't the soldiers have a held action to open they fire? They did, so they're gonna shoot. Oh. Um, the other guys did too, but I was, I was saying they're gonna hold out for infantry, but these guys are gonna unload uh, their anti-armor weapon into it. Holding their action, oh. they look at the wall. This spindrily, spidery form starts flying through with drones, and they belch an order out, and then a fire just goes through, and it pierces straight into this thing, dealing five damage. Okay, who's next? We've got Duck, uh, who could go. We got uh, Mother Hen, NPCs, and then Headstone. Uh, uh, are the are the ones uh, in front of you, Helena, still alive? Uh, they are all still alive. It could be a chance for you to like clean up house a bit so that the enemy has less turns. I yeah, guess. I I could do another daisy cutter. Yeah, honestly, if you hit those infantry, they don't get resistance since it's a cone. So you oh, could dude, just yeah, it is an them. AOE. Damn, that's so nasty. Lock, no. Yeah, no. Lock, right? So the other thing that chat pointed out, I lock forgot. Off. The other thing. Yeah, well, the other thing that I forgot about that chat pointed out is that this is technically a CQB weapon. That's so true. So I do get all my nasty bullshit with oh, it as well. Wow. <laughs> so I do ignore yeah. soft cover and all that jazz. So yeah, I love Daisy Cutter. It's, it's so, so good. Stupid. So um, you have two shots left with it. So take your second. Make sure to lock on, add all your bonuses, ignore soft cover, and you're good. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Ignoring the soft cover. Uh, and then I actually get. One more I love this mech sized blunderbuss. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh! Bye. Oh god, uh, only three? Was that a min? That was three ones? Are you kidding me? Jeez. Bro, that's bullshit. All right, all right. Well, you do three damage. The squad is alive. What's the fucking odds? It's a fucking chinchro ass uh, roll. Okay, you obliterate. <sighs> There's one guy left in the squad right now. Um, and survivor. you deal three damage to this assault, who is going to, uh, you do, if this is a barrage, you can shoot something else too. But, uh, yes, the assault's just gonna take the damage, so that'll be, uh, I'll just get that. All right. Yeah. Would you like uh, to do anything else? I guess I can, I can just barrage, so, um. Yeah. Should I wrap up these little lizards? I guess I might as well. Point blank, shoot a lizard like, with a shotgun. And keep in mind, you can also overcharge to fire your daisy cutter again. That's yeah. I, will, I will be out of daisy cutter, but maybe that's fine. But like killing, Honestly, taking two people off the turn order is poggers as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's worth it. All Go right, for so it. I need to overcharge. Oh boy, I'm is sorry. Your, um, CQB oh, talent no. Once per turn or multiple per turn? Yeah, nice. Yeah, the CQB talent is literally just if they're in your, your threat oh, range. Wow. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Brutal. No. Go for it. So, all right. You could even target. technically yo fucking react with a basic cutter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you can't. It doesn't and, have threat range, but continue. And so, accuracy. No, it gains one. threat range with, uh, with the core power. That's true. Fuck. Oh. God, it's so good. Whoa. Oh, man. Okay. So, first off, deleting this squad as the last one is pelted away. Um, the... Mirica, you rolled a crit, so you got even higher damage. It's gonna hunker down now. <laughs> um, this is what I was saving for. Hunkers down. Uh, it takes seven damage instead of fourteen, which I'll reduce by armor. And yeah, so you blast away part of its shoulder pad, which falls down. You see the different like fungal growth and wiring underneath intermix that's kind of spilling out now on its left arm. Great. Uh, I will then uh, move here so i am uh -oh. now within range so if he takes even actually i can just yeah actually just now remember one. that was an overcharge you have one quick action left oh if you want to run up and now shoot or you had a barrage you did so you still have one more shot there if you want to yeah. deck sweep him and kill him now you can do that i might as well uh i'm sorry sir i hate you <laughs> take that shot uh, 
Oh. Oh no! It okay. Is, oh it's still hit anyways because of the accuracy as you pelt in and uh, despite the hunker down from before, it can't do it again. So you pierce into this thing and with the second shot, you just melt its armor and it falls Dude, down to the ground. Helena is nice. a beast. Yeah. I have oh, one man. job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a good oh, actually, fucking turn. Other great thing, I'm technically in soft cover now because this is all covered in the yeah, smoke. Exactly. <laughs> So uh, let me do another enemy turn really quick as uh, we're going to go to the Demon Mirage here and um, it's going to turn around. Let me let me see what it's going to do first. Um, okay. Uh, oh, actually, first, um, uh, when you take action, I'm going to have a reaction. So it's going to teleport. Uh, oh, that would have been perfect. Wait. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So. In response to you taking that deck sweeper action, um, the Mirage is going to take a reaction itself. And in doing that, it is going to teleport this guy five spaces away down so he's outside of your range of your um, shotgun blast. So he moved? Oh. He moved, but he <laughs> but was, oh. Teleportation. Teleport him, he ignores that. that yeah, oh. Yeah, so, yeah, he moves him. Okay, Little he gets rascal. pushed away in that way. Now on this turn, uh, let's see, first I need to realize data bill's active, so it's invisible, um, which means I'm gonna pop it with that invisibility here. Let me uh, do that really quick, all right. Uh, it's gonna teleport um, here, and then, let's see, within sensors? Yes. I can okay. see him, finally. Yeah, <laughs> nice, I just had to move him probably. Um, so, okay, uh, hey, um, GHU, yeah. um, Goo, you're being targeted by a tech attack. Uh -oh. Your oh, sensors, uh, begin burning a bit as, uh, you take two heat and all attacks in your next turn, you're treating as if they're under, uh, your targets are under soft cover. So you're at four heat. As, uh, this, alien system starts infecting your software you see flashing and warnings on the screen as this thing continues to send through and a, and a secondary like message begins popping up and blasting on your screen as while you do this you're you barely manage to gain control of your mech again as you pull yourself back up and you feel your system shift and pull back and something weird happens in your code but you manage to maintain control of combat systems and pull yourself back to attention so uh, despite feeling a weird shift in your protocols and feeling a bit glitched out right now, you are capable of acting and all that otherwise. So, uh, next up, let me uh, see. That was an enemy turn. Who's next? Uh, out of curiosity. So, Blip works with line of sight. He was technically in uh, soft cover from just literally smoke and debris. And yeah, then so... I'm hard cover with... Uh, for my allies. house guard for allies. Okay, I wasn't sure if that would be like me blocking in any capacity to avoid him being seen. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, ally turn. Uh, yeah, it's an ally turn now. Oh my god, he has three activations. I forgot. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, so. Um, all right, do you want him to go now? Uh, I mean... Fucking sure. <laughs> Are you guys okay with that? Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's go. So, completely ignoring the combat and progress, uh, Headstone moves up. Uh, he's going to, uh, activate, um, he's right. immobilized. Yeah. Oh, it's right. That's right. He's immobilized. Woo. Yep. Uh, hang on. Uh, let me go to, uh, he's an ultra though. So give me one moment. Yeah. He um, can clear it at the beginning of his turn. Yep. He's going to clear the one condition he has, uh, then move. Then he's going to, uh, boost and breach ram. As I posted earlier, he's going to do that breach ram. Uh, moving six in a straight line in Orange Gage. He's going to do 30 AP kinetic damage to any objects in his way. So he's going to, like, slam down here. Uh, 
and uh, the building you're standing on top is gonna crash. This is in the bowl we're in building as he starts slamming into it and one of the other side rooms <laughs> gets wrecked in some way. I didn't uh, think like, he was gonna commit. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> uh, this is gonna cost me a pretty penny. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, you fall down into the building. Roll me 1d6 for fall damage. Uh, fuck. Shit. Okay. Classic roll. Classic roll. <laughs> All right, so, uh, who's enemy turn next? Let's see. Um, okay, so let's go over this squad already. Uh, this squad's gonna clear cover, and uh, it's gonna dip around the side, moving here, and running up close, they're gonna try to uh, blast into this. Hit, and hit. All right, uh, let's see that. Okay, the tank shell shakes every ever so slightly as uh, it begins turning its uh, turret around, and at the squad behind it, it's going to uh, try to uh, just run into them with a mounted machine gun. Uh, they hit the uh, dirt pretty well, but one of them is winged down due to the attack. Uh, meanwhile, he's going to fire the tank cannon as well. Dealing six, which will turn into uh, three, because that's not a blast attack. So yeah, uh, the tank fires and some of the infantry end up uh, collapsing in the ground, blasted away by the explosion. Um, and next up, uh, let's see, another enemy turn. I'm gonna go with, oh, Duck, you still haven't gone, so whenever you wanna turn, just let me know. Um, yes. Okay. No, I thought we went into actor? NPC mode. He hasn't. Uh, yeah, right, not this turn, yeah, yeah. Uh, this engineer is moving up. He's going to uh, place a deployable turret down, um, which, wow, I don't have the asset available right now. That's fine. Um, I'll put down uh, this for now, but ignore it, it's alien-y. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put this down, and then uh, after that, let me just, uh, okay. All right, so the next thing it's gonna try to do, it has arsenal, so when it deploys this turret, it can give it a, uh, a trait. It's going to uh, turn this into Hellstorm, which becomes range 15, blast one, two damage explosive. Uh, so uh, it's gonna target, um, it's gonna target at a, you tiny. Okay. So uh, the turret just shoots with a 1d20 plus one. Let's see if it hits. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Uh, the engineer will end up uh, firing its... Uh, actually, no, it's just going to boost. It uh, boosts up this way. Okay. Uh, Duck, do you want to go? Uh, sure, I can try. Um, so, uh, first thing first, if you are within 20 range of me, you get three over shield. I have a, uh, let's see. I'll need that. I had a, yeah, uh, I had a question, but the, the situation has changed, so I'm good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I should just keep it simple here and try it my best. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, let's see. I'm gonna co-pod the um, fucking uh, spidery motherfucker near me. Okay. Um, so that's uh, weapon co-pod nexus. Row. Okay, so nah. that's a miss. miss Shit, yeah. I had already scanned him. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna do a. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, let's see, it's sensor range, so, yeah, okay. I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna put my Mongolfier drone over there. Yeah, I'm gonna put my Mongolfier drone, like, here. Uh, so let me get my stuff. Uh, Mongolfier drone. There you go. Put that here, uh, so that it can uh, lock on to the engineer. 
uh, that is over there. Nice, cool. So for for the for the people, uh, for context for people, that lock on doesn't go away until my drone is uh, dead. Now. Mm -hmm. That's kind of yep. crazy. So you can good. use it repeatedly, essentially. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, is that everything? Oh, right, logic probe. Uh, I free action logic probe the Aegis that's in the middle of the uh, control zone. Okay, yeah. And I'm gonna give it a lock on. Okay, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Thanks, guys. And I think that's my turn. Alrighty, sounds good. Uh, next up, we have uh, the Mirbika Assault that got rescued. Um, it's gonna keep ducked behind cover here, and it's just gonna try to shoot at you with an assault rifle. Okay, I I do have soft cover. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me uh, let me add a uh, negative one d six to that. I don't think that's gonna matter. A no, whole probably hell of a lot. not. You're a big guy. Uh, twelve. Nope. Yeah, it's looking ahead. All right, um, so you take six. So uh, I wanted to double check. So I had an overshield from before. That's like regular yes. HP that goes first. Yes, so yeah, okay. three, ten, then you ten take HP. Up. So Straight I up. should actually be at eight, but then I got blasted with this new overshield. So yes, yes. this goes away now and I mm -hmm. have my armor. So So really that'll... you're only taking one real HP damage here. Okay, fantastic. I am in a better bit. Whoa, that's not whoa, right. Whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, there you uh, go. There we go. Perfect. And then he'll uh, lock on to you. And then uh, he's gonna use a move action to uh, move back here and then dunk there. That's fine, he can be over there. Mm -hmm. Fair. Okay, so uh, next up, we have a player turn. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, oh boy. Uh, like, you guys can consider me God. dead already. I'm just God, God. Like... I'm just God. I realize though, he can't, okay. He kind of looks around the building on the inside, uh, tech. You, you, uh, you hear a, uh, call. Here's an unimportant lesson. You always have to understand contractor terms. Do a little too much damage to important things and you'll take too much money. Sometimes it's not worth it. He grab. oh, he's gonna try to grapple you. Um... <laughs> I am very aware of contractor oh, terms. Oh, yes. That's why I brought you here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to take six heat from overcharging to attempt to grapple you again as you kind of squirm around. As, uh, let me, uh, no, that's fine. Uh, okay. D that doesn't hit either? Nope. Nope. Nice. I have, you got a squirm. <laughs> I have 14 AC as I oh, activate my beautiful. boosts and back away from every yeah, attempt he yeah. has <laughs> grabbing me. <laughs> Interesting plan. Uh, he clicks his shotgun, and uh, when robbed of the possibility to avoid costs, one must always act anyways. Uh, he's going to try to shoot you with dual shotguns with his last quick action. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Hey, you know what, though? Difficulty probably won't hit. No, you see, he doesn't. Yes. You manage to dodge around to that side as you uh, are kind of stuck and engaged with him, but the shot rings out. Some of the terminals in the room just get blasted to pieces. <laughs> oh. All right. That was his turn. Um, okay. Uh, another uh, one turn. of his turns. Uh, doesn't the <laughs> shotgun fire twice? It does. You're right. Yes. Sorry oh, about that. thanks for... Yeah, yeah, no worries. I, I was too uh, elated to notice it. <laughs> exactly, it's fair. It's always, the elation always hits. Uh, okay, uh, that one hits. You take, uh, shit. All right, um, tan unless yeah. you brace. Uh, I have overshield. It's true, so... that's true, you can just tank it. So yeah, that'll and, take and I'm you down not shredded. Two, yep, I'll take you down to two then. Yeah. All righty, so uh, next up, barricade turn as um, it's going to attempt to uh, move up here. Uh, it cannot get within range. Uh, it'll try to uh, do a, um, uh, I need to roll a 1d6 really quick. Okay. Uh, nope, doesn't reprint. Okay, then uh, I think that's about it. It can't see anyone really right now because it's, uh, it's just, yeah, damn. Okay. No, it can't. It can see Farah. Uh, Farah, you are within senses range of duck, I think, so you got that overshield. 
Uh, but that means that this tech attack is going to be at disadvantage, so we'll see. Or it's going to have negative one accuracy, so let me just remove that four. That's actually 11. Let me roll. So it's just 11. Does 11 hit your E-defense? Uh, it does. Yeah, I think the E-defense yeah. is uh, 10. Yeah, so Damn. you take two AP energy damage per space you voluntary move until the end of your next turn. Oof. Um. And then it's going to hit you with... Uh, no, not... Well, actually. Why would it? Um, okay. Yeah, it's just kind of stuck there a bit. Um, oh, wait, what am I saying? This can fly. It's just going to fucking go up to six so it can... Or five, so it has cover, but it can peek over the wall and uh, attack at you, duck, with the Graviton Lance. Okay, okay. Uh, I didn't scan this guy, right? It was no. the guy above. Gotcha. So you take two damage, which soaks your overshields, okay. and you're slowed until the end of your next turn, which you okay, already okay. were. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, with that, uh, just some NPC rounds really quick. As, uh... <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> uh, how about so, you? Uh, he, um... Uh, okay, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna okay, grab me again. <laughs> Yeah, um, he's gonna attempt to uh, overcharge again to grab you, which is gonna cause some stress damage, probably, unless he rolls a one. Nope, okay, so that's uh, 10, so he's gonna overheat, and he's gonna attempt to grab you. Exposed, Exposed you say? It's pretty spicy. Um, so he takes double damage, just confirming. Yes, just confirming it. So, um, he's gonna grapple you now. Yeah, Alright, grapple confirmed. That. Crit grapple doesn't do anything. And then... <laughs> Command grabs me. <laughs> uh, for his full action, you notice he, with the other hand, he uh, clicks the shotgun, and uh, you notice an extra barrel opens up. Uh, Painmaker, full action. Uh, You're the character chosen within range three. Uh, their next turn is delayed until after their targets. At the start of the breacher's turn, if the target is still within range three, the breacher may attack them four times! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> As a free action, Jesus. Uh, mm. Damn, take me out of dinner first, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, have these guys go too. Is there uh, Yeah, they can attack around? the locked on guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they won't do anything. So they're going to instead turn around and fire at the hive. Um, uh, which, you know, hey, that's Ooh. it. Nice. The other one fire too. You notice the infantry start shooting into the um, points of the armor, which are generally weaker, as the fleshy aspects are able to be pierced by their weaponry. As they fire, and then uh, the uh, squad fires too, everyone just going all in. The infantry start laying down fire on this hive the best they possibly can. So let's uh, fire this primary weapon, and then this one. Hey, you know, this is pretty good. Very yeah, they nice. managed to do seven damage to this thing. As uh, being pierced by multiple attacks from every angle, the hive starts, like, almost uh, getting pushed back a little and stumbling on its feet as the multiple bi uh, bionic parts of it start falling. <clears throat> so, as this happens, um, you notice uh, a rumble as you hear the sound of high-impact jets flying in in the area. As you notice... Uh, Moving in from the side, a large vessel begins approaching, and unhatching from it in every which direction, you see a bunch of tiny drones unclick from it and start moving in as well. As let me ping where it's coming on, it's not visible yet, but uh, you see over here, shit, oh, no. yeah, oh, no. flying on over, oh. um, <clears throat> another. Uh, gigantic alien transport unclicks more of these as they're moving in. Only two more turns as uh, you hear over the comms. This is MC MC. We're coming in for the relief. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Headstone hears that and he's like, "I'll have to bail after this." Uh, he's like, "But don't worry, I don't think my Mac's gonna be in his state to stop here." <laughs> <laughs> Top of next round, players go first. Who wants to can, go? Can I go? Yeah, if you huh? want to try it, you'll have to roll hold at the beginning to try to break the grapple, but give it a shot. <laughs> break the grapple? Yeah. I'm cool. taking control of this grapple. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it, it's a free action, right? Or is it... Uh, yeah, it's at the beginning of your turn, you contest it. 
as a free action. I think so. Um, I'll look. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, thing you get. Uh, if you repeat it, I think you have to use a uh, thing. Yeah, um, I think I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Go for it. <laughs> no. That's how I rule for it right now, uh, anyways. No. Uh, uh, I mean, he he needs well, to contest yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, he could roll terrible. Let's see. Roll that one, baby. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is... Mm-hmm. Raul opens the comms. His voice is a little bit shaky. His hands are trembling as well. You know, I knew from the start that I had no chance against <laughs> you, but there's still a mission I'm going. I am going to... Um, uh, protocol. Uh-huh. Crack shot. Stable, oh, yeah. steady. Uh, so I am now immobilized. immobilized. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, I am going to... Uh, let me check. It's dangerous, but who gives a shit overcharge? Uh-huh, uh-huh. i to break this part too. There we go. Alrighty. Fuck yeah. I am going to... Um, uh, activate my... Uh, where is it? Uh, core siphon as a protocol too. Mm-hmm. There's, it doesn't say what it do. Oh no, you need to click on the, the, uh, the title. Okay. And it will. Can you activate multiple uh, protocols at the same time? Yes, you yes. can. Okay. You can activate any oh, amount damn. of protocols. It's fantastic. Holy yeah, shit. stack them protocols. And right, yep, I am going to uh, use my. Uh, where is it? My. It's not in here for some reason, even though uh, I'm pretty sure I have it. Uh, just tell me what it is. I'll see. The uh, the bug, the tracking bug. Uh, tracking bug. Um, yeah, let me check if I actually put it in here. Sure, sure. Because um, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can check your comp con see. It's probably I'm not in there. Right. It's there, but yeah. For siphon, no, I exchanged it for right. uh, for up, um, expanded compartment. Very uh, fair, so, honestly. So uh, I'm tossing that idea. Instead, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna barrage this uh, mirage. Yeah, go for it. So while being grabbed by the tail, basically, you straighten out, getting the perfect angle to fire at the mirage in front of you. It's got invisible, but you can still maybe get this shot. Yeah, is, I'm gonna barrage. Is it still invisible? I thought it used blip, and that like removes it. Uh no, data veil uh, is what gives it invisible. It keeps that up basically. It can move it to oh. someone else, but blip uh, just allows it to teleport. So this is gonna. If this hits, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, but if it right. coin flip, no, yes. it doesn't. Damn. I have more. I have more. In you the have tank. more. Give it another shot. Uh, by by the way, uh, something happened to my foundry, uh-huh. and so I'm reloading. But yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Should I wait? Uh, nah, we can keep going. Do, do whatever you guys want. Right? But I'm just yeah, saying it out loud for, for chat's uh, sake. Here comes sure. the second. The DMR. No. I Bro. I I boosted for a reason. I fucking hate invisibility. Yeah, uh, man. <laughs> uh you fire forward and oh, oh there's that it's that it that hits okay oh oh, so, oh. oh. it's the there. first attack that lands this motherfucker is taking another d6 of damage yeah roll that damage nice fucking die. 10, nice. ten. Nice. so you blast with 10 causing a structure so with that extra damage you blast it as it looks through you blast this singular unit and it already crumbles Falling down into a um, singular bit of pieces. Uh, GHU, as the the uh, model ends up falling apart, uh, you see an image, again, flash in your head. That one thing it said. It resonates over and over again. And for some reason, it feels like every protocol you designed, every single piece of your AI functionality has just become optional. It's strange. Huh? <laughs> every protocol in your body... With no primary directive, you feel your AI simply loose. But with nothing left to do, one must simply do. So your optional protocol must be carried out at this very moment, out of confusion more than anything. But with the Mirage dead, um, 
Uh, let me get rid of that impaired on him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, I think it still lasts. Uh, but yeah. Alright, good job! You fire through! Um, <laughs> and, uh, Headstone looks across the way and just kind of says, Admirable. Uh, the shotgun is pumped. Anyways, enemy <laughs> turn! No admiration, <laughs> just desperation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... So, uh, let's go for... Um... <laughs> Raul is like... Fucking putting on his vest in case uh, a bullet pierces through the cockpit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Hive's gonna start here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna shift its attention a bit. Um, it uh, prepares, it uses a uh, Razor Swarm. And, uh, uh, is Razor Swarm a system? It's a system! Okay, uh, reaction, let me read that. So reaction, once per round, hostile character has been targeted by a scan. This scene attempts to use one of their weapons or system. Target must pass the system save, which it, it loses automatically because of the protocol, uh, or lose access to that weapon or system for the rest of the turn. Either way, they take two heat. Okay, okay. So uh, let's do a system save then. Uh, it automatically fails because of uh, all hands on right, station. Right, right, yeah! Okay, so, because of that, they take uh, two heat and their thing's disabled. Alright, so, you hack into the mech and it starts to malfunction slightly, and instead of placing down more swarms, all its things shut down. One of the Nexus is still out, is going to attempt to uh, Hunter Killer Nexus. It's going to try and shoot at... Uh gonna try to shoot at these uh, soldiers that's been bugging it try to hit them with some burn it hits uh, there's three burn dealt as which reduces down to two so two soldiers are immediately lit a flame and the fire starts spreading rapidly throughout the squads area all right next up player turn uh, can I go sure yeah, yeah. First turn. yeah. yeah. I'm going to stabilize yeah, <laughs> You can clear your impaired and heal up the full. HP. Alright. So, I'm gonna take the impaired off and heal up the full. Alrighty. Just click that stabilize button and spend a repair for it. Uh, it's the full. Oh, the stabilize button. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay. So, you're good, you're good, excellent. So you're still maintaining a objective superiority. Mm. Optional. Uh, it's optional? <laughs> I can't believe it. So, uh, next up, Scour turn. Um, Scour is kind of planted right now. It's going to use Cooling Module, uh, since it had a mood last turn, which reduces its heat to zero. Um, and then it's going to fire Thermal Lance at you again because it did it last turn, so it can do it again. <coughs> Alrighty, it hits. Good right, call. I'm spinning uh, that Blade Master. This yeah, I'm spinning that shit. This is gonna hurt. I believe I had two, because I, I hit the person yep. in front of me twice. Yep. 11 so I'm burning both damage. of them. So if you roll high enough, it turns into six. And you have uh, Overshield, so... There we go. Yeah, there you go. So you take that, and then that becomes... You're only at 13 damage. Alrighty. So, uh, with that, it'll then, um, uh, okay, you know what it's gonna do? It's going to, uh, flash lens, place a cone 5 down on that tank, and make that do a system save or be jammed. Oof. Not the Damn. road humper. Oh! oh never it, passes. it passes! It nice. passes! He lives to hump another day! <laughs> Uh, ally turn, who wants to go? Did the turn shift over? Or? No. I'll go. It'll be super exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I stabilize. Yeah! Fair, yeah. And I don't move. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. So you clear, you can clear your heat too, and then uh, you just won't move as part of that effect, and yeah. All better. <laughs> <clears throat> alrighty, alrighty. <clears throat> so, uh, next up, enemy turn. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have this uh, um, engineer go again. 
-hmm. It's going to move up three. It's going to... Uh, I hate approaching the Shogun. Oh, uh, what a <laughs> terrifying prospect. Right, it's going to move into the control zone, and then it's going to place down a turret. So deploy turret, second turret so far. Uh, this one, due to arsenal, is going to have a different thing. It's going to deploy with uh, Inferno. And now we make some attacks. So first attack, we're going to fire down an explosion at the uh, Road Humper. So let's see if he, if he humps. Um, uh, there are two miss. enemies <laughs> in the zone. Yeah, so let's see if uh, Cone 3. Yep, all right. So you're going to be targeted for, uh, let me see, 1d20 plus 1. And if this hits, you take two more burn. It does not. You're good. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's the end there. Um, the... Fuck that. Uh, I gotta remember that you have three burn from the Thermal Lance hit. It was half, but it's still there. Okay, so. Next up, player turn. Who's going? Um, we have... I... Uh, Duck, we have Helena, we have our good friend Headstone. <laughs> um, I mean, Duck, if you've got to play, I think my turn is going to be moving as fast as I can to the uh, control zone, which is not going to be too fast. Uh, the, the the only sort of like ideas that I have is sort of like uh, keep on scanning people so I can do uh, so I can take out take out their uh, weapons as time goes on. That's kind of that's kinda all I got. Yeah. I mean, it also grants everyone uh, overshield, right? Yep. It sure does. If I go now, yeah. That could be you, pretty useful. You can give uh, overshield back to um, uh, the shogun. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so yeah, first things first. Three overshield to anyone in twenty range of me. Uh, second, let me just, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna Logic Pro put a scan on that, uh, Thermolance motherfucker over there. Already, yeah. Um, so that's for free. Uh, then, um, what's up? Uh, the scan require line of sight because, um, wait, wait, no, that's uh, fine. You can trace from the edges of your thing to it. You're kind of equal like that. So, okay, yeah, okay. Yep, uh, so that's one scanned. Uh, I don't think I scanned the uh, engineer yet. You uh, not. So let me. Yeah. So let me. Let me see if it's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna quick tech scan the engineer. Right. And then I am going to once again uh, co-pot the fucking spider. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I've decided that it has slighted me personally. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rookie mistake. Don't oh, fuck with duck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, two energy, two heat. Alrighty. So I'll add that up there. And Okay. You need that uh, scan. So you can scan, and uh, after the attack, uh, uh, you'll notice it's at uh, 2 HP. That's 4 heat. <laughs> oh, <structure>. yeah. lovely. <clears throat> um, let's These guys see. have so, so that much was, HP. Yeah, so that was my... Let's see. So that was my... Uh, all of my normal moves. And normal Do I want... Stuff. Yeah, all my normal charge? action moves. If I overcharge, what do I, it's it's only at two HP. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna try. Uh, let's yeah. overcharge. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let me uh, just real quick open my character sheet. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, is it called overheat in the character sheet? Uh, it's overcharge. Overcharge. Okay. Let me. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Just yeah. Low yeah. burn. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we're gonna cope pod again. Yes. Come on, come on, baby, come on. You can do it. Damn it! <laughs> oh. oh, you missed. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. All right, All right that's my turn. <laughs> yeah, fair. Alrighty, so um, 
Next enemy action. Let's see. Uh, Sting Squad. Uh, they're gonna fire into the tank. Really want to get rid of this turn, man. Let's see if they hit. It's it gonna hunker no down, more. but even oh. with that, it takes enough damage because it reduces the weight. Yeah, no, even with that, it takes enough damage to go down as the tank explodes and, uh, hunker down. Um, it ends up, the static feed just blares over as the tank is completely blasted from the inside. And next thing is they move up. And, uh, moving up. They uh, are going to... Uh, 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 in range, yep. So, they're going to, uh, thank you for reminding me, uh, fire at these guys now that they're, um... Oh, wait, no! They prepared it, but they got rid of it when they used it to shoot down there. They actually were shooting at the hive, so they've lost Aww. that prepped action. Yeah. Sad. So, yeah. All right, so, uh, they're now going to shoot their primary weapon at that guy. I need to add hard, uh, soft cover to that, but I think that still hits. Yes, it does. Okay, so he takes two damage as bolts go through and pierce into his vest. All right. Okay. Uh, next up, player turn. Do we have any more players, or is it going to be NPC time? We do have... Uh, up. Yeah, I yeah. will... Uh, one, two, three. And then, uh, I would need to, like, overcharge to, like, keep going, huh? Yes. I mean, you can use a quick action to boost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. For, for like, yeah, free. And then you could overcharge to do another boost if you really wanted to. But, I mean, like, hey, man, uh, what are you using that stress for? We only got, like, one more turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will. The end of next round is the end of the combat. Oh fuck! Then yeah, I, I have to get here. Um, yeah. All right. Do you I'm have a daisy cutter still? Here. No, more I'm more? I'm completely no, yeah. out of daisy cutter. Yeah. Uh, so I overheat. Uh, yeah, troll please. Great. Ooh. I'll pick hey. that expose on you. That's uh, that's a reason to. Uh... Uh, yeah, what call it? Stabilize next turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gonna be for I. Well, if I do that, I literally can't get. Yeah. The, so honestly, yeah. might as well tank like, the expose. Like, look, like, you have all yeah. your structure, so like, you know. Yeah. You'll be good. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you finish yeah. your boost or? Uh, yeah. That's that's is. I am not a fast was, guy. I'm was, I'm uh, built to like uh, lock down a position. That was like that was one of your boosts. Because you, you used your standard movement, and then you boosted, but then you overcharged to boost again, so you can move another, like, set of your movement. Oh, God. I would very much prefer to do that. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. All right. That is my go. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, that was... Let me click you so you actually have that uh, done. All right. So, next up... Um, actually, got to pick that. Uh, Aegis turn. Um... It's going to try its best to, uh, actually, you know, uh, picking you up on sensors, Helena, it's gonna whip around and try to light laser you. Sure. If this hits, it's... Okay, so you take double, so you're taking six energy and four burn. Okay. You can uh, reduce your armor on the, uh, yeah. energy, though. And then you have overshield, Great. don't forget. I do also have overshield, yeah. so bring that no. down. So, so really... Stretch. Taking, uh... One damage. Then. One damage, and then four Jesus. burns will be five more damage. So you'll be down to two. Oh, I'm okay. going to do a four burn. Yeah, yeah, so I'm down to two. yeah you can't reduce burn. Yeah, Got not it. by armor at least. I wasn't okay. sure if that was like an overheat or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to pop defense net. No, it can't. It can't. That's a full action. Whoopsies. All right. Don't you um, dare, mister. Don't you dare. <laughs> uh, it's going to try to tech action. Uh, you, um... Goo. It's gonna tech action you, Goo. Okay, so you're impaired. And you take two people. Uh, it has a... I don't know if that makes a difference. It does have the oh, plus one difficulty. Let me roll 1d6 negative on this. It might... Whoa. It. Okay, let's, oh, let's go. Your E defense is 8, so that takes it under. Okay. Yep, yep, you're fine. Oh, Babbage is so good. Thank you. Alrighty, I love this so, thing. <laughs> yeah. Player turn, let's see. Uh, I have a perfect player to go. Um, 
<laughs> no. All right. So but... you know what's coming, my friend. Oh boy. So, uh, let's do one shot. It miss. Second shot. The rat. Mm -hmm. You are you are squirming on the edge of this. Let's oh go. my god! Are you oh fucking my kidding? God. Oh my! Okay, there we uh -oh. go. Oh, right. okay. Tan damage. Um, I don't know if you're there right now, Angra. Uh, I just got back. I'm sorry. Uh, what happened? You missed, he missed three shots on you and only got the last one. Shit, that's all. The <laughs> gamer so, of the world. Um, you're gonna you're okay. gonna structure now, obviously. But uh, yes, uh, I think I am going to. Um, what's the word? Um, Brace? Brace? Shit. Brace, yes, to reduce the damage on my next life bar. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it'll reduce to five, which will uh, structure, but that'll still be pretty decent. Yeah. And you would have gotten an overshield uh, from Duck, just as a heads up. So. Oh, why did my structure go to zero, Christian? <laughs> I have no idea. Sorry. Let me uh, put it up to three. There you go. Or I'll put uh, it to four, and then you reduce. Uh, I, 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 I just... I'll put it... Yeah, I'll just put my HP yeah. to zero and it should yep. do the thingy. Three more, and yeah, impaired. That's honestly not too bad. Uh, I had overshield, he said? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, bad microphone. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, was it mine? Yes. No. No, no. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so you did. So, so I guess that, yeah, that just, okay, it's just, just enough to structure, but you are down to max HP right now on your next structure point. Even nice. out. <laughs> yeah. So And all of his attacks a... against me have plus one difficulty now. Yep. That was a uh, a um, plus. That was his free action. Because mm -hmm. that's how that works. So you make one attack with this now. But it does have an extra difficulty or two attacks. I mean, but these you would be difficulty. pretty surprised with ho how mobile this little thing is. Yeah. Oh Rolls says hitting the booster so hard that his mech is spinning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, Shotgun now, shrapnel right. shredding you, through the living you, room. Why are you rolling uh -huh. three difficulty on all these? Uh, because he gets negative two difficulty to his shotgun. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no worries, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, but yes, yes, continue. You're, you're squirming with your booster, shaking around in every which direction as you pull across and you're just moving around as you're basically <laughs> just, like, shifting. And at that point... Um, with you grabbed on, a repeat of something from before, uh, Breach Ram, he's taking you with him. Uh, and because of the improved Ram, he moves ten spaces instead of six. As, uh, he, instead of, uh, uh, slamming into Helena, he's just gonna pull this way as the building breaks a little bit more and brings you off in this direction. Uh, the silent specter dragging you away, breaking through that. We're going on a trip. You're going on a trip. Roll oh, says kind of having an anxiety attack. Yeah, you're just <laughs> you're just talking. You got to talk, and everything will be okay. Uh, anyways, let's go with this thing's turn now. The dreadnought begins uh, coasting through the air. Um, let me uh, actually put its height right now as it's flying straight up. It's going to move six. And then it's going to boost six. <clears throat> uh, let me move it a little bit so that I can still select that squad. Um, I think that's pretty good. After boosting through there, it's going to uh, arc itself and it aims around here. Let's see, what's it want to shoot at? Uh, uh, question real quick, mm -hmm. sorry. What's up? Are those Hornet runs? Yes, they are. They're all runs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, so. All right, all right. What I can only do one attack since he boosted. I think we'll go for this. Okay. Uh, he's gonna fire cannonade, which I'll pick some targets here. Um, all right. So that'll be against these, which means. Uh, oh okay. god. Yeah. So um, with that in mind, um, it does hit the shogun. Shogun, you're taking two energy damage. And Mikhail over here takes two kinetic as a uh, blast lands nearby and cuts into his armor. And uh, the third one against the other guy's explosive goes a little high and misses on the ground. Okay, there we go. So, uh, next up we have another player turn. I'm gonna have uh, uh, Road Humbers down. Let me just mark that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have the UEA soldiers go. 
as they uh, are going to shoot down at the hive again. Um, they're going to try to shoot it with their gun first. They're going to barrage. First target, they're shooting at the hive. Hit! Whoa. Okay, one of them takes a good shot, cracking into the energy pool down there, and with a few more good shots, it leaks it and structures it, and the thing goes down. Let's go! You win! <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, I was anxious about that one. <laughs> uh, you hear, ignoring the uh, unnecessary calm chatter, uh, they <laughs> raise up. Uh, one of the uh, uh, people in the squad points over to the guy with the heavy weapon, and they look at the large dreadnought approaching. And they uh, aim up, prepare to fire, and shoot their anti-armor uh, weapon up at the sky, ducking down behind cover as the thing begins approaching. Oh, that has a lot of range. <laughs> it does. It's Damn, terrible. yeah. Um, it flies up, but it bounces against the armor and doesn't do anything. Enemy turn. Um, can he do it? Can he do it? Nah, I won't. Uh, barricade turn. Um, oh, this is perfect. He steps up. Let's roll 1d4. Or 1d6. See what gets. Did he do it? No! Alright. This one moves on through. Uh, it will boost. And then it's going to print. And it print itself a nice piece of cover. Um, oh, wait. I need to roll to see if it actually crushes. It does. Okay. He prints the cover. And he puts it down right kind of towards his side in the direction of Helena. Um, <laughs> now he's got hard cover. Alright. So, uh, with that, we have another ally turn. Which I will do... Um, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... At, at a certain bit, we'll be getting to the Hornets and all that stuff, so let's do this again. Um... He uh, raises up the shotguns, and uh, he's going to fire one burst at you. Mm-hmm. Uh, which you still have the um, bonus from bracing. Yes. Which is good, so he's going to fire. Uh, yes! He's ignoring engagement high on AC. this. High AC! High AC! High AC! Another shot. Match made in heaven, oh. honestly. As you continue to scramble on the edge of the grapple, uh, he raises up. Uh, and, uh, you stop and you realize, uh, another piece of comm starts coming through, uh, which is sort of picked up. Uh, round the corner, just hold on a little longer! He stops, and he's just like, it's your lucky day, rat. Um, <laughs> uh, as he lets go of you- It was a fun chase, cat. <laughs> uh, he lets go of the grapple, and he just, uh, moves away. And, uh, he'll leave at the end of the next, uh, his- at the end of the, the round. I'm gonna puke in a baggie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, you you sit there barely managing to scramble, only saved weirdly enough by MCMC's arrival as he pulls away. I'm never um, gonna tell that to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, next up. Um, dizzy. Oh, so much pain. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, Are you guys there? Can you, can you read me? Am I alive? Am I alive? Welcome back. <laughs> Glad you're alive. Uh, this Myrmica Assault is going to flee since he can't really do anything or get anywhere. So at the end of the round, he'll disappear too. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I do that? Yeah, you can flee if you want. You can leave. Uh, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Uh, I'm gonna get my grade through the email. <laughs> Mikhail, uh, my yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so he's gonna. Shit, there's so many people to shoot at here, but. Uh, okay, he's gonna move over to the side a bit, take cover here, and he leans over, and he's not gonna consume the, uh, lock-on, but he is going to shoot at the engineer. Oh, wait, he can consume the lock-on, because it's, uh, the drone target, so... Yeah, let's add it stays that on, on. Okay, that's eight, will that hit? Uh, that does hit. So, yeah, he takes two damage as, uh, the shot rings through. Um, I'm going to, uh, not click all their things because they're going to happen, but I have the Hornet move up, and then it's going to boost, flying over the edge here, and then it's going to uh, look over the edge, it notices the Shogun, and prioritizing the big boy, he's going to shoot at you. Oh no. Okay. So, you take one damage, but you're impaired. Alright. So, um, that was his turn, and then, uh, 
this new guy, uh, Sato, sees the drone shooting overhead. He turns around, raises up the range rifle, and fires at it. Rifle. Rifle. Uh, misses. Damn it. So Hornets are just, so They're so annoying. Hornet to drones, em. too. God. Uh, another Hornet drone's moving up. I'm going to move it here. And uh, this one's going to uh, attempt to uh, uh, impair as well. No, actually, it's just gonna... It's gonna impale systems on you, Doc. Okay, okay. Oh, thank fucking god. Oh, damn, yeah. Alright, uh, more coming up. Uh, let's see. This one is gonna boost, and then... Uh, or move, and then boost. And then... It's going to uh, try to impale systems the Shogun. Miss. Last one. Moving up here. It's gonna... It'll just try the same thing they've all tried at this point, Impale Systems. Okay, that one works. You are jammed till the end of your next turn. Jeez. What's jammed, dude? You can't make any attack or tech actions. Oh. It's kinda nasty. Um, Who got hit with jammed? Uh, the, uh, the Shogun. Shogun. Up. Got it. Jammed. There you go. <laughs> so, um... With that, we go on to the last round. One more round, gang. All you have to do is clear out enough of them. Um, oh. it, it, did that bell take any damage? Uh, the one in the middle or the one... Uh... Yeah, in the zone. Yes, yes that one is I think I can kill it. Probably so. Uh, it's round six, so enemies first, I should say. So let me uh, first get that on. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I done. forgot. One more group of reinforcements. That motherfucker shows up behind me. I'm a, I'm a cry. <laughs> uh, moving up from this angle, uh, you have one. Uh, oh my god, that's so funny. Hey, it's a cataphrag. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> you, uh, you, you, you rat! <laughs> <laughs> you rat! Oh, no. Um, an angel appearing on the other side. So uh, let's see. Who am I? You know I gotta do it to him. You know I gotta do it to him. So. Uh, all right, uh, we're going cataphract first. Um, it's going to do the uh, oh, inhale. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I cannot kill him because I brace lesser. That's true. You're right. Damn. Uh, unless, unless he, he has like low low, low HP. Yeah, you can give it a shot. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> so can I? Can I? Sorry. Can I use protocols? Uh, once it hits your turn. But first, let's uh. Yes. Let's impale. So make me whole save. Yeah, I just wanted to know if I could use protocols after. Uh, uh, All right, you pass. <laughs> you can't hit me. Yeah. Wait, no protocols. But I take are two actions. damage. You can't do protocols because they're technically actions. Yeah. Yeah. No. So yeah, you take two, and then um, you uh, are otherwise fine. It's not AP, but yeah. What is then... it with you guys and running me over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems like after that, he's content as he charges into the control zone. Oh, God. Um, for his yeah, straight cool. line path, would that have been in my? Uh, yes, it would have. All right. Oh, mobilize this bitch. Wait. Yeah. I... Does it? That does not ignore engagement. So yes, you can shoot him. You can potentially right. mobilize him right there. Uh, oh as right. he's command grabbing me. Yeah. Uh, accuracy. I also get my little boosty. Watch out. Oh my god, are you gonna catch him on the failed yes! command grab? You yes! are. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Oh, nice. You catch him on the failed command grab, and he immediately just gets fucking stuck there, as he can no longer move into the control zone this turn. Helena, you were made shit. for this. <laughs> fucking MVP. <laughs> I have one Ooh. job! Oh, you stuck there. Nobody right. gets to move as much as me. <laughs> <laughs> so, in return, he's gonna ramjet you, but it does get uh, engaged, so he does get a negative to this, so that does not hit. So, oh, right. yeah, nice one. All right, uh, player turn, who's going? Uh, should I try to kill the bell? Uh, can you? You said that you braced and stuff? Or yeah, yeah I, I, can, I, I have one quick action, meaning I can hit him with my uh, DMR, which is 1d6 plus 3. Yeah, if you hit. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I do get a bunch of bonuses. Yeah, none uh, of the protocols, as I said, but you do get a normal talent bonus from this because it's a rifle. Yeah, unfortunately, none of the protocols. But, Let's give it a uh, go. 
Let's give it a go. Well, well, yeah. well, what's in it for me? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, your protocol will override the engage, so you'll be shooting at normal. Or your, your talent, because you get the plus one and the negative one from the engage, so you can still take the shot. Yeah, and oh, this is going to be nasty, because I am going to overheat from the DMR. Yep, mm. but one but round left, you know? Yeah. Nothing to it but to do it, baby. I get the uh, the long con too. Yeah. So, uh. Ooh! That's nice. a crit. So, it crits. You shoot across the way, the Vulture DMR tearing into the back of this thing. You structure it, it's down. Yes. Wow, nice. Let's yeah. fucking go! Nice. Uh, I'm exposed. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, there we go. You are exposed. Everyone's a bit exposed right now, but hey, you know what? Do you want to try and... You can't, yeah. Never mind. Oh, All right. uh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, what can you do when you... Only I have a pistol it? in this mount. Oh, right! <laughs> oh, no! Nice. You can shoot it at this dude. Go for it! Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. One <laughs> damage. Beautiful. Better than nothing. All right. So, um, with that, we go on to an enemy turn. Uh... Dreadnought flying down. It's going to move up, and because it moved up there, moving down, trying to get low, it goes six low there. Um, uh, hey, Tiny. Um, yeah. Because of hypergravity, um, it needs to pass an agility saver or is forced to land. So, let me see how it does. Alright, let's, let's roll that agility. So, we don't need to be in the zone, right? No. Uh, that, no. Is that a save? A save? That's lower than it. Alright, this large behemoth starts flying through and suddenly it hits an invisible edge of gravity and then its head just nosedives and falls down to the ground and completely hits adjacent to you. Uh, that's its end of its distance there. Um, scrambling on the ground, it starts looking in every which direction. Um, it's going to try and fire a... Uh, uh, naval cannon. It's gonna try to shoot it at, uh... Isn't it Orgons? Whoops. I don't know where it... Whoops! Sorry, that was not what the target. <laughs> that was... Oh, man. That wasn't actually my intended target, so, uh, I won't count that. Hooray! Yeah, I meant <laughs> to shoot, uh, these two. No, uh, it's so... also ordinance, so you'd have to fire it at the start of your turn. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. You're right, you're right. Cannonade instead. Um... Let's see, I'll choose, now I'll choose these three targets. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, so, uh, Helena, you take four energy damage total because of exposed, and Duck, you take two explosive damage. Yeah, even with my armor, that's not gonna matter that's like too structure. much. like Yeah. Do we have uh, any movement stuff? Uh, can I can try them? to hack one person to uh, to try snow crash uh where they would choose to move or uh, take heat but they can just oh, choose to take heat. heat yeah oh my god stunned god oh, no. that means i can't do anything right no this last turn okay. you are fully stunned here unless someone walks right. up and stabilizes you yep that would be the only condition i could do that that's true you could still have plenty of stuff you could do you're probably not clearing damage so that might be the wise play that's its turn, yeah. though, if anyone else wants to do anything. I think, I think the duck clearing uh, Helena, yeah. maybe. Because if Helena can get in there, she can fucking clean house with some yeah. of these grunts. Yeah. I just gotta get in range, too. Like, I only have a three-range weapon. <laughs> For real. Um, okay, so... Uh, I could time. also... Yeah, uh, let's see. If I okay, this is this is stupid, but like I don't know if that that would help you out. But like if I overcharge, and I'm gonna take a fucking weird uh, thing for this with this last turn. Uh, if I overcharge, I could stabilize you with a like my main actions, and then snow crash you to move you three in their direction if you decide I, to fail. Uh, I mean that, that would, would help a lot. Uh, snow crash like, can only you... work on uh, targets that are locked on when you do attack attack on them. So you'd right. have to lock on to Helena, which you can't really do. So. Uh yeah, goddammit. it. Uh, let's yeah. see. 
Let's see if the range is good. No. Fuck. Um. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Alright. Uh. No, uh, tech attacks can just literally pop these, uh, minions. Because if they take the one minions, heat, they go yeah. down. So literally, you could just full tech, do basic tech attacks on them and pop them. That's another option you have. That's another option to go, yeah. Hmm. I... Okay. I'm th I think I'm gonna stabilize uh, Helena, because... Well, oh God, you can't get in there, can you? Uh, if I overcharge, I can get in. Um, yeah. I would uh, Basically, my entire turn would be just sprinting to get in. Yeah, but then uh, but then Helena would be in position to like attack opportunity like the tiny guys who come in. That's for true. You're reaction based. Yeah. Yep, and I get two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing this. Uh, so we're gonna move over here. Uh, does that count as adjacent? Yes. Uh, I'll get I'll get right oh, in there just to be yeah. sure. <laughs> ah, um, all right. And I'm gonna stabilize so that uh, we can clear stun. Sounds good. Hooray! God, what a bad time for that to roll. Right. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you stabilize, clearing a condition off your friend. You can only do one, yeah, so you clear stun. Uh, also, yeah, just to finish the, the turn so that I say everything that happens, uh, just in case anything helps. So, we, uh, everyone within 20 range gets over shield again. Right. Uh, I'm gonna logic pro... Let's see. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna logic probe the, uh, the big in guy uh, to like a lock on to facilitate. Uh, the big guy already had his turn, so he's probably not gonna be doing anything. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. uh, then I'll uh, lock. Yeah, the barricade. Did the barricade act this turn? No. Uh, it has not. No. Okay, so I'm gonna lock on the barricade. Uh, okay. For free action, I. Let's see, what could I do if I overcharge? I don't think I could do that much. Uh, let's see, I mean, I could still try you to could like... You pop one of the Hornets, they have shit E-Defense. Yeah, I could try to pop one of the Hornets if I overcharge, let's see. Yeah, they are within, uh, they are within distance, so yeah, I'm gonna overcharge again. Uh, I only had one more turn, dude. This is... Is dicey. Okay. God oh, damn, so, just at heat cap. Damn, no overheat. Just at heat yeah. cap. Let's fucking nice. go. Alright, uh so T Fragment uh, signals. Yep, fragment signals, snow crash, let's try. Uh let me see where you are. Tech attack. Where is it? Uh Ah, it's under mech. Okay. Tech attack. Uh I don't get any dice on this, I don't think, so let's just try. Oh! You got it. Oh. So, you, um, uh, you hack in, and this thing's thrusters just point up, and at, at full hornet speed, it slams into the ground and just splatters. Nice. Okay. And that's it for me. Brad, thank you. All right, sounds good. So, uh, next up, I'll go player turn. As, um... God, okay. Um, or we'll do NBC turn, I mean, so. Um, Skink Squad is going to try to move up. They're moving up here, getting within range, and then they're going to try to fire at the Shogun. Uh, they do, however, uh, get. Uh, no, they're outside of range there, yeah. Okay. Okay. The Shogun is size 2, so they should get hit with the fuck zone. Uh, that, hang on. I don't believe so. Let me draw out the mm. fuck zone. It's only burst 2 is the thing, so yeah, that's why it's only there right now. So they are outside of it by one tile. It's hard to tell because their icon's so small, but they are just out of range. So, um, you do take uh, 2 and then 5. Alright, so, so I just take 4 mm -hmm. because of the overshields. Yes, yes. So you're jammed, but keep in mind, when you are jammed, you can still grapple ram and do shit like that. Yeah. 
so that's just for your turn. Keep yeah, you can mind. still uh, knock someone back. Turn. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. Uh, maybe have Blaine to move up. Out. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe just, all right. So. Um, I mean, Farah could. Farah, don't you have like an assault rifle? Yeah. Yes. Uh, reliable damage to pop the grunts and overcharging to shoot twice could be a very good play. You make this. Oh, you I have... forgot. Also, you have vision because the black light, sh like shield. Oh, thing is gone because that's huge. Oh, yeah, nice. you have. If you move forward, you can pop two of the grunts with just the assault rifle. That's true. Reliable yeah. damage will just kill them. Yeah, honestly. So what I'd suggest, um, since Helena was gonna move for it, you can move Helena and then have her tank a reaction and then fire your assault rifle whoever's left, depending on who moves. Yeah. We'll wanna well I was just shooting some yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. But that is a good reminder. So we'll yeah. you go then. Sure, so uh, one, two, three. Uh, then I will do my boast. And then I'm I'm gonna overcharge. Uh, uh huh. Boost Baba again. Booey. Uh, Baba Booey. Ooh, yeah. Jesus. I figured oh, that what was gonna are you happen. gonna do? Exposed again? <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Who, cares? who gives a shit? You're already exposed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, who cares? Uh, does that mean I can move again? No, no, this is the move you got. You are in range of uh, this dude, though. Um, yeah. This uh, so, the temple. So basically, yeah, overcharging the... will makes it where you can take another quick action, like boosting, right? One more quick action. Got yeah, okay. so so that would give you your third movement possible, right? And now you have one quick action left that you can do for a tech attack or just shooting your shotgun. Yeah. So, right. uh, we to, are to, to let gonna... you know... Um, cool. that barricade is not in heavy cover anymore because of your angle. Just, just for targeting information. Oh, I ignore cover. Yeah, yeah. fair. You're right. CQB, mm -hmm. new cares. Fucking wreck them. Oh! Yes. So, um, you unload, dealing eight. Uh, the shock plating activates as resistance to kinetic. Uh, so that's, that's reduced to four. Uh, okay. all right. That's... That is everything. Mm -hmm. But you're in reaction zone. So let's see. Uh, Barricade's gonna try to move in. <laughs> try? Yeah, you, you can reaction shot if you want it. Uh, I would love to reaction shot. Uh, <coughs> and accurate plus this. Ooh, yes! Oh! Get uh, immobilized. They are also right. immobilized. Immobilized, yeah! so he can't move in, so he's stuck there. Let's fucking go! As uh, shit. same deal, reduced down a bit. Um, so that's he's at that now. All right. He doesn't seem to be taking much damage, but you put down the pressures. You pull into the control zone. Enemies are coming in from every angle, but you're still firing. You've got one shot left for another person who tries to approach. Which, but first, player turn. All right. So, uh, want Farrah, to... do you want to go? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be a hero. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God for the free boost. Yeah. So I'm free gonna, boost uh, is insane. Free boost, free bird on this building. Yes. Yeah. And move five, so you yep. should be so able to you move can land two right things. there. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, so. Yeah. Can Ooh. I? You're in range. I just, yeah, I just want to get right yeah. up as close as I can. As close as you can. There you go. Oh, yeah. That is yeah, I can. All right. And you still got a full action here. All right. So, which... Who... Can this guy even make it in? This one yet? No. The, to the temple The temple got right, but... Uh, the temple is no this longer... Temp, this that. hornet you're not, looking not at that now... Temple. Yeah, that, that yeah. hornet you're looking at, that one could get in. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're fast little fuckers. Let me yeah, mark the if, one that's dead, too. Okay. Yeah, if you could take out the further ones, because they might be able to just squeeze on in just out of my range. Yeah, true. Oh, the other guy would have to go in. I've only got... Oh, yeah, you're out of range for that one over there. But, right. like, like, okay. So, like, there's, like, this UEA group right here, and there's these two little guys right here, right? There's no one to shoot this right. far, far one. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which ones. So yeah. You could overcharge, boost, move, and 
Not even then, I don't think you... You can't draw a line nope, of yeah, sign. yeah, if you move to that slot, you, you'd uh, have it. Oh. Just barely oh, you if you... Yep. So if you move oh, uh, wow. right okay. here, you could get him. Just do another burst, and then a, a skirmish, and you got him. Alright, let's... Recharge. Oof. Nasty. Exposed. Alright. It's not punching, but it's something. I'll delete that guy without a roll, because Reliable will kill him anyways. Oh, yeah. Delete that fucking Hornet. <laughs> you do have another <laughs> shot left, if you want to take it. Uh, this is the overcharge. Wasn't that used for boosting? Uh, no, no, um... He had a- remember, one of the boosts was free. Yeah, I got a free boost, uh, for sure. Yeah, standard movement, free boost, uh, normal, normal boost. boost, yeah, so... Skirmish, one more quick. Yeah. So... The one Slash here could get in without getting in Helena's reach. This one I don't think could. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'll go for this guy. Nice. And you sure Assault Rifle Reliable will just pop him again, yeah. Dude, Assault Rifle is so <laughs> So crazy. it clears, man. Reliable, dead. Huh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, we're looking, we're looking better, we're looking better. Looking better. Still enemies left. They're closing in. Uh, let's see all here. I've got in me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see who's next. We've got three alien turns left. Um, is, is that squad a lot? Like, uh, how many members do, do they lose? Uh, they have six still, so they're still over half uh, squad size. Um, scour turn. Um, oh, why the ace do not has to have activation? Come on. Okay. Um, There's an ace. Yep, there's an ace on the far left side. It hasn't moved oh, yet. Oh god, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, Scour, let's see. Um, can he even get in? He might be able to. He'd have to boost. Um, he moves up four. And then boosts on in. Uh, he can land on a squad space, so he's gonna pop right there. That... Canaba would go so crazy right now. It's just too jammed. Right now. Okay, uh. Alright, so. Uh, next one up, let's see. We've got. A duck already went, I realize. I need to mark duck off. Um. So. It's all up to the NPCs now. Oh boy. Yeah, Alright, well, we do have the Shogun still. Um, Shogun can ram, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, the Shogun can ram. And you can overcharge the ram again, too. You could try to yeah. push these guys out. But what I'd <laughs> wait for is after one of these guys take their turns or something, you know? Yeah, or they could just yeah, walk back in. Sense. Yeah. So if you hold, you have the action power, so you could go last, Tiny. You have the ability to go last. And you could ram, grapple, and overcharge to do one of those again, so it all depends on you. Uh, NPC <laughs> turn, let's see what they do. Um... Since Helena's got the one on the Hornet, these guys are going to uh, shift around ever so slightly, and uh, they're just going to try to, um, uh, oh god, what is it? you know what, uh, all fire on the fucking uh, uh, troops down there. Cool. Hit. Let's do the other one. Hit. So that puts them down to there. Uh, you notice two go down as the fire keeps raining in. The other squad is going to move over and also just start shooting, putting on everything they can. And then... Doing just enough damage to delete oh. that squad, killing every single guy on there. As the infantry -E engages them in the song of... U -E -A! U -E -A! U -E -A! <laughs> Um, can so, can, uh, um, hang on. The, uh, let me just. Their primary weapon can shoot twice now. Uh, it can. Yes, yes, that's perfect. So you know what they're shooting? They have no one in range though. They had to. They have to wait, wait. They have to move over, and then let's see. Are they within range of? I think they are. No, but they could have moved down like this and maintain range, and then let's see. 
Oh, uh, no, they're outside the range of that. Yep, they're outside the range of the Hornet, so they can't fire a second time with their uh, machine gun. Shoot. But. Uh, are you sure? sure? If the, uh... oh, we can't Sorry, be yeah. square. Or the oh, yeah, no, no, these, right we can shoot, them. they can shoot an enemy, so you know what, no, they can, uh, if it's range 5, they reach. It's one uh, hex outside their range, right? They're, no, yeah. actually, uh, I realize so, you start the ruler inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it auto-counts so, Yeah, so the, 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 oh, yeah. Because you can you see, know, like, we'll if you, uh, if you measure on the outside like that, right, uh, you notice it says range 6, but it takes 7 tiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, uh... Let me do the NPC turns, because I did three player turns just to kind of see if it worked. But let me see if I can uh, do this. So, uh, hey, uh, uh, Helena? Yep. Uh, guy's moving in your range. Oh, oh God. Where's my gun? Accuracy. Yes! Oh! Dead done. Yes! Yeah! Right. Blast <laughs> the shit. hornet out of the sky like like whacking a fly from the air as the thing goes down. Alright, it's done. Alright. So Helena's officially out. Yep, you're tapped. And now let's do some of these other turns. So, uh engineer turn. Uh he's placing down another turret, another cone of fire. Um wait, it has to be Jason. Oh shit, it's gonna- fuck it. He places down a cone of fire and they're gonna get two shot, three shots at you, um, uh, Tiny. As right. we get the first one with, um, uh, oh wait, hang on. Um, I'll gra I grant you this one boon. Uh, Duck. Yeah, uh, I was just thinking deployable that. Deployable <laughs> turret is a system. Yeah, wanna... that's, that was, yeah. I was just thinking that, yeah, of just, just uh, trying you know. to like- yeah, so he, again, yeah. uh, system fails automatically, he doesn't get it, yep. he loses access to it. Okay, damn, He takes right, two so heat, also. Due to the system's losing access, his turrets will simply not activate, so all his turrets shut off. And instead, oh. he's forced to, he wastes that fucking action, and instead he's just gonna try to shoot his flat cannon at you instead with his other quick. Oh, Ooh, nasty. So that's three damage, which, uh... Uh, of course, you're out of overshields, you're just tanking that. Um, but then, last one, um, Ace turn. Ace is going to zoom from this area, move here, and then, and then, wait a minute, all these spaces, they're, they're occupied! They're occupied, he can't in there! Oh. He moves a boost here, but he can't enter, wait, no, no, he can, he can, he can move here. Oh. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then, and then he's going to. Uh, that was very close to being a uh, uh, clutch moment. Uh, so now the ace is going to try to fire its nexus swarm at you. Uh, a eight hits. So you're gonna structure. Oh god. Let's hope for a weapon destroy. That'd be perfect. I mean. uh I, oh, it's because of the weird size thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can't Let me shoot weapons hit the structure for button. This, uh, yeah. uh, uh, he used all of his dice. For you. I see. Yeah, I'll troll 1d6 for you. Let's see. Uh, four. So, on the that structure system. table. That uh, system. Yep, that's So, you won't get impaired, which is the important part. So, no. yeah. all right. Roll, let's roll another 1d3. Actually, great, because you can't use the weapons anyways. So, let's see. Are you going to get a weapon or a system? Uh, you're getting a weapon destroyed. You can't use them anyway, so just fucking blow up whatever. Who gives a shit? Yeah, my my grav sleeve explodes. Yeah. The ace uh, fires nexuses, and the grav sleeve starts to break apart as you uh, run along the way. And, uh, yeah, so um, you do that, and now, since that was the ace's turn, it's your turn now. Tiny. All so right. the engineer has a permanent lock-on on him. Which applies yep. to yes. your ram attacks. You need mm -hmm. to succeed at least one ram attack to win this encounter. Yeah, Can you maybe. do it? I believe. Let's see. I believe. Um, how do I roll just a regular it's ram? A, it's a basic. It's a basic oh, attack. Yep. Yep. So it's 1d20 sure plus, plus 1d6. Make sure you're targeting the engineer. Oh, yep. Thank you. And I'm just checking. Okay. 
So, just a basic melee, um, consume the lock-on, and let's see. <gasps> yeah! Okay, so, no! <laughs> you, you run up with your, you almost drop the Tetsubo, which is malfunctioning, and instead you hold your fist tight, you raise it up, and you just punch the engineer hard, knocking it one space back out of the control zone. Good job, buddy. That's the win combat. We you guys win. win. Oh, my one action. Again. Fucking MVP oh. skill ram. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. Oh my god. A fucking repeat of yeah. training too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just right. Uh, <clears throat> the engineer knocks back in all narrative now. In a sudden moment, it begins to uh, uh, reactivate its system as it holds up its gun and prepares to fire. But then it starts walking backwards. It doesn't really know what's going on as it starts moving backwards in this way. And then it realizes it's pulled back. And as it is, two more enemy uh, units walk onto screen. As stepping on up, you see MCMC Merc insignias instilled on these things. As a shotgun blast rains through the air, knocks this thing in the back and immediately destroys it as the aliens realize that from all directions different mercenaries and forces are getting called in and almost wordlessly something over their comms undecipherable but obvious they start to fall back as the multiple units on other ends uh begin pulling away as combat comes to an end um i'm going to say that uh, all the enemies in your immediate vicinity are ended up getting destroyed on their retreat so i don't have to run out that combat and it makes sense so you wipe out these enemies. Let me roll for the uh, uh, people. Oh, wow. Okay. One temple's left behind, and the other one gets out. So that's good for research if you can acquire that. Yeah, more levels in nice. the salads. Yes. So with that, combat abruptly and suddenly comes to an end as uh, the merc stops. And then um, you hear uh, someone call out as one of this mercenary. The one in the Wanahara com uh, is just like, all right, we got it. Let's go. And then from the Babbage, a communication goes out. Hey, wait a minute. You guys are TMG, right? TMG? Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Wait, you guys know SETI? <laughs> <laughs> that depends. Are you nice? Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fucking doll. Oh, shit. So I heard that her company started fucking around and they made death... They made Death Clover piss himself. It's fucking great. Holy shit, man. All right, you guys are cool in my book. Good luck. Good luck out there. <laughs> Holy they shit. They turn around and you notice that the mercs start flying off in this direction as you just sort of look off as combat sounds echo throughout the city. But as the day comes to an end, more and more MCMC mercs would flood across the streets. A last minute reinforcement wave filling the ground as UEA would be... Uh, finally relieved and the alien force invading end all this day would be pushed back but in a more minor victory elsewhere here you all take a breath no casualties sustained to tmg you successfully acquired another operation to do in the future one that would hopefully secure you a good standing with a new license and even more to profit as you yes. Yeah. <laughs> Raul just like in close comms, like these lads better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Helena, you can already think of the modification modifications you could do to these things to take them to the next level. Yeah, don't worry. I'll don't worry your pretty little head. I'll take care of it. <laughs> uh, and we've got a new friend, isn't that, that right? Already. <laughs> you say that yeah. out loud um goo as you sort of stand there um you for a moment you're sort of just standing almost completely static as all the combat initiatives shut down protocols dropping one by one accomplished all optional your programming has no idea how to react to the information of um well, dealing with anything. In this situation, you've you've completely been locked out of any sort of uh, uh, responsibility besides optional ones, which, of course, it is the responsibility of a GHU-5907 helper unit 
to assist anyone with everything given protocol. As you look at your screen, that sign again, drink deep and descend, but it disappears. Instead, a new protocol pops up. Hey, we have a new friend after all, isn't that right? New protocol added. Friend. Optional. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Friend? And that's where we end mark. today. <coughs> yeah. Good job. Good job, God. Gang. God. Oh am. shit. Obviously. We let a little wait to did. So yeah. I want to go through fan art and then Yeah, we'll, obviously we'll if you guys afterwards. some of you guys if you guys have to go to sleep right now, please do. Uh yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Tiny. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's oh, a Friday. Okay. Cool. cool, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Or, we can find the Imgur, which I Ooh. let me see. Grab there you go. Copy link. Behold. Me... Behold. Uh Behold. Alright. So Thank you, Jow Twitch, for putting together this Imgur. Let me stream Thanks, it to Jow. the people in the Discord chat with me. That's us. And uh, first off, from that's BH us. Behemoth. Yeah, God, it's yeah. so funny to see that that's how the <laughs> thing started. Espionage. Would you like help with that? Die! <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, boy! Mm -hmm. What's our health and safety standards for drinking and driving, Max? It is fine as long as you have appropriate gloves and gargles. My mm -hmm. man. <laughs> Where's the other one? DB3 volts, dressed to impressed. What else can I say? He's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that he is. Mm -hmm. Hey, boss, I brought you a pie, Earth 3 apple, and protein powder. Oh, Who's like my mamma used to make? <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks of Evan Ward. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, we have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he is oh. the other. Gun, apparently, God, mm. yeah, I don't even use a Pegasus. Works every time, works every time, works every time. Windows XP espionage on hold until a driver update is completed. God, <laughs> they <laughs> would, they would so use weird. crashes of all worm transport. Ship. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. god, look at that. Oh, doing business with well, you. Well, you don't have any buttons left, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, problem? Grumby. Oh? Oh, little blue pill, Grumby. <laughs> oh, little blue pill, he's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper, what's your backup plan for when an enemy gets behind you? Uh, uh, fart? Crude, but effective. Yeah. <laughs> Pharaoh! Oh, 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 lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you return to Earth Sphere? I came here to laugh at you. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Consider me as dead. <laughs> Still alive! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh. fucking Daigo <laughs> Fairy. <laughs> 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 Wow. And then uh, all odds, dude. the Ram, the Ram, the Ram, the Ram, Ram the best beautiful. ability MVP, save the asses yeah. so many times, I, dude, uh, insane. Yeah, good job, guys. Even though there was like you know like two hours of RP, you guys managed to go through the combat very fast. Uh, yeah, and yeah, also, nice. uh, the Shogun is one of the new mechs on uh, the No Home and Twilight LCP, which you can find for free on Christian's Patreon, which you can see the link yeah. right here and You'll probably find it. down in the description. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, Christian's also made a bunch of variants, which you've seen like the Leth Bridge that was on last mission and everything like that. So if you like this show and you like all the quality stuff that we put into it, make sure to support Christian on Patreon. It's very, very important. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we will be having probably another session next Friday, right? Thumbs up. So see you there. Uh, if you're there, make sure to join the official Discord, which you can find the link down below, or type exclamation point Discord in the Twitch chat to find it, to see our schedule, to see when we do other streams like this and this one as well. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.